Okay, we should be live. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the end game. So, we have cumulatively about 400 settlements, and there are only a handful of factions left I have to el eliminate. So, obviously, I don't need to eliminate these two. I confederated Ostland previously. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven factions remaining. Now, <coughs> Cult of Pleasure is basically eliminated, so it's basically six. We're going to start with Lewin Leonco. So, this war, I'm hoping, is pretty quick, and then as soon as we're done with this, we move on to Clan Angrind. So I have recruited a ton of armies, and basically, I'm going to hit Lewin Leonco so hard. <laughs> That's the plan, at least. I'm going to hit him so hard, so fast, that he just is like, what? What the hell just happened? That's the plan. Hey, Luca Fool. How's it going, dude? All right. Yeah, you guys showed up quick. Welcome to the stream. All right. So, I'm just recruiting every single turn. Just need to find the best locations for us. So, we've got three armies here for that one. That should work. What is your behest? Devotee of the lady. Champion of the faith. Yeah, that should work. I've got two more turns left I can recruit stuff. Praise be to Sigma. I think I've got too much force Sigmarite here. Because these two armies... That army there is not too bad. i got three armies for that. And these two, they should be going to the most dangerous areas. Now, we don't want Lewin Leonco to declare war on us. So, I need to make sure he's actually friendly. He's teetering right on the edge. And then we also need to make sure we give him territory. Like, in the, in the next two turns, that is. Well, in two turns. So... To break his other alliances. So, we need to break... Wait, how many alliances do we need to break? We need to break three alliances, because I can't just join war via these guys. I have to make sure that th that my allies don't get called in against me. Uh, although, if I was to declare war on... No, 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 no. No, we don't want to lose reliability yet. Not until the very last one. Then I, it won't matter for the last one, what the reliability is. Okay, so... The settlements that I'll be giving is something like maybe Karak Ziflin. Oh yeah, I was going to put in defenses here. Maybe I should put... There's no need to put defensive building uh, military here right now. Because no one is going to be able to attack it. Like, this will go. The wild makes warriors. Pretty confident about this because I've got my two best guys on the job. They'll sort that out. And these armies here are not that big of a deal. And in a siege battle, it honestly should be fairly easy. There's nothing over here, so that's something we'll have to deal with later, but it's not a tough army. Honestly, I feel like we've got enough. I do feel like we've got enough. But we can always have a bit more, because i got so much money, so why not? Okay, let's let's go over here, and I'll give these guys a bit more backup, because this is probably where I'm not going to be able to auto-resolve so much. Auto-resolving is going to save time. That's that's what it's really about now. So we're just, like, spamming anti-large infantry. I know Hellbody is not the best, but we're just using human wave tactics here. We're basically becoming China. <laughs> we're just, we just, I shouldn't be using real life countries, but basically just throw troops at the enemy to, to such an overwhelming degree that they just can't possibly resist. They don't have enough ammunition to kill us, sort of thing. All right. So I think that's all we need to do this turn. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a settlement over here as well. They've got a gate. It is not important for me to capture that right now. Obviously, that could be the last thing we do. Because if we have a look at it, I don't think they can actually recruit anything from here. Yeah, it, sh it should be the last thing we worry about. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. Then we just check on Zinch again. Make sure he's not doing it. Oh, that's right. That's right. I remembered. Protector of the realm. I need this to replenish just a little bit. I got this for six more turns. What we're doing is trying to get Rapants to actually attack the uh, the forces of Zinch. So what I'm going to do is land over here and then release it and tell them to attack Mount Athul. Hopefully they'll occupy it and then they can just hopefully bring in the rest of their armies. I can't be bothered to bring them in one at a time. But yeah, just make sure we don't get attacked while we're yes. passing through here, which I don't think we're going to. Okay. 
So, any new factions? Nope. Okay, we have one more turn left to go after this. Protector of the realm. I have seen your heart. Hmm. Okay. Another thing to consider is which settlements are we going to sell? Okay, we need to start organizing this. So if I was to get them to break their alliances, what settlements will I be giving away? So if we try Brion, that's, a, that's not worth very much. He's only got defensive alliances. That's not going to be... Yeah, that's not going to cut it. Brion's not going to work. Because, yeah, if it's not enough, then we need to make some adjustments. So I could go Castle Carcassonne. Doesn't, it's a tier 5 settlement. It's a major settlement at this point here. Yeah, that'll work. And like I said, we need three. Fort Burke. No, no. Forts are not going to work. Helmgart. No. Carrick Zifflin. That's not going to work. Marienburg. Marienburg will work. I'll, I'll lose a lot of money by doing that, but that's not a problem. Uh, Canals will possibly will work. If I give him 130,000, he'll break that alliance. He's not going to get a chance to use the money. Right. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm not done yet. In the east so, Knell's Torilir. No, that's not like going to work. Tidings. We don't want to give that up anyway. Waterfall Palace. That'll work. Okay, that could work. That's not an important settlement for us. And White Peak. No, that's not important. Okay, we, we should have enough, but let me just check with Canals. If I was to quickly demolish, say, this, and next turn build the barracks, I might be able to sell a minor settlement here, because it's a lot easier to, to build up a minor settlement than a major one for tier 5. Okay, we should be all good. How's everyone doing today, guys, by the way? Fun fact, I'm from the real Carcassonne from France. Dude, Carcassonne is not a real city. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? There's no, there's no Bordello or Carcassonne. These are, these are make believe. There's no Marienburg. This is just make believe. <laughs> there's no such place. All right. I th yeah. Okay. I'm just making sure. All right. We're in position. Moving on. I was skeptical that campaign would pass turn 20. Well, it, the thing is with an Empire No Defeat campaign, you're very likely to lose a battle in the first 20 turns. Okay, we have one turn left. One turn, not one turn. Uh, what are the, what's Kairos doing? I don't like that. Who will you go to war with after Bretonia? Clan Engrind is next. Basically, we're just going to march our way down south. But Clan Engrind is next, I think. Seek out the heretics. Do you know who I am? Ready. Hunt them out. Okay, looks like we're clear yes, to land here. The lady be upon you. Moving out. Because, yeah, if we got attacked... It's not like they can teleport on us, but if we got attacked, that would not be good. So, we see, can see that he is maybe making his way in this direction. Maybe. I'm not sure what he's doing otherwise. Might be a good idea to have someone targeting him, and that way... Ah, it's not going to work. Just keep an eye on what he's doing. Alright, we got one turn left until the war. Following Sigmar's path. The instrument of Sigmar's will. And sitting here losing magic. That's not good. Welcome. How fares the Emperor in these dark times? Okay, we can maybe trespass 
one or two more times just to get into position. So, these four here to deal with Paravon, that should be more than enough, that's excessive. These three here to deal with Montfort should be enough, more than excessive. Champion of the faith. Your word is my command. These two here should be fine to deal with Lewin Leonko. He does have a good army, but... A minor settlement battle will actually make that fairly easy. He's also got next to no winds of magic. And we have some. This one's actually not in great shape, winds of magic-wise. These two here... Here to serve. See, after they're done here, I want them to hit maybe Bordaloo itself. You honor me. No, because they'll counterattack. True servant of Sigma. Where do I want one more army? Where am I least sure about, like a good uh, maybe here? The men are yeah. keen. Yes. Step to it. One more here. This is our last army that we're going to recruit. For, you know, for this war. Legend, you're in the red. What happened? Camp for now. All right. This guy needs to put some points into that thing. One of your huntsmen generals named Rizard Aldridge. Sounds a lot like Rich Aldridge. Yeah, look, Creative Assembly put their staff names, their staff members' names in the game. I know a bunch of staff members that have, like, turn one characters. Totally fine. Like, there's Rob Bartholomew. There's... Uh, Ian Roxburgh, there's other people that I'm sure they would like their privacy um, kept, so I won't mention it. But yeah, there's plenty of people out there that have have that. Actually, didn't the other one recruit it at higher level? Alright, so why don't we do this? Advancing! Few extra ranks could be the difference between victory and defeat. Why don't we why don't we go full great swords? Did this guy get that stat? He did. And what do these two have? Oh, we don't have any artillery. Okay. So you'll get You'll get great swords and some artillery. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Rysad Alderidge. Yeah, how about that? Who calls? Moving off. All right, next turn. Because if we have a look here, our neighbors in the east deign to visit. Yeah, one turn, and then we got to get them off their alliances. That shouldn't be too difficult. And then here we go. So this war, like the previous episode, the entire episode was basically just Kislev, right? And I, do, I want this one done within 30 minutes. <laughs> this should be quick. Hopefully. Hopefully. Alright, well, we'll see how we go. Yeah, I got intel over here, so we'll see Kairos coming. If this is where he's planning on coming, we'll see him. And I'll be ready for him. Yeah, it doesn't seem like my allies have succeeded in taking out Zinch. They had him there for a bit, but they stuffed around a hell of a lot. Okay, here we go. Now, as long as he doesn't declare war on us over this turn here... Okay, I'm going to trespass one little army in there, because I want to get his relation as low as possible. Ever vigilant. Following Sigma. Our neighbors in 24. The east today. Bring it down a little bit more. Maybe down to 14. Because the lower it is, the, weak. the more Going likely forward. we will be able to cheaply get him to cancel his alliances. Did I... Hang on, don't forget about this. Okay, here we go. Welcome to Bretonia now. Bretonia War now. More. Friends of the Empire. I've already cancelled my trade agreement with Ungram Iron Fist because I want the 
relationship with us to decay slowly. It's more manageable that way. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, let's see how this... Oh, hang on, before we declare war. Alright, let's start with a little bit of checking stuff out. So, we go with canals. We need to just check to see if... Wow, that made a huge difference. Alright, break... Break more than one alliance. He's gonna be able to break all three. Oh, wow, with one go. Oh, that was worth doing. Good stuff. Okay, that way I only lower this settlement down a little bit. So we need to recruit a lord here. Oh my god. And we get 50 grand out of him for it. It doesn't matter if we cancel their trade agreements with him. It doesn't matter. You are shrewd. Okay, done deal. He has no allies left. I don't need to call anyone else to help us here. Do you wish the lady's favor? Hang on, let me just check one last thing. I need to see what they feel about him. Okay, Clan Angrand hates Britonia. Absolutely hates him, which means... The more shit that I do to him, the better. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're good to... This will increase relationship with, with um, Belagar, so that's fine. Alright. Lewin, it's time to die. I think not. Yep, no allies get involved, we didn't lose any reliability, and we immediately capture the settlement back. Thank you very much. I serve the Helden. None of his armies are on ambush stance, I've been keeping very close eye on them. And now we just snuff them out one at a time. Now let's start with this over True here. Servant of Sigma. For the Emperor. The Empire. Does he have armies on Albion? I have one army near Albion. Yeah. So don't worry, I've thought about that as well. I will do anything for Sigma. Okay, that's one settlement taken down. Cool. Then we come over to here. I will marshal the men. Ready. Okay, now what we want to be doing here Onwards. is recruiting a second army for Concarda because he's got extra defenses there. So, well, just like great swords. So we just need order resolve power. Should be sufficient. Yes, blessed is this action. Okay, next one, uh, Paravon, you're next. Raise your weapons. Into battle. What do you have left for the wind condition now? I think there's about a hundred settlements to go. Soon to be 80, because we're taking about 20 settlements away from Lu and Leonco. I will not obey. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Ulrich's will. I only need to get the win. In all of these situations, I only need the win. What does the Emperor bid? Attack! For Heldenhammer! Wherever is Carl? Carl's up north a little bit. He's over here. Yes, my lord. Champion of the faith. Is his tactic just a Zerg? Yep. Pretty much just throwing the entire weight of my entire economy at the enemy. And hit them in basically so hard that it just cripples them in one turn. And then that's it, the war's over. And then we just move on to the next one. Like the whole episode is not going to be on Bretonia. So, okay, we've got Carl Franz here. Command here.
Oh, wow. I thought he was going to need reinforcements. Okay, well, I guess he doesn't. Save them for other fights. <laughs> it's not like they need the experience. Wow. Yeah, Bretonia is not that strong in auto resolve. What does the Emperor bid? Sigma be praised. Fear my righteous fury. To strengthen the Empire. On march! True servant of Sigma. By Sigma! Arch if I attack this one, it will move out of the way. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Past evil <laughs> to the provinces. On march. I cannot comply. Not in this world or the other. I don't think that one's in range. But he's gonna lose some dudes. Cleanse the filth by Sigma's right for the heir of Sigma. What? I could just get this one in a little bit closer. It is time. It is for the best. War calls! Ready! Okay, I think all four armies should be coming in as reinforcements now. Don't care about those armies getting wrecked. Alright, good. A lot of damage, but that's okay, because they'll have plenty of time to recover. Blessings of Sigma upon you. Oh my Champion god. Of the faith. This is going a lot better than I thought it would. I will do anything for Sigma. Favor for taking Zinch today? Uh we'll see. Because Zinch is far away. And I would prefer to not have to fight Zinch at all. I'd much rather be fighting Thoric Ironbrow down there. I go where I am needed. We're born to hunt. Camp and forage. Stay together. Wow, this this war is just like it's just freaking over. <laughs> Hang on, we haven't dealt with Lu and Leonko yet. This is very different to to what happened with um, uh, what's his face? Her face, I mean, um, Katarin. Warrior of Sigma. Order to serve. Okay, this one here is Lu and Leon Kerr. I don't expect two of these armies to be enough. Good thing we got four. Cast evil out. Yeah, so I just threw the entire weight of my economy into this. Ready to serve. So that I could just get it done fairly quickly. Bye, Sigma. Oh wow, I wasn't expecting that. But look how much damage you'll take. Oh well. We have reserves. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. This war is going pretty well. But legend, think of all the lives that you could save. Tools of judgment ready. Don't fret, they'll be open. Alright, any chance you guys can make it Warrior there? Yep, of okay. Sigma. For the Emperor. Sigma is with us. That army there can reach Aquitaine, so we got to make sure that 
I must keep my holy vow. Maybe no. if I can block him. Show me the oh, is there any chance I can actually reach him? Your Please don't tell me the only one with a cannon. Huntsman General! You got cannons? Ever vigilant. Honored to serve. So yeah, we'll make a bit of a transfer around. It should be fine, because this one. Huntsman General. This one. Um. Alright. There's no army there. Keep the pace! Huntsman General! Quicken your stride! On the trail! By Sigma! <laughs> so, you know how at the beginning of the turn we had a kingdom? Well, now we don't. <laughs> Alright, good. They can't reach over here. Maybe it would be not a bad idea to block this one if we could. Tools of judgment ready. Speak. My order agrees. Okay, she's not going anywhere. What about you? I will not. Yeah, I you will not man. move. Report. <laughs> oh dear, this is not going well for you, Lewin. I don't think we're even going to see you again. Elden Hammer. Oh my God, he didn't even fight a single battle manually. Helps us get through this a lot quicker. Alright, alright. And then there's these two here. You know, Doomstacks. I live to serve the Emperor. Who calls to strengthen oh, the shit. Empire? By right. Uh, okay. Okay, well that was quick. I didn't even get to use Gelt. I am the Supreme Patriarch. Oh, swing him around over here. Alright, we're not quite done yet. We've still got this army here. Which probably will have to fight a battle manually. Unless we can auto Elysia. Let's see. Purge the heretics. Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought. It's good. I serve Sigma. Here to serve. Praise be to Sigma. Where am I recruiting? Successful foray. Where am I recruiting? Okay, so this over here, just go to there and then hand it back to them. And then tell them to. I can't tell them to occupy it. Well, attack this then. Um, Genrik Eckerman did a 6 euro super chat. Hi, Legend. Should I prioritize Weaponsmith for melee attack? Attack or armory in Shogun 2. Thank you for the show content. Um, I don't know to be honest, dude. I have no idea. I don't really focus on that kind of stuff at all. Um, Albion, that's it. Yeah, you're right, Albion. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, dude. I I think that you need to make a judgment call, and I think that it's a trivial decision, and it doesn't really matter what decision you make. The most important thing on the campaign map is whether or not you can actually win the battles. And if you can win the battles, it doesn't really matter if you've got plus two melee attack or plus four armor. Uh, it really depends on what you're going up against and what you're using, so... There is no right or wrong answer there. Champion of the faith. Okay. So? Alright. Protector of the weak. 
So, let's see what they've got left. I think that's the end of my rampage. So they got nine regions. So they got three in North 1. Don't worry about that one. That's, they're not going to do anything there. So one, two. That'll be easy for us there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is there somewhere I haven't accounted for? Or am I just blind and I'm not seeing it? One, two, three. Four, five. Oh, hang on. There's four here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, yeah, all accounted for. Okay. Yeah, four in Bretonia. I don't know why I'm just. Just. Didn't see it. You know? See it, but I didn't see it. That's okay. Alright, so these are their last two armies then. The other. What orders? Praise be to Sigma. I don't Never imagine vigilant. it's going to be difficult to get to Musulon or Castle Artois. That's not going to be a problem. But yeah, armies like this should be merged. Right, Sigma. I go where I'm needed. Arch Lecter. I serve Sigma. Awaiting orders. I live to serve the Emperor. Protector of the weak. Warrior of Sigma. I can't Bring imagine we're going to need them anymore. Ready to serve. But we do need to get ready for Clan Angrand as well. So that's that's happening real soon. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. What orders? I serve Sigma. Let's see how they felt about all this. Step forth, true friend. Yeah, they didn't care. They didn't care about this at all. Alright, that's fine. Um, how did Rapance feel about it? Hang on. Yes. Oh, she is not happy about this. She's not happy. Um Okay, okay. I need you to break your trade. We mm. receive you with the lady's grace. Because she business? likes him. Um, okay. Okay, well, I'm not going after you just yet, so... Oh, shit, military actions against Corona is very high. What if, what if I told you to break... What if I told you to join war against Corona? This will sort it out. Bretonia yep, there we go. All sorted. <laughs> All sorted. There we go. Switched it right around. She's not going to do anything. And that'll probably stop a confederation happening from as well. Alright. Alright, this one here's got cannons. Good. So that'll go for Artois. Ready. I don't think I we need this either. This will the nation. Okay, that gives us money again. Well... We just just royally screwed him. To the provinces, servant of the faith. This is all good territory as well. Don't need that there. Got Gisera back. Never yield. Oh, we got this. So that'll give us recruit rank for cavalry. Not that that's particularly important. And also a bit of money. They haven't built the main economy building, so do that. They will be judged. Step to it. Alright, that seems to be all I need to do there. What else is going on? No new factions, and we look down over here. So hopefully Rapance goes and does that. Let me just check other factions in diplomacy, make sure Okay, Ostermark's not very happy, but they can't do anything about I'm it. Flinching. After all the territory I've given you. What matters do you bring before the scouts of the Empire? Five hundred and sixty thousand gold. What if I just gave you a settlement that doesn't matter that much? Like Ancient City of Quint 
Because I'm not really going to be expanding you any further, am I? Just give him the money. Yeah. I guess I'm going to give you half a million so that you go to war with Karone. Half a million? Maybe you'll actually raise an army. There yes. you go. <laughs> wow, half a million. Damn it. I'm nearly at no, only 19 million. I'm going broke. <laughs> okay. What were the other ones? Don't worry about Ostermark. That doesn't matter. Iron Brow. I don't think he ever met... Never met Lewin Leonko. Doesn't care. Clan Angered. Doesn't care. Last Defenders. Never met him. Doesn't care. Zinch. We're never going to be friends with Zinch. Forget about that. Alright, and where did... Okay, we can see where he is. This gives us permanent sight over where Zinch, uh, where Kairos is, so that's really handy. Alright, here's to hoping that they land here, and then start taking territory, and bring the rest of their armies down here, and all of them die. Uh, I could have disbanded these ones, maybe I should have. It's too late now. Okay, let's move on. Wow. Boy, did we fuck them hard. At what point can, sorry, at what point can you cast reliability aside? The very last ally, the last one. Yeah, the very last one. Now I would confederate Marcus Wolfhard, I was thinking about this. I would confederate him if I wasn't bloody bordering Zinch down here. Because as soon as I do that, you just know I'm going to have to put loads of armies there having to repel him. How does your achievement collection look across to Warhammer Total Wars? Um, I don't really do achievement hunting. I have 100% in Warhammer 2, but I think that's just a, by accident because of just how much I played it. I did have 100% for Warhammer 3 before the Immortal Empire achievements came out, but I can't be bothered getting them for, for the new ones. Well, she blew up the settlement. So... I'd love it if she actually goes and occupies it, otherwise that was a lot of resources for nothing. These are oh, these armies are Oh, they want to go for here. Yeah, you'll cross the ocean to go and attack Lu and Leonka, but you won't go and attack Zinch for some reason. I serve the Helden Hammer. By Sigma. Chosen of Sigma. See if you can just do this on your own, then be disbanded. No, I didn't think so. That's okay. Why not Confederate Wolfhard give your settlements to Ostermark? Um, what would be the point in doing that? For one thing, that would take about two hours to just transfer all these territories over to him. And in fact, I wouldn't be able to transfer him past here. See, the only reason I managed to get Marcus Wolfhard over here is because he actually managed to conquer Monument of the Moon. So we got lucky with that. Otherwise, none of this conquest would have been possible. But as quickly as we did. So, no, that would be it. I, I get where you're coming from, but all we would get is Marcus Wolfhard as a general, which, why? He's, there's nothing special about him. Fight for our nation! Um, Honor Can Senli did a TRY55 super chat. I lived in. Sorry for yesterday. I was drunk. Don't you think Zinch. I'm not answering your question, dude. Go away. Sorry, I remember you now. If you're going to be a bigot, I'm going to treat you like a second class citizen. Don't be a bigot. You're lucky you didn't get banned. Sigma, true servant of Sigma, to war. Yeah, that's one of those cases where I remember someone, but for a bad reason. The Empire.
Gus says I'm really bad. He did. Yeah, it was really bad. Sorry. Hey, don't apologize to me. I think you need to look inside yourself and ask yourself, are you really a piece of shit or not? You need to ask yourself that. I'm not going to put up with that. I'm not going to put up with it. Champion of the faith. I will do anything for Sigma. Warrior of Sigma. To battle. The men are keen. Get a move on. We're there. All right. For the Emperor. Don't think we'll need too much from General, that. Move out. Elden Hammer. Did you ever give Crusader Kings a go? Yeah, I love Crusader Kings 2. I never got into Crusader Kings... Sorry, I never purchased Crusader Kings 3. Because in my opinion, Crusader Kings 2 is fine. <laughs> so, I don't know, I just uh, never got Crusader Kings 3. Praise be to I kind of got put off a little bit by a Paradox. Uh, just, just a bit. Like, I might... Here's the thing about Paradox games. Is that when you buy a Paradox game, you're buying an early access game, and you are a beta tester. Now, I don't have time to, like, play all iterations of a type of Paradox game. So my thoughts are is, I'll let a Paradox game come out, and if it gets, like, five years of development, yeah, I'll buy it then, because then there'll be a ton of DLCs, and it'll be a really developed game then. Because, like, the last Paradox game I bought was Imperator Rome, and they abandoned it. So why would I buy a game from Paradox on release? Like, support your games, or else we're not going to buy them on launch. You summon me. Yes. Sigma guides my steps. I am ready. Are you? Okay, so we've also got this what over here. So I hired these extra guys here in the hope of maybe order resolving this. Yeah, I, I figured this would have to be fought manually the without Empire. them. We'll see. But yeah, I, I do like Paradox games. I want to make that clear. I really do like them. I just think that they they take a little while to get going. Because like I really like Crusader Kings 2. I think it's amazing. And I like EU4. And I love Stellaris. And I like Hearts of Iron 4. Um, but you know, it takes a while before they actually become the games they're going to be. Whereas with Total War games, what you get on launch is pretty much what you're going to stay with. <laughs> with a few exceptions. Good, I can still fight that auto-resolve. Um, you just get more content. So it's different with Total War. They still get abandoned. You know, Warhammer 3 has not changed that much since the release of Immortal Empires. A little bit here and there, but not that much. What about Banner Lords? Yeah, Banner Lords is the kind of game that I would probably play a lot more if I had more free time. I just don't have really time to do that these days. Because it just takes so long to play a game of Banner Lord. You can't just be like, oh yeah, I'll just play it for a little bit. No, you can't just play Banner Lords for a little bit. And that's great for a game. But unfortunately, there were so many games like that, and it's just that my attention is split between all of them. Hearts of Iron Man. Stellaris is excellent. I agree that Stellaris is better than Hearts of Iron 4, for sure. But I do like Hearts of Iron 4. What I'm trying to say is, I'm a fan of Paradox's games. I'm not really a fan of how they do their business. And I, I'm not going to like pick a fight with them over it. Because, I, I honestly, I can't fight everyone at all times, everywhere. But I just got a lot of other things to do. And also, when you when you learn a new Paradox game, you basically need to do a university crash course on it. <laughs> I re I'll tell you something, I remember Hearts of Iron 3. When I got that game, I was like, oh my god, this is totally a game that looks like I will enjoy. But it took me like three whole days. Because I was like, on the second day of playing Hearts of Iron 4, I was like, oh my god, how does this game fucking work? Like, how do you even play this game? And I was like, if I don't get this within the next day, I'm just going to stop playing it. But then I find on the third day, I was like, okay, I'm getting the hang of this now. And then it was like, 
finally figuring it out. Crusader Kings 2. My god, does it take forever to learn Crusader Kings 2. EU4. Fucking ages it takes to figure them out. Uh, Solaris is pretty good with that kind of stuff, actually. It, it's I think it's pretty use, uh, like newbie-friendly. Um... Largely due to it being very much like a like a start at nothing sandbox game, but the other ones takes you basically you need a degree to learn how to play them, and I love that about them. But it also means that I can't play them all. That's all it means. I do love paradox games though. All right, so we want to obviously get to Leoness. Cast evil out. I wonder if we'll fight any battles manually today. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Praise Sigma, champion of the faith. Faith shields us. Okay. 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 Thoughts on Pharaoh? Um, I think that people ask me for my thoughts on Pharaoh because they want to see me get riled up. That's what I think. I think nobody is actually interested in my thoughts on Pharaoh or that they actually already know my thoughts on Pharaoh and that, yeah, they already know my thoughts on Pharaoh and they ask me deliberately knowing that I'm going to get crazy. <laughs> so, I don't know. I, I don't think I'll take the bait this time. All right. Yeah, we should be good to just go to this one. What's so special about Monument in Albion? Sorry, what's the special Monument in Albion? I'll show you. It's the Ogham Stones. So it's actually funny because the monument is actually here. The Ogham Shard. Right? What does the Emperor bid? So the Ogham Stone, empowered Ogham Stones, provide winds of magic power capacity plus 20 faction wide. Which, by the way, I believe that's more than what the Black Pyramid of Nagash does. Yeah, that one's 15. So it gives you a lot of Winds of Magic capacity, but it's not even in the right region. It's actually it's actually in the Isle of Wights, kind of. Kind of. Not, not a big deal, I think. Yeah, it was a troll question. I figured as much. And that's fine. I get it. I get it. I get pretty... I get pretty, uh, you know, riled up about about Empire's all that stuff blessings, yes. and some people find that really hilarious and you know what if you enjoy that I get it it's just that I've been asked too many times about Pharaoh and I think a lot of people are sick of uh, hearing about it the Empire Sigma compels us onward Sigma is with us Thoughts on Medieval 2? Should I try this game if I like Total Warhammer 2? I don't know if you'll like Medieval 2 if you like Warhammer 2. Um, I love Medieval 2. I think it's a great game. But... It's old. That's all I'll say about Medieval 2. It's a... Like, for a game that came out in 2006, it's fantastic. But for 2024... Dated. I do intend to cover some more Medieval 2 soon, though. So, if you want to see some gameplay of it, you can just wait for that. That'll be, you know, soon. And I don't mean a CA soon. I mean a Legend of Total War soon. Like, a couple of days. Maybe a week. <laughs> Alright, so these ones move so, up a bit. Alright, this one should be disbanded. And put Gelt there. The Grim. Ready. What have you to say? Yes. Report. Show me the accused. Moving on. No. Oh well. Forward. Misclicked. They will be judged. Speak. Show me the So good. Block them both. They're not going anywhere. All right. So next stop is Torcarelli. Looks like we can get there. I live to serve the emperor. We're actually using a Bretonian to kill Bretonians. And then we need an army to go and capture the Eagle Gate. Sigma. 
So it's just an auto resolve stack because I can't be bothered fighting it manually if it's not actually going to be tough. Nobody wants to see a siege anyway. All right, all right, all right. All right, now we need to start preparing for this war. It's all about that preparation. So this is a bigger, bigger one to hit. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a much bigger one to hit. And his relation with us is kind of at a point where I, I could mess with that. For the wisdom of Valea. And also, dwarves are a lot better in order resolve. And some of these settlements are not easy to just like encamp on the border and attack. And they can jump in the underway, so we got to be very careful about Clan Angrand. Not too worried about Albion. Okay, we, we have to track where all their best armies are. That's that's the big thing here. Maybe I should do Rapance first. Rapance will definitely be easier. Because at least I can give all of this territory to Ostermark on the border there. But I also want Rapance to continue doing that. Um, Anti did a three dollar super chat. You won bow, no defeat. Next, love your work. I haven't decided what I'm going to do next. I'm going to focus on this. But thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it. Sigmarite Arch Lector. Um. Okay. So these armies, there's no reason to disband them if we're going to be using them again real soon. I've got to get back these settlements. We want to hit, don't necessarily need to take every single one of their settlements, but I need to take all of their armies out. And so I need to track where they are. So we've got three, four, five, that one's not that big of a deal. Also don't have defenses at Waterfall Palace. Maybe I should put some there just in case. Um, then there's one there, one there, there's a shitload of Lothurn, that's not so bad, I don't have any, uh, hmm. yeah, I gotta be careful about that, another one here, the axe thirsts for war. um, hmm, Oh, I know. I could take this army and help it uh, go and capture this. For the wisdom of Valaya. Okay. Any new enemies? Nope. Okay. Corone is on its last legs. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to do Angren. Angren's going to be a tough one. Way tougher than what we've done previously. Yeah, a lot of these will probably have to be fought manually. Alright, let's move on. Because that's another thing with um, Clan Angrand, is we're probably going to have to do it all by ourselves. I could probably get Rapance to join it, that shouldn't be too difficult. But yeah, we should consider abandoning settlements that are likely to fall anyway. Can't you outright buy a couple of settlements from Angrand? No. No, because um, a billion gold is only worth 15 in diplomacy, and a lot of cities... Basically, there's there's some cities that the AI will just not sell. So you need to make a swap in those cases. Is Warrior Priest Doomsday good against Dwarfs? Absolutely, but I just don't have enough Warrior Priest armies to cover their, all their armies all at once. That's the problem. Man, this is happening a lot.
I may need to start cheesing the fealty. Get it back up. If it drops down again, I'll do it. Because, yeah, we don't want random bullshit ending the campaign. Awaiting orders. I can actually reach that. Got to be careful because they could sail to Elysia. And it's more important to take out their armies than to take out their cities. I don't think this guy here would be able to... Hang on, could I... Ever vigilant. Yeah, take out the army. That's more important. So yeah, I'll show you about outright buying settlements from... Ang Angrund, and we'll just see if it's even possible to do it. I'll show you. Alright, so let's pick any settlement. Okay, 100... No, we'll pick something that is the cheapest one. Something that's like... Maybe 50? These are 50. Okay, the cheapest one was one of the gates. Alright, okay, we'll, we'll use this as an example. Let's just say I want to buy Tordranil. Okay, I'm going to give them 19 million gold. That's because 19 million gold is only worth... Oh, it's actually worth 7... Oh, baseline evaluation. But yeah, economic value... Yeah, you can see that no matter how much money... Hang on. See, if I offer one-tenth that amount, you'll notice that it didn't change the value. It's still economic value 15. It reaches a point where there's just, they don't care about money anymore. Yeah, it, it basically doesn't matter. We need to get it down to 17 in order to be able to buy a settlement. This is not possible in its current state. This is why we make uh, settlement trades, or we have to basically couple it with something else, but just bribe on its own isn't going to work. True servant of Sigma. Oh. Well, I guess I don't need that other army then. I'll keep it for now because it'll bleed out their economy a little bit. Check your past relationship with the dwarfs, maybe? Uh, okay. Uh, fairly good. Could definitely be ruined. Here to serve. Cool. Alright, don't need this anymore. See ya. Alright, we got all of Albion now. Good stuff. Don't think we need this. Oh, we can keep that. Alright, and I don't think we really need you either. Just be quicker to recruit him closer to the front line. Alright, any new enemies? Nope. Okay. So I think that's their last settlement now, isn't it? Oh, except for the... So they got two left. Yeah, two left. They got this other one over here. Protector of the weak. Alright, we should be able to hit Tor Corali next turn. I just need some cannons with this one. And some more... More oomph. Good merge, but I think it'll be enough. It's not that large of a garrison. And these guys can come and help. Swapping would remove his garrison, though. Yep. Yep, you're absolutely right. I'm not worried about garrisons. I'm worried about their armies. I am the Supreme Patriarch. Sigma grant me his strength. Well, 
Looks like I didn't need to fight a single battle manually against Lou and Leonco. But that's good, it saves time. We're only an hour into it, and that's one of our allies dealt with. And we got, what, nine hours to go? <laughs> well, that being said, we had already prepared for about an hour in the previous episode. So yeah, that is pretty much the end of Lou and Leonco. Now we need to start preparing for this one here. Alright, so what we need is... To Firstly, I need to make sure that I'm paying attention to what they're doing over the end turns. And then we need Witch Hunters attached to each one of these armies. Because we need to know what they're doing in every step. Tools of judgment ready. I trust no man. Yes. For now, seek out the heretics. Because once we cancel the military alliance, we're not going to be able to see what's going on in their borders anymore. And we probably need more heroes out here. They don't need to be blocking armies, they just need to be keeping an eye on things. I've got one there. The nation calls. Seek out the heretics. Okay. So there's quite a lot of settlements that are basically undefended. We don't need to worry too much about them. I wouldn't... The axe thirsts for war. Hmm. I definitely don't want to get rid of Marathi, because I think that's what's keeping all of these armies here. We'll need to bring some of our hero armies. In through Ulthwan, we'll need to have... There's four armies here. All right, let's do a count. How many dwarf armies? All right, let's do a count. Return your wars over. Dwarf, dwarf armies. Okay, let's do a count. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, six on north one. So we'll go six on. Okay, then in Old World, one, two, three, four, five, six. I am Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's correct. They've got twelve armies in total. That's actually a really good way to find out. So they got six in Ulf, six in the Old World. Okay. Galleon's Graveyard has, doesn't have an army, it's just heroes. Don't worry about heroes, they don't matter. Okay. Alright, so they've got 12 armies in total. Cool to know. And we just need to keep track of it. Seven Ulf one, once the one you borrowed is returned. Yes. Good. Good thinking. So seven in Ulth one. Thank you, dude. Okay. Yep. We'll keep this army. We'll bring we'll bring our best hero armies to here. We'll that because that'll just smash them. We'll need we need a lot of those hero armies. Servant of the faith. General. All right, now these Tracker two, these guys here. All right, let's start bringing them round over Huntsman. this way. What? Carl Franz, where are you going? You're best fighting on the field, which means Athel Lauren. Moving off. The nation calls. Not possible. Ever onward. I will do anything for Sigma. I will marshal the band. Okay. Champion of the faith. Start getting people on the borders. Ready to fight. Forward. In his name. Now. Halberdiers are not great against dwarves. We should really be going for great swords, shouldn't we? Ever vigilant. Yeah. 
Should be going for great swords. To the provinces. To battle. Yes. Just re-recruiting from scratch in a bit. This will bolster the nation. So yeah, we need to do a little bit of a reform of our armies. Servant of the faith. Warrior of Sigma. Hunt them out. Ready to serve. So yeah, just queue it up. Next turn, it's fine. We've got a bit of time before we need to push the button on this. Alright, I think that'll do for this turn. There's probably a little bit more we can do, but we've got plenty of time to sort this out. So looking at... Oh, very nice. Very nice. This is exactly what I wanted to see. Hopefully Rapunz will start sending... More armies this way. I think she's deadlocked for trying to deal with... um With this, but... Yeah, if, we, if Rapunz can send some armies over here to give... Give uh, Thoric Ironbrow just a little bit of time to reprieve. That could be really good for us. So that works. Good stuff. Okay, moving on. I serve Sigma. You think War of Thoric will be the hardest so far? Uh, it depends on how I go about it. Really, if you prepare adequately, the wars are not that difficult at all. Like what we've seen here with Bretonia, we've got the resources to just smack them really hard. It's all just a matter of whether or not we position ourselves in order to just cripple them straight away. Now, the reason why that didn't happen instantly with Kislev is because they were stronger than us. But these other factions, they're... They, didn't, they don't have 70 settlements. They can't build the kind of economy that Kislev can. Uh, so they're just not going to get that powerful. And also, I confederated Ostland, which gave us more resources to work with, so I can have more armies. Once you take out Rapaz, does Henry disappear? I don't think so. I don't think so. Alright, I think this may be the end of them. Let's see. It's alright, I got reinforcements that were coming in here. Ah, oh, he's back. Hmm. That's okay. I'm not gonna leave you high and dry. I go where I am needed. I'm playing Rakath, and the Tyrants of the Black Ocean attacked my Siri. A new glitch? No, mate, it's an old glitch. I can tell you why they attacked your city. It's because you got a Black Ark stored there, right? So here's the thing. When a Black... A Black Ark is considered always at sea. However, you can park it at port. So what pirates can do is actually attack your port because it's technically kind of at sea. So if you don't want your cities to get attacked by pirates, don't put your Black Arks in them. But yeah, it only happens with Dark Elves. So it's not... Corone's gone. Alright. Cool, that was the first hour. Now it's time for Belagar. This will be much tougher. But we know we've gained some resources from all this. So that's good. Alright, we're definitely going to need to... This army should be pretty good against dwarves. Not for sieges, though. Yeah. My axe thirsts for war. If I get them to declare to cancel their alliance these units here will disappear <laughs> yeah well i'm still going to do that obviously all right so let's have a look at how relations are with belaga he likes this but we can we can drop that pretty quickly when we break the alliance so that's fine all right now i need you to get to ulf one ready moving out yes my lord because Belagar is in Ulthuan, we need to send our best armies to Ulthuan. Alright, this one here, just get rid of these. 
and get some more of these. And it's, it, you know, it's not a resolve stack. Alright, we got some more heroes. I reckon for this, we should bring four hero stacks. So this one. What orders? Yes, my lord. All warrior priests, not captains. Alright. So four for Ulth one there. Right for that. They'll need to come around this way, that's fine. Moving off. Ever vigilant. Then these two. Sigmarite Arch Lector. Send them to Karak Izor, I think. Let's go this way. So we still need our military access with Clan Angrand. So I don't want to cancel that just yet. Also, I still need to get my Witch Hunters into position. We need at least 13 Witch Hunters, I guess. One for each army. Keep an eye on things. You make fools of both of us. Oh man, I wish I could batch. Oh, I guess I could put them in an army. The nah. Empire. They're fine. By the silver hammer, yes. It doesn't take that long. Who calls? I trust no. What happens when there are two arcs in range? Do the spells combine? No. No, the strongest black arc is the one that is dominant. So, like for example, if you it doesn't give you extra shots of it. Only one Black Ark's abilities will be used per battle. Tools of judgment ready. On march. But otherwise, that'd be overpowered. Imagine if you put ten Black Arcs in an area and it gave you thirty Black Ark march. shots. That'd just be ridiculous. They will be judged. Now they also have twenty-eight regions. Maybe we should count them out. One. There's five in this. No, no, there's more than that. There's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Seven in the old world. Oh, that's probably a bad idea. So just, I'll start again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-one. Okay. And that one there. Twenty-two. I must have counted something twice. <laughs> this is why I shouldn't be. Okay. Just want to make sure I'd... there's no, like, settlements out here in the middle of nowhere. Um, okay. Show me the accused. Yeah, main thing is take out their armies, because it'll take them a few turns to replace them. Because their cities just sit there. They're no big deal. We can take them out whenever we want. I am Prince and Emperor. I'll have uh, Karl Franz say at the Oak of Ages. For the wisdom of Valea. All right, moving on. Seek out the heretics. Does the double vow for Britonia still work? I actually haven't played Britonia the since they fixed that apparently. The so no, calls. I don't. I don't think they do. But I haven't played Britonia in a long time. You counted from 19 to 21? <laughs> My counting skills are not good. Alright, come on, Rapunz. I need you to live there. I used up all my allegiance points to get you there, and then you stuff around. I'd really like it if by me having this uh, this army here, that Belagar has to start disbanding most of his armies. Yeah, I'm not going to get any trespassers just yet. I will marshal the band. So obviously we don't need to hit Vol's Anvil, but we do need to hit Crag Halls of Findle. What? Uh, with like one army. We need to get some armies over here. We'll have to hit Karak, Buftar, and Zaraxil. I reckon we'll... Okay, yeah, let's just get... Okay, this this army here. Just, um... 
Just disband for now. Get over to here. This one as well. Totally fine with bringing cannons, but... We don't need halberdiers. Go for better units. Get rid of all of this. The nation calls. Agreed? What does the Emperor bid? Just gotta get people in position. One team lands. The great outdoors. Huntsman General. Awaiting orders. Champion of the faith. They will be okay. Pick up the pace. Yeah, it's going to take a few turns to get into position. Okay, this guy's done. Your word is my command. But given that they've Not only got guys. 13 armies, we Not should be able to have two armies for each one of those, no problem. Forward in his name. That just shouldn't be a problem at all. Praise be to Sigma. My journey begins. I will do anything for Sigma. Alright, so Gelt, we were going to send Gelt over to Avathir. He could probably handle this on his own. Toddy. They need to get around over this way. Yeah, the hero goon squad. Oh, hang on, what about you? How about you stay at Toranlek? You could probably handle that. Praise Sigma. Warrior of Sigma. Sigma compels us. You go to Toran Lake. Okay. Sigma I Most of our armies Lecter. move. Just gotta get these heroes down Disagree here. With that. Yeah. Tools of judgment ready. All right. I don't think we're going to struggle too much it with this. this. It's not going to be like Cataran's War. That was... Like, Kislev armies, in my opinion, are way more dangerous so, than dwarf march. armies. It's just that dwarf armies are probably better in order resolve. Now, and if we want to get through this quickly, then order resolving will help us do that. But I, I imagine some of these battles yes. will just have Is to be fought manually. Even if we send four full stacks against this, we'll probably have to fight some fights. There's no two ways about it. And that's fine. No man. Show me the accused. I serve the Helden Hammer. A little bit of cash extra. Why not? Alright, so we've currently got active 19 armies. They're all in this area here. Every single one of them. We don't have any spared for anywhere else. Also, once we're done with Clan Angrind, we should probably have an army over here by the Galleon's Graveyard as well. But yeah, once we're done with the Galle with um, Angrind, Rapance is next. Why cannon instead of hellstorm? Can't you recruit hellstorm in one turn yet? No, like, it takes two turns to recruit them. Cannons will do just fine. It's mainly just for siege attacker. Hellstorm rocket batteries are better. You're absolutely right about that, for sure. But they don't recruit in one turn. Not yet, anyway. Alright, I don't think there's anything else I need to do. Just checking all this stuff here. Okay, Rapance repels. Zinge. Good. Good. Them taking out that army is going to relieve pressure. What about the rest of Rapunzel's forces? Look at this. Oh, no. We have met before. Do you know who I am? Are they actually going to do it this time, though? Hey, look, it's Alberic. Yeah, because he got confederated. All right. Nothing else to do here. Moving on. The new patch fixed some Warriors of Chaos skills, but not the text. Yeah. Well, you know, it was only a hot fix, so maybe, maybe next time. Maybe next time. Is it time? Tools of judgment ready. What about the desert tree? Isn't it blue on the map? Desert tree. 
Do you mean this over here? That is um, the last defenders. What do you mean by the desert tree? Oh, I see. You mean like the um, the Bowman of Orion? No, that's owned by Rapace, I believe. Or do I own that? I'm not sure. How much money will you lose from the missing trade with Belagar? I've already cancelled the trade agreement with him, so... Nothing. But yeah, it was worth about 5000 when I did cancel it. Uh, Jaredik, subscribe with Prime. Sorry if I missed anyone who's subscribed on Twitch. I didn't see any. Let me just see. Yeah, I just went up to the top. That was the first subscription for the day. So I appreciate that, Jared Deke. Hope I pronounced that right. Probably didn't. So yeah, we, we make 32,000 from trade, but this is what's going to be lost after as we do this kind of stuff. All right, looking at him. Approach and state your affairs. Hmm. Can confederate him at any moment. 500,000 gold, and you still can't recruit a bloody army, you fuck. And get that gold off him at any time, because he's not spending it, obviously. I get that gold off him at any time just by selling these regions and then confederating him. When the time comes. Not right now. Defender of the faith. I should put him in channeling stance. More magic would definitely help. By Sigma's right. The Empire. No. No! Champion of the faith. Praise be to Sigma. Honored to no, I don't think it matters for you. Guided by Sigma. Protector of the weak. Let us begin. Yeah, and Gelt's going down this way. To move. His job's going to be Avathir. Oh, shit, you need to generate some magic. you got plenty of time, though. But yeah, next turn, I need to put him on some magic generation. Because, yeah, he can only get 100. We fixed the thing with Volkmar for some reason. Like, right, he's fine with uh, that. That's, I don't know what happened there. Ready. Um... I think Valmir, on his own, should be able to handle Craghorse of Findle. I serve Sigma. Who calls? Yes, a sound plan. While he's making his way down, just pick up some new troops. Same thing with you. It is impossible. Who calls? All right, Carl Franz. So yeah, I want him assaulting the yes. King's Glade, but he'll need a backup army as well to help out. Probably this one when it gets here. Following Sigmar's path. So Valmir will take that. He should be able to do that on his own. And then Carfranz and the backup army will take the King's Glade. These Through armies here. Of Sigma, my journey begins. We need somebody in a position to strike a character. That's what these ones here are for. They're going to take Karakirin. Huntsman General. Champion of the faith. And we need armies in position along here to attack Zaragzil and Karak Bufta. But we don't want to be standing in his territory because if he gets too angry with us, he'll declare war. And we need to be the one that declares war. That's so important. I live to serve the Emperor. Ever okay, I think I've moved everyone. No new enemies, that's good. Looking at all the stuff here, that's fine. Uh, just having a quick check to make sure. Okay, a few, few people are angry at us. What news? Nothing too severe. How's things going with him? Yeah, that's pretty good. Good there. Lizardmen don't matter. Even if they were to declare war, they're too far away to give a shit. Actually, it doesn't look like these guys are on friendly terms. They're not allies. Wait. They are... Non-aggression pact and, and uh, military access, but that's it. She's only, only allied with some repasts. Okay, that's fine. 
What local effects do agents have in non-player territories if you're neutral with the AI? For example, public order disorder? Nothing. They don't do anything in neutral territory. Show me the accused. For Sigma. Then we also need armies to take out just the random cities as well. All in due time. Why does the AI love building that shit? Okay, I think we're done with this turn. Let's move on. Hello, Legend. Did you hear about Drama Sweet Baby Inc.? I feel like this was asked yesterday, and I said never heard of it. I trust no man. Is Archeon dealt with? I yes, Archeon's gone. No Frostworm now has wounds. Yes, let's take the weakest unit in the game, get rid of their possible regen, and let's uh, give them wounds. <laughs> and not buff their stats at all. It shall be done. The nation with the new patch, do you think the horrors should be permanent attached to attachment to armies? Show me the accused. Do you think eerie horrors? I'm not sure what you mean by that. I trust no man. Sorry. Warrior of Sigma. Do you know of any new streamer YouTubers since pandemic that passed 100k subs? Are all the seats for gaming content taken? Okay, that's a good question, Jaredik. Um, let me just think. In terms of streamers, no, nobody. No. Okay, streaming is typically bad for gaining subs, right? Um, no, nobody really gains a lot of subscribers by streaming, even including me. All of the subs that I've gained are actually most of them are from videos. So if you're if you're a, like a Total War content creator, it is hard to generate subs via by li via live streams, right? Um, but that doesn't mean that there aren't creators that are hitting 100k subs. They're just not live streaming. So there are a couple that are trying different things and getting success with it, but it's not through live streams. Ooh, this is good to see. Are you going to bring in some more armies this way? Yes, they're finally sending armies down here. And the more armies that are down here the less armies that will be here. So yeah, that's good. Let that develop. I wanted Belagard to do that, but he's stuck with this, so... It's alright. This is wise. To the provinces. To the provinces. Ready to serve. Oh, I forgot to put him on. Blessings to wins. of Sigmar upon you. Guilt needs to be generating wins. He's almost at his absolute Very bottom. Well, I will do this. Belagar must have a lot of money in the bank. Now you're staying right here. Yeah, good. You can strike there. That's what we want to see. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Sigma lightens my steps. What? For Sigma. Yes, blessed is this action. The Empire. Step to it. Okay. Well, that looks fine. Now, this will bolster the nation. The nation calls. Tools of judgment ready. Protector of the weak. They will be judged. By Sigma. Your word is my command. Yes. Oh, crap, to unite the magic here. In the name of Magnus. Your word is my command. All right, this guy here is going to be no, 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 stop that. He's going to be tasked Sigma, with taking Vol's anvil, or redirected to Craghalls of Findel if yeah. Valmir isn't able to sort that out. So we'll take all of Athel Lauren in one on that first turn of attack. These ones here. I go where I am Actually, come over to here. I serve the Helden Hammer. I will go. Huntsman General, tense up, forward! Actually, we could probably locally recruit that here. Ooh. Yeah, why not? 
Why not? We'll go crazy. Because it's going to be a few turns until they're ready. Proceed. On the trail. I serve Sigma. Moving out. And then just go ham on them. Great swords. Good. Alright, three armies. Uh, may need a fourth for that, actually. <laughs> it's fine. We got money. We got money. What am I going to spend? 19 million? I'm willing to. No, not on, the, on this army. Actually, this... I'm willing to spend 10 million. I think that's fair enough. Couldn't you take out the Dark Elves to free Belagard to move at South End? Yes, but I actually don't want him to move down south anymore. I want him to be pinned down at Lothurn so that I can kill him all in one go. So that's what I originally wanted him to do, but not anymore. So that's why I'm not taking out Marathi. Now, after I've taken, taken out Belagar, I will be taking out Marathi. So she's next. Sometimes it's useful to leave an enemy alive if it means your allies are busy dealing with them so that they don't get uppity or anything like that. Ready. They don't get delusions of grandeur where they think that they can take you on. Fuck that. You don't want that at all. Um, I think what we'll have to do with this guy, we'll have to have an one army trespass and stand about here when the time comes, and then the rest near enough that they'll can force march over here to assist against Karak Izor. For the wisdom of Valaya. When the t yeah, and this is the ones that we need the uh, the heroes to help out with as well. But we'll see. I might be able to reach it from there. Alright, any new enemies? Nope, good. But this is really great to see here. Really, really great. So yeah, if Rapaz can just relocate all of our armies down here, that'll be awesome. Because that's going to keep Zinch busy. Not only is Zinch have uh, less money, so he can't produce as many troops, but he'll be splitting his attention, giving the wave after wave of dwarfs invading a chance to actually get the job done. Got a few commandments. So this is just try and get a little bit more cash out of them. More cash means more troops. Red Legend, you're already so rich. Why? Why bother? Let's do a few of them. fine. Alright, let's move on. Alright. Yeah. Well, the good news is, is that Belagar is not recruiting new armies. Oh yeah, he'll also lose these troops when we cancel the alliance. Maybe I should try to time it to do it in five turns. Instrument of Sigmar's will. Iridescent Horror, the Pink Zinch Demon Hero. Right. Got what you're talking about now? Yes. Yeah, you're probably going to want to put a Iridescent Horror in each of the armies. Yeah, look. you got to be really specific with me. Otherwise, it just whoosh, straight over my head. Show me the accused. I will turn my gaze yeah, shorthand is not a good good idea to use with me. I get that it can make things quick. Um, like, I have a good strategic brain. I don't, I don't have good, lang uh, like, math brain. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. At this point, can you feel unlimited armies with that amount of gold? Uh, no, absolutely not. No, like, 19 million is a lot, for sure, but we can definitely run out of money. Will you lightning strike these armies, or try a slugfest? Um, with like, that army there, I'm going to do a slugfest, because I'm bringing four armies in. So what I'll do is I'll just pull them out as we go in. What? Move. Okay, you're actually generating magic here. Good. Ever vigilant. Going forth. 
Okay. So that shouldn't be too difficult for Balthazar Gelt. We can launch the attack here easily enough. That's good. I will obey. He'll replenish, but right? Yeah, yeah, he'll replenish by the time we have to fight, so that's I not a problem. No yeah, we are mostly in position so, now. Mostly. Is that where heretics lurk? Gotta make sure he just kinda counterattack us anywhere. Well, we're mostly in position to attack all of his armies. Still got a few that I aren't there. Alright, need to get over to here. Servant of the faith. Uh, you were force marching Your down this way. So now a fool's action. Who calls? Never. The nation calls. It is time. Yes. Step to it. We cannot. I refuse. Pick up the pace. Okay. Tools of judgment ready. Seek out the heretics. Seek out the heretics. All right, so over here. Close to track. Scout leader. All right, if that guy is able to launch the attack from that distance, then we shouldn't have any problems with this. It should be an easy order resolve. Um, I said we're probably going to need four armies for Karak here, so let's let's get another one going. And yeah, just just go ham on these guys, because this is this is probably a pretty strong order resolve. I mean, just due to having so much armor. Will I do anything for Sigmar? I feel like I'm doing quite a lot for Sigmar here. <laughs> Alright, that'll do. Fine. Bring me to my men. Warrior of Sigma. Okay, they're almost in position. But like I said, we cancel the so the war with the dwarves should be about fourteen turns away. My knowledge is yours. Moving out. The nation calls. Onwards. What does the Emperor bid? Awaiting orders. Yeah, it should be about 14 turns away, because four turns until we cancel the alliance. I am a supreme patriarch. And then ten turns until we wait for the cooldown on that. A lot of cities over here, and dwarves can potentially recruit very quickly. So we should really try to hit as many cities as hard as we can, as fast as we can, and make sure that we can get them all chained up very quickly. There's also this settlement out here, but that has no recruitment capabilities. So they are very unlikely to recruit anything here. So I wouldn't worry about any lords popping up this way. Just wouldn't worry about it. Anyway, these guys here are fairly close to that if I really need to go deal with it. But you know what I should do? I should have a witch hunter just stay there and have a look. Is that where heretics lurk? Okay. Yes. So you can stay there. By Sigma's right. I Doesn't serve really the what Hammer. stance we're in. So yeah. Hit Vol's Anvil with that one. Crag holds a Findle with that one. These two hit King's Glade. These two hit Karak Izor. These four will hit Karak Hirn. These two will hit Karak Bufdar, which means we need two more armies, which I'll recruit over the next two turns for Zarak Zil. I probably need three armies, actually, for Zarak Zil, because that is what do you want? better defended. That's okay. I can afford it, right? Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, moving on next turn, just check this and go have a look at Zinch. How's Rapant's doing? We're just trying to rec well she has recovered. So, is that where heretics lurk? Rapant, you need to go and capture this settlement here. Who did I tell to go to get this? Probably um Clan Angrand. There doesn't appear to be any reinforcements close by. This one, let's, it would be cool to see that one move south. So it's, so it's sort of aligned with Fuming Serpent. Let's see if it goes down south next turn. Because yeah, you've got a lot of armies just sitting around here doing nothing. And I don't like that. Okay, moving on. What made you decide on the Empire for this challenge? Okay, well, after doing the... Well, after failing the uh, high elf no defeat campaign, I thought to myself, what campaign 
would be more interesting for people than that. And uh, be even harder. Because even though I failed the High Elf campaign, I kind of figured like a harder one will keep me more alert. And so I thought about the Empire because it's possibly the hardest one to do it with, but then I'm not sure. And also, it's really just about making popular content, making stuff, making content that you guys are actually going to enjoy. So, for example, if I did this with Dark Elves, even if it was tougher, nobody would want to watch that because just Dark Elves are not popular. And if I did it with Ogres, it'd be even worse. No, where are you? All right, Man Blight Tribe. Uh, okay, well that's good. What orders? If I told them to go to war with them, it's, it's not going to do anything. Just, just get rid of this guy now. True servant of Sigma. Helden Hammer. Uh, more demise, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Arch right. Get this one back I over to here. Serve the Emperor. Forward in his name. So, hopefully, we don't see any more beastmen for a while. That was annoying. Volkmar the Grim, protector of the weak. Praise Sigma. We also need to keep track of where this guy's going to go. They don't seem to be disbanding their units at all. Not like I did with Ungrim. Oh, I got an idea. No. Ooh. Potion healing. Yeah, I could steal that off him. Doesn't matter. I got heaps of them. I got an idea. I was going to put him out in the water to get killed by this. Could do that. Thing is, though, if I do that, it might disrupt the delicate balance that we've got here. And then Belagar will go out and fight it and then spread his forces out all over the place. So it might be best if I just... Just leave him over here, and we'll just keep track of him in a moment. I'm gonna need a witch hunter to stay uh, close to him. The nation calls. Got heaps of capacity. Who calls? It is time. Okay, so yeah, we're ready for that. We're in position there. We are in position in Athalorin. Yeah, they're not gonna be able to strike at that in one go from that distance. Champion so somebody is going to have to trespass. Okay, our armies here are ready to roll. I cannot follow this so Karak here should be fine. They will be judged. Uh, we're not fine Sigurd down here. We need to get select. more armies. Moving out. Yep, I can strike a Karak Wolf down no problem. And probably Zarek's will be easy as well. Okay, so we just need to get... Protector of the weak. A bunch of armies here. Mm. Wait, let me just have a look. Okay, they're available local. I'll get them here. And then at Fort Sol, I need someone to just basically have Siege Attacker. So these guys can attack. I can fight that one manually if I need to. So you just have a couple of cannons. And this is to help with auto resolve, so. Cool. Get that started. Alright, good. Alright, looks like we're gonna be pretty ready for the dwarfs by the time we just cancel the alliance. Is there any more trespassing that I need to do? I don't think there is. Show me the accused. I think we're all in position. It's just a case of just needing more armies now, which we'll have ten turns to sort that out. Oh hang on, this guy okay, just wait.
All right, checking my other allies, making sure they're not super angry. My yep, that's fine. Flies true. It's fine. Britonia. She didn't like all that stuff against Corone, but she'll forget about that stuff fairly quickly. Alright, all this seems fine. Okay. Oh, hang on. And checking on Zinch one last time. That army is moving down south. Nice. Nice, they're actually making some progress. Send more. I imagine as soon as I take out Marathi, she'll be sending those armies. She might even take out Marathi. Thorax rebuilt most of his armies. Last defenders, they're good at holding onto this. Okay. Is the Prague building the thing that reduces your global recruitment so much? For Kislev, yes, and there's also one in their tech tree. It shall be done. No. I trust no man. What? Tools of judgment. How does hiring the army from the dwarves lower their income, cause them to disband units? Okay, it depends on the situation, but basically By the comet. Think about this. You're playing on legendary difficulty here. Well, I'm playing on legendary difficulty. The AI have cheats. All the AI, even your allies. So they have, I think, 50% reduced upkeep cost on all of their armies, and they don't suffer from supply lines. Then all of a sudden, your military ally borrows your army. Now, they're no longer part of your faction, but you're paying for it, right? You don't have to, you don't have to pay upkeep costs for these armies. Somebody does, and that somebody is the person that... Oh, they're going for it. And they lost. Okay, that's fine. So, the faction that you borrowed the army from still has to pay for that army, but they lose their cheat. So, no longer do they get... Interesting. So, anyway, what I was saying... Um, they no longer get those cheats for that army. In addition to that, I think supply lines get applied to that army as well. So all of a sudden, an army that may have cost 2,000 then starts costing five or 6,000. And so if their economy was already maxed out at the time of them recruiting that, that army, then they start having to um, decay because they can't, they can't disband these units, so they have to disband their other units. I think that's what's happening here. It worked with Ung uh, yeah, it worked with Ungram. We got him to disband pretty much most of his armies, but it's not working so much with Belagar. He is he is uh, doesn't I don't know. It doesn't look like he's disbanding any units. True servant of Sigma. I will marshal the men. Here to serve. Okay, all of this looks good. By the comet. Ridiculous. Good. That one's we getting even closer. That's what we want to see. Alright, we're in the negative, but uh, don't worry about that. That doesn't matter. We, this is why we saved up for so long. Servant of the faith. All right, I don't think we need to keep this military alliance anymore. All right, now we need to keep vigilant. Okay. All right. Time until dwarf war. Let's put that up here. Because I'm going to cancel the alliance now. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just leave this here. Boop. Give it back. I am Belagar, true king of the eight peaks. Very well. Okay. Okay. So, and then this one here. 
All right, he still kind of likes us. This is why we don't want to trespass. He'll get over it a little bit, and plus we can give him some money, which I don't want to give him money. All right, now we need to... Oh, that's right, I made him and Thorak hate each other ages ago, didn't I? Yeah, he actually likes the fact that I broke those treaties. But how does Rapance feel about it? Rapance is not happy about it. Welcome. We receive you with the lady's grace. What is your business? This will keep her happy for a little for bit. For the lady! You are welcome here, friend. Okay, that'll keep her happy for what? a little bit. And I don't think these here even knew of their existence. Yeah, they don't care. Alright, he probably cares a little bit. Not enough to do anything about it. Couldn't you do this all a bit quicker? It's getting kind of boring just sitting around waiting. No disrespect. <laughs> Dude, if I did it any quicker, we would fail. I, you've got to... Preparation is what makes this quick. Right, if I just declare war on everyone, do you think that that would be quick if it makes a fucking mess out of things? Did you see how quickly we fought, um, Caron? Trust me, dude, I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible. I'm trying. But being quick doesn't mean being a bloody reckless moron. We have to do our due diligence and make sure that the every faction is wiped out every uh, one at a time. Otherwise, we're going to be fighting on all fronts. Constantly. See, what's going to happen here in 10 turns, we're going to just destroy Clan Angrind. If, if everything goes correctly, we're just going to destroy him and it'll just be over straight away. It's bait. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Well, you know what? I'm easy to bait. Fair enough. I'll give you that. Hey, Legend, you suck. Urgh, I'll get you. <laughs> uh, I've always been very easy to bait. How dare you? I don't suck. All right. Checking Zinch again. Uh, did... It looks like... It looks... I reckon their army is actually an ambush dance. I don't think they got wiped out because Kairos... Didn't take any damage. I have seen your heart. Well, we'll see. Maybe not. Why not kill off Marathi first? Mar Marathi is actually doing something very useful for us, right? By Marathi existing with that last black arc, right? Belagar is stuck because he can't get out of the port. Right? He wants to he wants to attack Marathi, but he can't. She's no threat to us right now. I don't know, maybe what Rapunzel did this turn will finish them off. I knew it! Ambush stance. This is why you gotta pay attention. Imagine that. That army ambushed Kairos Fate Weaver. Well, I guess he didn't see that coming, did you? Or maybe it's part of his plan. Oh, there they go. They're they're finishing it off. There goes Marathi. Marathi's gone. Wait. No, she's not gone. She's still going to black arc some. Great! Fucking hell. All of his armies are going to go all over the place. That means I'm going to have to go track them after I've just cancelled the, the military alliance. <laughs> oh, it is destroyed. Okay. Marathi has gone. Okay, things are improving with him. Yeah, what we can do to make him like us, but not empower him, is to give gifts to to her. How much territory does she have? 25, so she's smaller than him. Ever onward. My journey begins. Can locally recruit them, but they're already queued up. I serve. 
The Helden Haber. The great we're right Earth to strike, Dwarf. right? Yeah, we're right to strike. Okay. Nothing's changing here. Men of the Empire. Nine turns. Woo! That's fine. Hey, could you. Nah, that's fine. See, now there's an army down here. Luckily, they can't use the underway stance in. In Ulth 1, so they can't just jump over here and attack us. So that's good to note. I trust no man. Got this army here. If he wants to stay there, that's fine. That's fine. I will recruit an army to spot him. I'll need two armies for that. So yeah, it was definitely better when Marathi was still alive. <laughs> oh well, it, it had to go. Alright, lost a bit of territory. Uh, lost, sorry, lost some so, uh, units, but it's fine. What is your behest? This all seems pretty good. Alright, nothing else to do. Only a few factions to go, let's move on. Do you lose rela relations if you keep armies near their borders? No. Nah, it doesn't do anything. The, if you do that to factions that don't like you, they can kind of predict that you're about to attack. Greetings from Sigma. Yeah, I didn't think he was going to declare war. They usually don't if they're considered quite friendly. Even like it says here, safe. They do not pose a real threat to you. That's it, Sidera. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, you just stay at Lothurn. You don't have any more enemies to worry about, you stay still. Yeah, that's it, bitch. You stay right there. Praise be to Sigma! Here to serve! Okay, one more army for this area here. Okay, and then that's that's that area sorted. And then I need one more army for this one, but that's you know it's getting done. Eight turns left. I should be doing this during the end turn. I'll just do it when I'm done with this turn. Move it to seven, we'll skip eight. Uh, all right. Looking over this, so they sending that army down still. Where'd it, where'd it go? Where'd it go? No! Why are you going home? What the fuck? All right. Well, at least Thorek is landing back over here to try again. So hopefully he actually gets something done. But yeah, she is really pissing me off. Protector of the realm. Let me give her a mission. Attack this settlement here. You take that away from Zinch, that's really going to hurt him. Alright, any new enemies? Nope. Okay, moving on. Alright, so Dwarf War is now seven turns. This is good. Is it actually wise to make auto resolve armies against wolves? I think it risks failure. Um, yes. No, it's not wise to do that. It's it's about quick. Um, here's the thing. I'm aware that the dwarves have really powerful auto resolves, which is why I am overcompensating or trying to overcompensate. So for every one of their armies, I'm bringing at least two. To, to to buff it up. And also, if the order resolve says Valiant Defeat, then we should be okay to fight it manually. It just depends. We'll have to gauge each situation. Like this one over here, for example. This battle here. It'll be two full stacks, right? And I'm sending four full stacks. If I can't order resolve it, I should be able to manually resolve it. Just because of the sheer number of units that I'm sending in. Plus all my generals, and I'll, I'll make some adjustments if I need to. Alright, seven turns left. We just need to keep an eye on everyone. Arch Lecter. I 
Actually, you know what? Oh, no, he's recruiting. It might be okay to leave him here and drag her into this so that he goes and captures some of this territory. But if that's the case, I should probably build defenses here. Oh, no, we should... We should definitely make some armies to attack these other settlements. Like, if they've got a forge here, that increases their global recruit capacity. So they can recruit quickly in this settlement. So they don't, they don't need two armies at least. We'll get rid of the um, that, so that, that should be fine. They will be so looking at him. Yep, everything is still nice and, nice you and calm. Here. Nice and calm, that's what we want it to be. Alright, now let's just see if it's possible to get him to break alliances. So if I go, I'll give you Carcassonne as an example. And exchange, exchange you break your alliance with her? Oh yeah, he'll do it, okay. But what about, say, Quinnell's? Well, I can't give you that. Um, what, what about, what about, what about, what about Zvorak? I can't give you that for some reason. What about, because I'd rather give minus us. What about Midgal Vorongbarak? M. No, all right, let's, let's increase the strength of that in a purchase. That would be white, it's full of shit. Okay. So we need to break... How many alliances do we need to break of his? We need to break two alliances. No, three alliances. So we need a couple of settlements that we need to use as... as bait for him. What else? What about... Verdanos? That should be worth a fair bit. Let me just check. Okay, yeah, we can get him to break an alliance on that. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's good. Don't have to change that. So, that's Vidanos and Zvorak. Yeah, if I trade him uh, Vidanos, he'll go for Zvorak straight after that. Okay, wait, 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 wait. No, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, man, we're losing 55,000 per turn. Oh my god, at this rate here, it'll take hundreds of turns to lose all my money. True servant of Sigma. All right, we also need an army here. So you stand there, you, so you're ready to strike there. Praise be to Sigma. Okay, looks good. Looks good. No strike that. Okay, I need some more scouts over here. I can still see what's going on, but I would like a little bit more intel over here. So yeah, it'd be good if Belagar actually takes some territory away from Rapance, because that way, I'll just take that territory off him and give it to myself. <laughs> Alright, so once they've done that, they'll swing around this way. That should be fine. Because Rapance is next. And it shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, don't worry, don't worry about that. Okay, any new enemies? Yes, there is. The stuff snatches are back. Piss. Okay. Uh, okay, it's gonna take me a while to get to that. Maybe. Maybe don't worry about it. Yeah, because I can't rely on him to bloody kill this fucking rogue army. If I kick the can down the road, it's going to be an even bigger problem later. But we got to prepare for Belagar, that's more important. Speaking of which, should I lower the I time on this? Still seven turns. I'm using up all my global recruit slots. Just get on with it. The money's not an issue, so just get. Protector of the weak. Yeah, I've still got a little bit of global recruit slots. So for this, we'll definitely send two armies. I'll get some cannons. 
and some great swords just for order resolve power. And I'll bring another army. So I'll take two turns to recover. I'll bring another army so that if I get over there and I need more troops, I'll just use regiments of renown or something. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Actually, you know what? We can global recruit and move on the go. Alright, anything else to do? Moving on. Check with Zinch. Oh, they're going home. Why are you going home for? I went to great effort to bring you over here. <laughs> they just don't like fighting Zinch, do they? Alright, well, whatever. Can you recruit Regiments of Renown? So, Regiments of Renown are for emergencies. This is not an emergency. And what I mean by an emergency is if, like, you're going to get attacked the next turn and you just need troops immediately. We don't need troops immediately. It'll take a while for them to get to us. Just join. Looking at the map, is there any reason not to confed Ostermark now? Their territory seems safe. It's not about their territory. It's about my territory. I need Ostermark as a buffer for... Uh, what is coming after Belagar. So I'll be... I'll, I've given Ostermark some territory down here, so I'll be giving him some more for a part and then for Thorek when the time comes. So. Hmm, okay. Okay, it does work. Didn't realize how low I was. Praise be to Sigma. What? So you got three armies. Yeah, like I said, I'm overcompensating in a lot of these areas. Ready for boss? Stinking humans, say ya. What orders? Like I said, we'll use two armies for this. True servant of Sigma. Okay, also we've got six turns left with Belagar. You are the endgame crisis at this point? Oh yeah, for sure. But they don't realize it. Okay, we were supposed to develop this settlement here. So it has a good sell price. We're pretty much ready for the war right now. I'll just keep recruiting armies just so that it's quicker. But yeah, we're ready for this war. Okay. Anyone else? Nope. Okay, moving on. And then, of course, check on Zinch. So, where'd that other... Oh, you came back again? Good. Yeah, don't be a bitch. Not sending any more armies as reinforcements? No. I really thought they'd send some forces down here to protect it. Yeah, I'll give you some money. Why don't you recruit an army down there? I will at once. Right, go and do it. Alright, let's move on. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh yeah, Grond. Keep forgetting about that. There's a good landmark here, which we could use. Takes ages to build though. Okay, moving on. How did the grenade launcher outrider stack work in auto-resolve? Oh, I only did a couple of auto-resolves, and we won every battle that they were in, so... Yeah, it seemed to work. It didn't really do any extensive testing with it, to be honest. Looks like Krokgar is wanting to attack Occam's Forever Maze. Hopefully he succeeds. Definitely rooting for him. Warrior of Sigma. 
What orders? Awaiting orders. I will not balk. Oh man. <laughs> man. I haven't spent this much money in a long time. Okay. Oh my god, Legend, look at your economy, you suck. Alright, what do we want to do here? I did say about Toy Vress. Yeah, I don't want them. To... Okay. Sigma. So at 100,000 gold per turn, it takes 10 turns to lose a million, which means it'll take 100 turns to lose 10 million. That's acceptable. We should be fine. Alright. And like I said, if I really want to make some money, all I gotta do is sell a settlement to... Ostermark. Like, watch this. It is good to see fellow sons of the Empire. Alright, so, hey, what do you think about Nov Chozzi? I don't need it. Do you want it? 139,000 for that. Uh, I thought I'd get more. Maybe it's because there's nothing there, right? No, there's, there's a military building. Hmm. Build another one. Could be worth selling. I mean, I'm making 42 gold there. Might as well. Alright, over here. Alright, so what is it? Five turns left now? Step forth. True yeah, five turns left. I'll do the counter next time. Okay, checking on this again. Come on, you need to gain ground. I really get a feeling that the last enemy I fight is actually going to be Zinch, just because of how much they dick around trying to fight him. Okay, moving on. Why not confederate Ostermark at this point, though? Oh my god, I just answered that. Seek out the heretics. We're not done with Ostermark, otherwise I would do it. <laughs> Fucking hell. Damn man, I was hoping Crocar would win. Oh, hey, Mario Molnar. Good to see you again. <laughs> yeah, like, I'll explain it. For you, because, um, yeah, anyway. All of this territory out here of Ostermarks, yeah, I could take it. No problem. But uh, the problem is I've given them some territory here, and I need them as a buffer for when we fight against Thorek and Rapants, because I might end up fighting them both at the same time. So, that's why. Ultimately, it doesn't matter that we don't own this settlement directly right now. It would increase our income, but it's not that big of a deal. I mean, I got 18 million, 19 million in the bank, really. It's fine. Alright. These guys here, they're ready to go. Let's hurry up before they bloody raise more armies. If we have a look, some of their units are trash units. All oh, right, we've got four turns remaining now. Trust me, if if I look, I confederated Ostland. If if I wanted to confederate Ostermark, I would do it. You know. Okay. Because, yeah, we finished up with Ostland. Do you, do you know what's funny? If you look at... If you look at Norska... From, from the right angle... Right, if you look at it from this angle here... Right, it kind of looks like a flaccid dick. And then this right here... Is the ball sack. <laughs> and then a little bit of... I don't know, PP coming out of it. Norska looks like a ball, a dick and ball sack.
You'll never be able to look at North Korea differently now. <laughs> this is Scandinavia. I know, I know, but look at it. It looks like a dick of ball sack. Alright, look, we're done here. Checking on Zinch again. Yep, all good. Oh, you're finally sending some more armies down? Good. Okay. Alright, alright. And where are we recruiting? We're recruiting over here. Oh, we need more recruits, though. So, do it over here. Yeah, with an STI, yeah, exactly. Three hundred forty-two turns. Yeah, you're right. Fuck. Yeah, I'm losing it. All right, moving on. Is it time? Oh shit! Belagar's moving up this way. Friends of the Empire, come. Where the fuck did he just go? Who holds Cathay? I've got a little bit of territory in Cathay, but it's mostly Ostermark. Well, shit. That's going to require basically four full stacks now. <laughs> Great. Ready to serve. What? And that really does need one of the. Oh my god. Show me the accused. Shit, I'm we running out of time. It is for the best. Your word is my command. I stand defiant. Oh shit. I think he's catching wind on what we're trying to do here. Ever vigilant. Champion of the faith. Okay, okay. I may actually need to may actually need to get a wizard Praise up in here. To Sigma. Protector of the weak. All right, we're going to make a change of plans. Shit, how am I going to get this guy over there quickly? All right, you're going to have to trespass, but you'll be okay. I will do anything for Sigma. Need this guy to go deal with Belagar. In his name. Still going to keep this army here. Because I have a feeling I'm going to have to fight that manually. And we're going to need more armies here. So, this one was supposed to be going down this way. And I'm going to need like three armies for this now. Alright, how much time have I got left? Three turns. Okay. I haven't changed that. Um, yeah. so, three turns left. We still got these ones coming in. Waiting orders. Champion of the faith. Which law is best against wolves? Mm, probably the law of life is still probably yes. best. It depends on the situation and how you use them. Like law of fire is pretty good as well. So I just trespassed on his territory a little bit, so he's probably not very happy yeah, about that. But it's only it's only a little bit. It's only a little bit. What I can do to compensate him for that is give a gift to Ready. I bid you welcome. someone he likes. I you to say your piece. Certainly. That should... Because, yeah, we don't want him to declare war. No, wrong one. Yeah, look, that actually improved relations with him, even though I gave the gift to somebody else.
Okay. Yeah, that's gonna need that's gonna need quite a few armies if you want to auto resolve that. Cause yeah, this got easier and this got a lot harder. Okay, let's see what else is going on. Nothing, and we've moved these armies, haven't we? Yep, okay, two turns remaining. Why care about reliability? Because we have other allies. <laughs> We're not trying to just win the campaign. We've got to win it without a single defeat. If I lose my reliability, everything in the south will crumble. And that's a big front line that I have to maintain. More turns to wait just means we will recruit more armies. Which means that it'll, the war will go quicker. I get that you guys are getting a bit impatient with it. No, just give it some time. It's coming. I serve the Heldenhammer. Your word is my command. I think this guy could use some points to keep up. Should easily be able to auto-resolve this with these two stacks. And if and if I can't, I should be able to fight it manually, no problem. Okay, better save that money. He really needs to keep up with him. Okay, 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 okay. Sigma lightens my steps. Well, I haven't been in this much deficit <laughs> really ever. I live to serve the Emperor. Thirsts for war. Warrior of Sigma. What orders? Shit, I think I may even need some more force for that. My journey begins. Champion of the faith. Ready to serve. Alright. We really shouldn't have any problem fighting that. If I have to fight it manually, I, I should be able to do it. Because, yeah, it's two full stacks versus two full stacks. And obviously, dwarves are hugely powerful in auto resolve. Same thing with legendary lords. But if I have to fight that manually, I got a hero stack that can handle it. Um, let me just check firstly how much magic do we have? Alright, he'll be okay. Ulrich is compensating them for the, uh, the, the problems that are causing. Alright. We're ready to strike there. I got. What's. Is it two turns left or one turn left? I am Belaga, true Two turns left. Okay, next turn we need to move one of these armies just a little bit closer so that they're going to be within range to attack. Yeah, whichever one. Yeah, probably this one. But not right now, because we don't want to give away the game, the game just yet. These two settlements here shouldn't be a problem. Any new enemies? Nope. And I tell you what, rogue armies make doing this kind of stuff really painful because you got to check every bloody turn for new factions that show up. Okay, all good. Moving on. One turn remaining. Greatsword Doomstack, why? They're the best, like, spammable unit against the dwarves for auto resolve. They're pretty good in auto resolve because they've got loads of armor. And they're anti infantry and armor piercing. So if I have to fight the battles manually, the big thing that I have to worry about is their artillery, which I will. I will figure that out. <laughs> Hi, Legend. What episode did you get infinite money on and how? It's really built up over time. I didn't, like, press a button and get infinite money. 
trade settlements to break alliances. We do that at the beginning of next turn. Oxygen Thief did tend to super chat. Uh, good day, Legend. I've always seen you constantly have to move your mouse to avoid in-game pop-up. Is there a reason you don't change those settings? Love how long this campaign has gone. Much love. Uh, I just can't be bothered constantly changing my settings. I'm pretty happy with it. For the most part, it's fine. And I, I kind of like to be notified about it. I get that it might be annoying for some people, but clicking the mouse really doesn't bother me. I will go. Order to serve. All right, one last army. Can always tag out the lords if we really need that extra push. Oh, hang on, this guy didn't finish. Your word is my command. Okay. All right, next turn, we declare war on Belagar. <laughs> okay, and so... By Sigma. You just ambush dance to to about here. Emperor. I will go. Okay, it'll still count as trespassing. True king of the eight peaks. All we gotta do is just get through this last turn here, and then everyone is in position. They are about to get murdered. Or I am, we'll see. Ever onward, I serve Sigma. Guided by Sigma, I go where I am needed. All right, and we check on Titsnitch, on Zinch. Honor before glory. Do you know who I am? Oh, there's they're Our sending armies. Face. They're coming. Cool. Hopefully they don't bugger off like the other ones did. Okay. Okay. Kairos there was the nothing army, that's good. Okay. Any other enemies that popped up? Nope. Okay, here we go. Good! Rapunz is actually pretty good against Zinch. I wasn't expecting that. Who owns Galleon's Graveyard? That would be, um... Belagar, but it doesn't matter because he can't recruit units from there. It's not important. Is there ever more than one rogue army? Yep. Yep, it's not like keeping one alive will stop the other ones from spawning. They can potentially all spawn simultaneously. Do you still keep in contact with Magikill, speaking of Titsnitch? Uh, we talk every now and again, like once every couple of months. But since we're not doing the same type of Warhammer anymore, we don't speak as often as we used to. No! 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 Vash! No! Vash does back. Oh my god, no! Where did this happen? Do you mind, Vashna? Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, good thing I know how to deal with this shit. I serve Sigma. Oh, hang on, what am I doing? I serve the Heldenhammer. Fucking hell, that snout again. All right. Quicken your stride. Stay together. We'll need two armies for this, I think. Let me see. Forty-nine. All right. Well thought out. We will. Covering ground. We've got a bunch of heroes here we can throw into the army if we need to. Alright, every bit of regiment of renown. And this is why we don't put regiments of renown in our standing armies, children. 
every bit of this. Because, yeah, that is... That is such bullshit, to just spawn in your territory like that. Holy crap. Praise be to Sigma. I will do anything for Sigma. Warrior of Sigma. Quicker, men! Leave no one behind! Yes, my lord. It is for the best. Yes, a sound plan. Shit, what happened there? Empire. Orders heated. Get him. Oh, I see what happened. Sigmarite Arch Lector. All right, there we go. Good stuff. God, Vashnar. Jeez, you son of a bitch. Why don't you fuck off for once? Like, this is the second time he showed up in this campaign. I don't know what we got mentor for. May have to fight this one manually as well. All right, all of the elect account troops, all of them. Actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's let's leave a couple in reserve because I've also got all of these characters as well. My will is bound. Aiding the mundanes. Summon speed. Gyran whispers, "Great treasures, come to me. I shall pull them from the earth. I call thee." Relics of power. And okay, just okay, get this. Champion of the faith. All right, that gives us a little bit more than Outdoors a full stack, dreadful. stack and a half. I am in a black mood. Yo, you're in a bad mood. Imagine I have to look at your face. Huntsman General. Good. Strike first! Strike fast! I'm feeling merciful today. Oh my god. Alright, well that's that's dealt with. True servant of Sigma. <laughs> it's a lot of resources being spent. But yeah. It's done. All right, please don't show up again for another ten turns. Arch Lector. Arch Lector. God damn. Fucking piece of crap. Anyway, <laughs> War of the Beard time. So, first thing I just want to make sure is this guy here. Yep, he's able to launch the attack. Okay, okay, okay. Now, looking at Belagar. Let's see if we can get him to break his alliances for free. No. Alright, time to trade some settlements and do some shenanigans. Starting with Midgal Vorong Barak. So we need to recruit a look. Lord here. To the provinces. Step forth, true friend of the Angund clan. Uh, Midgal Vorong Barak. Good, it's worth heaps. I want you to break your alliances with these two. Oh, I won't do it two. What about that one and a defensive alliance? Okay. All right, how about you just do Rapance and also break your trade agreement with her. All right, and also break your trade agreement with him. Uh, give me lots of money. Oh, that's all the money he's got. Make him broke. Oh, 
Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Break military alliance there. Break the military access pact with maybe Ostermark. Okay, well, at least we got that one. I will help. Okay. Then there's Verdanos. What does the Emperor bid? Step forth, true friend of the Angrund clan. Probably not going to get him to break anything else. No, that's fine. Yes. Ah, oh, shit, I can't give any more of these settlements because... Okay, hang on, I'm going to have to pick a different settlement. Uh, Waterfall Palace, that could work. This is not an important settlement. Men of the Empire, what brings you here? Let me just check to make sure it's worth a lot. Yep, yeah, okay. What are some other options? Let me just see. Could we do Karak and Gazab by any chance? Men of the Empire, what brings you here? No. So we could do Zavorak. Let's see, no. No. Fyldorf, no, no, no. Mamadins, no. Ragliano, no. Matorka? Okay, we could maybe do Matorka. What's that worth to you? That's not gonna work. Alright, Waterfall Palace it is. The wild makes warriors. Okay, so Waterfall Palace, we'll trade that. Belligar, true king of the eight peaks. And break his defensive alliance with Ostermark. And break his trade agreement with her. And also with the Hunts Martial Expedition. Yep. And also give me a little bit of cash. Fine. Okay, he is now diplomatically isolated. Next thing I need to check is do I need to do the non-aggression pact as well? If we have a look here, she's pretty happy with me. Cause she she must hate him now. He likes her. She hates him. Which means I can probably declare war and drag her into this. In these dark times, but should I? Stand together. Should I drag her into this? Because originally I was going to allow Belagar to like, capture these settlements here, but every single one of their armies is spotted. So if all goes well, all this is going to do is give Brapant an opportunity to attack and get some territory, which might make the next war harder. So don't call them in, and let's do this. Impossible. All right, War of the Beard has just begun. Yoink! Yes. <laughs> I love doing that. I love it. <laughs> oh, it's so good. That doesn't need to be there. Okay, and then over Shmiar. Good, thank you very much. Good, yeah, we already had the infrastructure built for that. Thank you very much. Alright. Valmir von Rukov, you should be fine to take this one on by yourself. Call them one by one? What for? They're not going to assist. I don't want them to assist. They're just going to get territory. Once all of his armies are gone, what do I need my allies for? The answer is, I don't. Okay, one settlement down. Protector of the weak. Another settlement down. It's really about their armies. 
Summon the Elector Counts. Oh man, Carl Franz could do it on his own. But I got another army here Man's just to make sure. So bring that in so that he doesn't lose Rax Guard. But this will probably be the only fight he needs to do. Warrior of since Sigma. The old world stuff should be really easy. I really want to make sure the old world stuff went smoothly. Yep, that's fine. Do you know what's funny is that at the beginning of the episode it was War of the Bread. This is War of the Beard. And then next will be War of the Bread part two. Awaiting orders. Okay, any chance that you could ready. damage those walls? Don't fret, they'll Good. be open. Champion of the faith. Do they not get a garrison when you trade a settlement? Not if they're of a different race. I may have to fight this one manually. Evil out. I serve the Helden Hammer. I serve Sigma. Impossible. Shit, we don't have much magic. Good. I thought I might have to fight that manually, and I didn't. Good. Close to feet, with two full stacks there. Our horses did pretty well. In order. Huntsman General, not a chance. Unthinkable. Overprepared. A lot of these settlements they seem to be over preparing. Well, definitely overspending. Protector of the weak. I wasn't expecting that these two settlements here were gonna be a problem. Legend, why don't you hurry up? It's taking too Death long. To the faithless. <laughs> uh, PV PVSO, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Thanks for the support. Ever vigilant. Oh wow, what the hell? This is way better in order resolve than I thought. And bring in the others. To battle. Here to serve. Sigmarite Arch Lector. So yeah, it seems that great sword's pretty good against dwarfs in order resolve. All right, here we go with this one. So this is Belagar himself here. Your word is my command. Yeah, I was, was I think it's so because we've been so conditioned with using the hero stacks being really bad in order resolve, and we chuck in like these expensive armies that are actually good against the dwarves, kind of as far as the game thinks. Let me just see if three armies enough. Otherwise, I want to send the other one up north. Yeah, I will need another one. I, I figured Belagar would be worth a lot in order resolve. So three armies versus two here. And, you know, a really good army. And they're still... Not convinced. Great Swords are decent now. Decent in order resolve. Which is not something to really contribute too much. Yep, that's fine.
Okay, Belagar is out. So yeah, we cleared them out of this area, so that's good. But we still got Ulth one to go. I think the game's just like, yeah, all right, you win. Servant of the faith. What's this guy's movement? I live to serve the emperor. Oh, what the hell? Here to serve. I will do What the hell? What happened to our movement? Fall. We were poised to strike here, and then suddenly it decided to give us no movement in this area. I live to serve the Emperor. I am a rune lord, not some smith. Hmm, weird. This one here can reach. Alright, you go. Faith shields us. Don't forget rogue armies. Rogue army? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that seems about right. Purge the heretics. Didn't you want to conquer Earth one last? I just joined. Why did your plans change? Um... Because if I was going to fight Beligar, I have to... F it's just, it's a complicated situation, and I feel like I can handle it, basically. See, once we've conquered Ulth one, then there's really nothing stopping us. We don't need to leave a garrison here. Basically, plans change. You just need to be a bit more uh, fluid True with it. Servant of Sigma. Sigma. Plans change. Okay, well, we kind of, of overprepared here a bit, I guess. True servant of Sigma. Right, these ones will go down that way. You two go Following this way. Sigma's path. Following Sigma's path. Actually, you go to the shrine of. Um, we'll see. Two you should keep two Death armies together. To the uh, Sur Surgeon Stinky, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Guided by Sigma. Cool. Right, I really thought I was going to have to fight some of these battles manually, and I still feel like I'm going to have to fight Lothurn manually because that's all heroes there. And I think that's. I think that the great swords are just performing really well in order resolve. Way better than I was expecting. But let's see how it goes when we use all of these heroes. This is the one I was expecting to have to fight manually. The righteous hammer of Sigma. Yeah, Volkmar should launch the attack. I will cleanse them. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fight this one manually. Tremble before me. We march. Yeah, I Ready doubt this serve. one is gonna be. It is time. An order resolve. This will bolster the nation. Yes, a sound plan. Yeah, I didn't think so. So yeah, we've been conditioned to think that basically these armies here are not good in order resolve. I reckon if I had just gotten great swords here, we could have just order resolved this. But they are so good in manual resolves. Hang on, how many armies? One, two, three. Or, oh, one of them's not here. Who's not here? Sigmar is with us. You what? Heldenhammer. This one here needs to get a bit Praise closer. Be to Sigma. Why, Sigma? Can't you take out all the other armies while besieging? Okay, if I attack them, they'll probably run away. Over to this side here, which. Honestly, fighting them in the siege situation. Hmm. 
Okay, so that's definitely something worth considering. Here's what I'm thinking, is that if I attack this army here, for example, he'll just run over to here. But that'll just make this battle here possible to auto-resolve. So, maybe... Yeah, he did exactly what I thought he would do. And I'll still be able to catch him. Okay. Except Volkmar will be stuck in the city. That's okay. Your word is my command. Cast evil out. All oh, right, I don't have all of them around this one. But we could auto that with no one getting wiped out. They'll take a lot of damage though. But that's okay. Bye bye. <laughs> oh no! It's fine. I think it's fine. Is that fine? So I'm still going to have to fight this one manually. Is this one going to come in and reinforce still? And does it really matter if any of them gets wounded? Okay, we can Pyrrhic victory with high casualties. Because they're all immortal. Everybody's going to lose a little bit of something. Mm, it'll, the thing is, this battle might take us like half an hour, and it will be very easy. I got an idea, I got an idea. Tremble easy Siege, me. yes. I'm not worried about the battle itself. Easy. I'm more worried about time. I just want to get it done quickly. Because it's, it's, it'll be a boring fight, that's all. Alright, I'm going to tell Bella, uh, Volkman to back off for a second. Got an idea. Back off. Fight it. Nah, it's a siege. No one wants to see a siege. If it was a field battle, I'd do it. Okay, then I'll get this one. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, you've got a siege attacker. Okay, you go. Changes the order as well. Then what we do? I serve Sigma. Bring you over here. Going for and bring Volkmar over here, hammer. and we'll fight this battle manually Build and heal. Hammer. Bring them back around, and I should be able to order resolve it. Yeah, no, no that's because we're so badly damaged. Yeah, we'll fight this. Yay, we got a battle today! Fight a good battle! Yay! <laughs> Because we just got to get on with it. We're, you know. Why don't you do the full replenishment on heroes with mount and dismount? Honestly, that would take, that'd take so long. <laughs> you still have to fight these battles. It's just, we've got life magic. Just yeah. That cheese is, you definitely can do it. You're not wrong. You're really not wrong. That would work. But it's so tedious when you're dealing with this many of them. Because you got to take them out of the army, put them back in. There's lag because of how late we are on the campaign. Did Bretonia get fully auto-resolved? We rolled over Bretonia like it was. It was basic. It it was it was it was embarrassing for him. Yeah. They fought like a true Frenchman. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Just wait for my reinforcements over here. Get some heals in and go finish them off real quick. Alright, Volkmar doesn't need any healing, so move back. Honestly... Like, I wasn't expecting this, but I probably should have just recruited greatsword armies. Not not for the entire campaign, but for a lot of it, just a, the order resolve power on them against dwarves. Holy crap, I was not expecting that. Alright, I need a group over here for those that are fully healed. Fully healed, move back.
Everyone's getting at least a little bit of healing. We'll get around to it all. Okay, this guy here can probably be healed from life bloom. Same thing with this. Same thing with this. No matter that. You as well. Does not show the winds of magic because of a runesmith, that's correct, yeah. Okay, I think this one. It's not a full health, but it can't heal anymore. Oh, you can't target him anymore. Interesting. heal anymore. <laughs> Dwarves are just, uh, should we do something? Nah. They're the attacker. They'll come to us. That's right, Dwarves. You just wait there. <laughs> okay, these two both done. This is such a thrilling battle. He is doing this is what makes this army super strong, but maybe we don't need to rely on these kind of things anymore, given that the uh, the great swords worked so well. Healed. Move back. This guy's just about fully healed. Not too many left. We're almost done. Good thing we had so much wins of magic. This guy's done. But look how much healthier they all are now. Alright, there we go. That'll do. That'll do. Let's go. Okay, bring the wizards in as well, and we want to be getting them in there for a Dwellers Below, if we can. 
Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. We've got to see this. Oh shit, which one did it? Ready? This is the biggest one we've done so far. Uh, I didn't see that. Impressive. Should be any moment now. There we go. Alright. Much better shape than we were going into it. Obviously took some damage. But everyone's in better shape than they were at the start. Volkmar's arc is pointless for him. Depends on what you're using it for. So his mobility scooter, as I call it, it's definitely a good mount. Depends on what you're going up against. I would not bring it into battle when I was using a warrior priest doom stack. If I'm using a standard army, absolutely I'll use it because it's quicker, it's got banishment, he's unbreakable, it's got more health, among other things. It's just, it is a really good mount. But when you're trying to remain small, like if all of these guys here are on foot and you've got one dude on a big old sign that basically says, hey, shoot me. He'll end up dying really quickly, so that's why we put him on foot. It makes him last way longer. So it's a case of durability more important than killability. Damage output, I guess. Killability. Blessings of Sigmar upon you. Sigmar guides my steps. I am sorry. I will not obey. I'll do that and then they can't even participate in the battle or something. Going forth. Let me just see. War calls. Oh, they can participate. It's all good. Alright, so now let's see if we can order resolve it, eh? And... Oh! It worked! Doing that meant I didn't have to do a fucking dirty ass siege. With none of, none of them getting wiped out. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Now, if I am not mistaken, that is all of Belagar's armies completely wiped out. Like, he has none left. If I'm not mistaken, we, we took out all 13 of his armies. Yeah, we did. Now it's just a cleanup job. Praise be to Sigma. Okay, then. And don't forget about this as well. Protector of the weak. Sigmarite Arch Lector. Don't call them in. Death to the faithless. And that's how we really want to deal with our allies. We hit them so hard, so fast. Just one turn, all of their army is gone. Now, obviously, Belagar still has territory left. But he's going to need time to recruit it. So, next turn, one of his settlements... You go, Glen Coco. I don't know what that means, dude. Imagine if Vashnar came back again next turn. It wouldn't be ideal with it. Alright. Alright, alright. So, all of the armies out here that aren't, like, proper Doomstacks, they can be disbanded temporarily. Because, yeah, the next... Target is Rapance, and this is this is where we need Halberdiers again. Even though these ones are proving to be good in order results, so just anyway, it's just quicker to do this in transport. Them. Don't worry about Hellstorm rocket batteries. We're not dealing with particularly good infantry with the next one. So see you down there. So no point bringing them over to Ulth one. By the time they get there, it'll be over. Oh no 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 no! Yeah, keep them. True servant of I <laughs> Imagine being recruited, trained up, armored, all for one battle, and then you get to go home. See? It's great to live in the Empire. 
It's great, I'm so good to these people. They get to go home to their families. You know, although a lot of them did end up dead. I don't need you anymore. Alright, so these three, next stop, Rapance. But we still got some cleaning up to do here. We're back in the green. But this whole process cost me nearly 2 million gold. Ah, I need to get that money back. <laughs> Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Okay. Praise be to Sigma. But yeah, the war is not Sigmarite over just Arch yet. Honored to serve. Okay. Let us begin. The nation calls. We've got Lothar now, which gives us more income, so that's nice. I think we can justify actually developing up Ulthwan now, since when we attack Rapance, she's not going to have any armies here. Well, I think. Oh, that's another thing. Rapance has territory here. Which I set up. I wonder if I should take out Zinch first. How do you quick select every unit like that for disbanding? You hold down Alt and then tap F4 and then control. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Control A. Don't listen to me. I'm a I'm a stinky troll. All right, we're good here. All right, that was, that was a good haul. All right, but we're not done yet. Not done yet. So Athel Lawrence back under our control again. And Actually, I don't think we've ever held the King's Glade. I've definitely held on to these two settlements before, and now we've got them again. Tools of judgment ready. Belago has an army in Galleon's graveyard. Uh, is that what you call an army? I wouldn't call it an army. He doesn't have one though. Seek out the heretics. Okay, we're good. Let's just uh, move on to the next turn. A little bit of construction. Cinemas haven't built their economy buildings up. It's all safe. Okay. Yep, moving on. Combine wooden troops? Nah, that'll be fine. If you if you have more troops, uh, more units, and you get more replenishment. Because let's just say this. You've got two units of great swords, right? And they both have 25 troops out of uh, 120. Make it, make it 30, right? So you merge them. And they turn into 160 unit. Now let's just say you're at 25% replenishment rate. If you've got two damage units, then each of those units will get 30 troops per turn. But if you merge them, then you'll only get 30 troops. So you actually halve the amount of replenishment that you get. Now merging it... Oh my god, another one of these? Where is it? Plane of Tuskers? Don't, don't bother with this shit. It's just an excuse to... Freaking lose a battle. Looks like he won anyway. But legend, his fealty! Doesn't matter. We can cheese it later. It's not important right now. Uh, I wish you would recruit an army. I want to send you down to the Chaos Wastes here. Oh, I just realized, if I kick Rapance out of all of this area here so she only has this, and then I peace out with her, she has no choice but to fight Zinch with everything she's got, which won't be much. But she's pissing her bloody resources around here. Okay. So yeah, clean up job now. Now where did they recruit their army? They always recruit one lord somewhere. Did they didn't do it there? All right, we got to get around. True servant of Sigma. Uh, if Marcus will be almost last, he may don't want to confed. The Emperor's expedition welcomes mm. you, comrade. Mm. No, it'll be fine. It fluctuates. It'll be fine. Yes. I can always threaten him. 
Otherwise, we'll just have to go to war with him and <laughs> fucking conquer his territory. He'll confederate. I'm not worried. Like, when the time comes, if if um, he doesn't end up confederating easily, then you can say, See, legend, I told you so. You can go ahead and say that all you like, but I really don't think that's going to be a problem. Your word is my command. Elden Hammer! It's probably like this because we're in a war with somebody he actually likes at the moment. Welcome, Outlander. Oh, uh, no, he doesn't like them anymore. Okay, that's fine. More armies will force it. Well, he doesn't have any armies. Ever vigilant. It is time. Moving off. Ready to serve. Do not waste my potential. No peace. Just war. Yeah, he lost his winds of magic. Good. Because he had 200. Rotarian's gone already. Corone's gone, but Rapunz is still around. Lu and Leonco is gone for good. Servant of the faith, ever vigilant. Have you noticed that having armies closer to someone's borders makes them more agreeable in deals? I swear it seems to be a mechanic. Um, I have not noticed that, but that's very interesting. That is very interesting, for sure. The Empire. Did they just decide, like, not... Oh! They couldn't... They couldn't recruit a lord. Do you know why? Do you know why they couldn't recruit a lord? Because when I sold them those territories, I made them bankrupt. They had no money. They couldn't recruit anyone. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even think about that. And they, did, they obviously didn't have any lords left in reserve. Protector. Oh, that's hilarious, you dumb dwarfs. Sigma. Ever onward. We spent all our money buying settlements that got taken away from us straight away. In his name. Guided by Sigma. Mm, I may have to merge them there. We'll see. Praise be to Sigma. Sigma is with us. Try to reattach Wizard to Gelt. That fixed it for Volkmar, I think. Um, I don't think it really matters that much, but yeah. Can maybe try that. Protector of the weak. Your word is my command. Oh shit, we're almost done here. Okay. Get Praise Miss me Nah to does Sigma. not need much, just I one will army will do. For Sigma. True oh, I'll send two of anyway. Sigma. Going forth. I am a man of Sigma. What does the Emperor bid? Okay, don't need you anymore. You can go. True servant of Sigma. By the Heldenhammer. So how many settlements has he got left? I am Riven. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Alright, so for this one here, there's only ten units, so we can send. Send you to go sort that out. To strengthen the Empire. We march. Sigma compels us. Ready. To strengthen the Empire. They will be judged. Okay. We need a siege attacker for this. Or... Yeah, no, no. We're going to need a new Sigma. army for that. 
because one army, one damaged army is probably not going to be enough. Doesn't matter what level. But yeah, I'm very surprised at how good great swords are in auto resolve. I guess it has a lot to do with the amount of armor that they've got. Uh, only lies in a bottle of shit that a five year super jet. Lazy auto resolving in economic warfare. You are becoming what you were meant to destroy. Um, okay, thank you, super jet. Fair enough. Why are you be so mean? Yeah, he's got no money. Exactly that. History. Yeah. See, if um, if he had any money, you can bounce off it. If they're in the treasury in the negative, they can't do this. I mean, you can you can manually do it, but he has no money. Which, if he has no money, he can't recruit new uh, lords. <laughs> oh, it sucks to be you, Belagar. It sucks to be you. All right. Let's start getting some of these guys down to where they're needed. Let's see. We want to go to Myrmidons and set sail from there, I think. Awaiting orders. Champion of the faith. I could not follow this order. Also, doing the alliance breaking shenanigans is a lot easier now since there's only really a couple of people left to worry about. Now, I've actually been thinking that I might actually confederate Marcus Wolfhart, because... Obviously not this turn, because, um... It might just be better to have all that money at my disposal. Oh, then again, it creates more territory, which means more problems with rogue armies. I don't know. There's some upsides and some downsides, I have to think about it. All of the, like, the, the hero armies, they'll need to move to the difficult spots, because I may need to fight those manually. That's that's what they're there for, they're to fight the battles manually. Maybe. The order resolve stacks. Because we'll just, when we go to war with, um, with her, because she's happy with us. When we go to war with her, we will just, um, order resolve this easily. There's, there's no armies here, nothing to worry about. Alright, I don't think there's anything else we need to do. We're making pretty good coin. Let's have a look at progress. How, how far have we got left to go? Okay, we're going to do a bit of calculator on um, settlements. So Ostermark has one, two, five settlements. Expedition has one, two, eight. So that's 253 in total. That's half the map. And I have 237. So we have 490 regions in total, meaning there's about 60 remaining. Roughly about 60. Maybe a bit more than that. Maybe 70 settlements remaining. So yeah, we're making... Shit, if I do this, if I pull my cards right, I might be able to do it all today. Uh, it'd be a long live stream. I'm new to Total Warhammer, but couldn't those rogue armies declare war on you anytime soon? No, pirates. Don't have to worry about pirates. Rogue armies do, but pirates, they will only declare war on you if you go near them. And they never land on your shoreline unless you're playing as Dark Elves, which we're not. So don't worry about that. So... So don't worry about that. It's all good. All right, just keep an eye on this stuff. Yeah, if we could have Rapaces pull all of our armies over this way, that'd be great. She isn't sending more reinforcements. So how much territory does she have? 27. So Belagar had 28 regions. This will be maybe slightly easier. But yeah, it's definitely going to be more difficult dealing with Thorak, because look how many fucking armies he has. Holy crap. What brings you? 25 regions. He has a lot. Like, he's almost... Well, that means that I disband a lot of forces. So, it shouldn't be as difficult as what Kislev was. And we've seen how strong the great swords are in order resolve. So that should be fine. Alright, let's move on. Warrior of Sigma. Yeah, there we go. A little bit of construction here and there, it's fine. Do you actually wish that AI Dark Elf Black Arcs would choose to attack port settlements? Um, I don't really care. I don't really care. I feel like that would create a balance issue in the late campaign. And make the Dark Elves too powerful, because currently, 
they recruit a lot of black arcs, and black arcs are always immortal, so if you kill one, they'll just bring it back. Their upkeep cost is zero, and so if they were able to attack port settlements with no, essentially no rip repercussions, that could cause a serious balance issue. It is for the best. But you know, balance, who cares? But you know, some people care. Alright, now when it comes to Galleon's Graveyard... Yeah, it's fine. Right. I was just thinking it might be better to leave it as a ruin. But I could always abandon it if I lose control of the situation at all. It is for the best. The history our people Okay, he has money exactly now. That. But he had to wait for another end turn. Did he manage to recruit a lord? Doesn't matter, I think this is the end of him. Do you actually... Ah, oh, I read that out. Um, any reason not confederate with Marcus Wolfhart right now? Yes, because of the proximity to Zinch. Proximity to the Southern Chaos Wastes. It also has very little strategic advantage for us to get it, because what we would obtain is more money. And what we would gain, at uh, what we would lose, is an, um, a tightly managed territory. So, if rogue armies were to spawn in in his territory right now, it's not that big of a deal. But if they spawn in my territory, I have to immediately adjust to it. So, ideally, right now, it's best for me to be as small as possible. Largely because of rogue armies. If rogue armies weren't in the game, oh yeah, for sure, I'd confederate him right now. But the bigger I get, and the more often I have to deal with rogue armies, the more of a problem this becomes. That was a short war. Oh, that's going in the book! Too bad there's no one left to write the book. What yeah, I this? think this is the end of Belagar. Oh wait, I don't think I'll be able to get to that, um... Gate settlement. Aren't Hellblaster Volagons better in order resolve than Great Cannons? Yes, probably. But they also take two turns to recruit. And what we've been doing here is recruiting very quickly. I'm not worrying about too much about Doomstacks. We just recruit quick. And at the end of the day, it's working. It's working really well. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, well. Oh, my God, Legend. So many lives lost. Oh no, I recruited an army here. True servant of Sigma. I think that's it. Oh wait, no, hang on. There's one more settlement over here. Now the big question here is are the heroes that I like the ancestor heroes, are they gonna disappear? Shit, is that it? It was a two turn war. They're gone. And yeah, the ancestor hero is still here. Cool. Clan Angrin is gone. Alright. Alright, okay, well. Well, 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 well. Sigma okay. Alright, the hero stacks need to start heading towards here, and we need to start preparing for. Repart's War. Now, what might be useful is just cancelling treaties a little bit at a time. So, the trade agreement is worth 7,000, which, that's fine, but we don't want her to hate us too much too quick. Although, it's a lot easier to manage... Oh, no, no. Let's just leave it for now. Let's just leave it. Alright, so that Belagar War cost us friggin' 2 million gold. Ready. Alright, right, I will leave a, uh, I'll leave the armies here in position to strike at these settlements. But the actual doom stacks. It was a three turn war. The actual doom stacks are heading to go and fight Rapants. Because yeah, there's just no armies here. True servant of Sigma. Sigma be praised. So I should have about five doom stacks here. What? 
Oh, how many settlements does she have here? Let's have a look. Welcome. What business have you with me? One, two, three, four. All right. I don't think we need to leave much here. So let's leave maybe two armies. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Yeah. So that'll be one of the armies that we keep. I serve this one's going. And I think that one will keep. And then the rest is yet to get rid of. Actually, no, you know what? I'll keep a third one. Because this army over here, uh, this settlement over here, does have large garrison. Begins. You, you're one of the doomstacks, you're going. I will go. Warrior of Sigma. All right, and then we need our heroes from here to Seek make their way politics. down here. Yes, blessed is this action. No, the Empire. So, by the silver okay. hammer, yes. I definitely this anticipate action. that Rapunzel will be so, easier to deal with than so Belagar, and Belagar was easy to deal with, so Servant we sh really shouldn't have any problems. Seek out the heretics. The nation calls. Show me Let's watch out for these pirates as we're crossing through. Because, yeah, if we're out in the water here, they'll attack us. Luckily, they don't have that much campaign movement range, so they're pretty easy to dodge. I trust no man. So, looking at this, there are... How many factions we need to wipe out? One. Two. Three. Four. Four. Is it time? That's it. Four factions left to deal with. And honestly, it kind of looks as though Zinch is finally going down. The timing on that is fantastic. Alright, we need to start recruiting our Halberdier armies. Okay, well, let's just get to it. I will marshal the bed. Because, yeah, the their infantry is trash, but their cavalry is just really good. So, yeah, halberdiers, I think, are the way to go. Halberdiers and cannons. Maybe not that many cannons. Okay, cool. Why not beat up the pirates too? Okay, if we wipe out every single faction from the game, we won't be able to load the save file in the, anymore. So it's really important to leave the pirates alone. Because what I intend to do is after I've finished here, I'm going to give you guys a save file, if I succeed. If I succeed, which it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. I think we might actually be able to finish. I thought we'd be two live streams, but I might need to do like a friggin' 12 hour live stream because Thorax War is probably going to take a little bit longer than Belagar's. But I think we can finish this today. I think we might actually be able to finish. Why, why, why am I bothering? Oh, don't, no, don't do that. Because, yeah, if we have a look at Zinch, his armies are gone. They just need to be aggressive, and they've got this. Which, of course, they won't be. They'll fuck around. can borrow their armies to try to push against Occam's Forever Maze quickly. For the wisdom of Valaya. If I borrow both of these armies, 
for the wisdom <sighs> the I'm not getting I don't want to risk getting teleport stance. Like Zinch is such a bastard. So no, I'm not gonna do that. Moving on. Do you think you go past turn four hundred? Ooh, it's probably gonna get pretty close to it, yeah. So I think the thing to note as well, with the last war against Belagar, we probably don't need to worry about reliability. So what we'll do is we'll make him love us, and we won't cancel the military alliance, but we'll have all of our armies ready to fuck him as, and be a big surprise to him. Because at that point, we're just not going to need reliability, I think. Alright, get to the wing roll. Now, forward! I command here. Doesn't mingle mean like city in Chaos Dwarf? What? I don't know. Agreed. Yes, a sound plan. <laughs> yes, my lord. Tools of judgment ready. Let me have a look over here. You're a long way from home. Yeah, it fluctuates. Fluctuates. When will he confederate? Pretty soon. Probably today, actually. Yes. What? Step to it. We do need Ostermark. Yes, One last time. Who calls? Help them out. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Okay, no one left over here. No yes. armies left, I mean. Is that where heretics lurk? Who calls? Hunt them out. Oxygen Thief did chill as a jet. Zinch is strength ranking five. AI cheats. <laughs> five Show out of five. <laughs> Pick up the pace. Show me the accused. Yeah, it'll be really weird when we've just about destroyed the final faction and they'll still be strength ranking too. No. Just watch out for pirates. I'll move. Praise be to Sigma. Stay close together. Praise Sigma. Because yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sure where all the pirates Sigma are. Sigma watches over me. Praise Sigma. Onwards. This will bolster the nation. What? So this gives us immunity to reef attrition. What gives us immunity to yes. storm attrition? I trust no man. Tools of judgment ready. All right, then we've still got now. this one here, Toddy. Fucking Toddy. Yeah, I guess it. Oh no no, <laughs> not yet. Step to it. My journey begins. Protector of the weak, Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Your word is my command. Okay, that's all good there. What does the Emperor bid? The biggest problem here, I suppose, is... Oh, actually, we can have armies out on the water ready to strike. I was going to say, um, I don't want to be standing here to trespass. But yeah, we should definitely try to take this coastline, otherwise these armies are going to make their way up here and attack our undefended-ish settlements. But yeah, we can have a bunch of Doomstacks sit out in the water and just wait it out there. So all of her armies seem concentrated in these areas. Let's count how many armies she has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, less than Belagar. I don't think we need to keep this alliance going any longer. Now, I need to check with Thorek. You are welcome if I do this, this will probably what massively this piss him like? off, which is what I'm more worried about. So what might be useful is to get her to break that alliance now. A 
And if I give her El Calabad. What about Black Tower of Arkan? Yeah, that'd work now. I could probably go for more than one. Is Zinch able to break your alliances? Yes, it is possible for him to do that. But it's actually kind of a shit skill, because as soon as he, do, he does that, you can usually just re-establish the alliance straight away. So it's kind of shit when the AI does it too. There's also... Plane of Tuskers, what happened there? When did that happen? Who did... Oh, that must have been Tic-Tac-Toe. Is there another faction out here? No, there's no one we haven't met. Okay, you. Go down south. Go ruin to all that. Skaven army? No, no, no. There's no, no Skaven army there. No such thing as Skaven. Not anymore. They will be judged. It was the prestige event you ignored? Ah! Yes. Well, then it's a good thing I ignored it, because that is was a defeat. Yeah, yeah. I remember now. Thanks, guys. Thanks for reminding me. All good. All good. Okay, well, nothing else to do here. Let's move on to the next turn. Yeah, we're in no rush for this one. Yes, for now. But yeah, I should definitely consider getting Rapunzel to break her alliance with Thoric Ironbrow before I stab her in the back. Are you surprised your Empire No Defeats is more successful than your High F one? Yep. Okay, we need to change this. <laughs> Spell Repass. R E P A N S. Is that right? Time. But yeah, I ask right. that you be We don't have a turn counter for it yet because I'm just not sure right now. To the provinces. Move I will marshal the men. Uh huh. Okay, what are we doing with you? Let's just get in over here. Right. Moving off. Yes, my lord. Step to it. Yes. Yeah, we need a lot of these armies, so pump them out. Raise Sigma. True servant of Sigma. Okay. Now to battle. The instrument of Sigmar's will. Warrior of Sigmar. Pick up the pace. It is time. What does the Emperor Body's on the way. Cool. So Where yeah, it looks like we'll need Sigmar. two armies for Elisaeli, but then the rest by of it Sigmar. shouldn't be a problem. Guided by Sigmar. So Await these the two orders. here. Yeah, these two here for Elisaeli. Yes. Those two, and then this guy here, and Juriel, then a Shrine of Vesurian, which that is not very useful for us. Cool. I trust no man. All right. Then we've got our heroes nice. here. They're pulling around Kofa. I go where I am needed. Here oh wait, wait. Where's Mad Melotson? Yeah, keep an eye on him. Champion of the faith. Bring me to my men. Tools of judgment ready. 
The nation calls. Is that where heretics lurk? Ready. Show me the accused. Is it time? Definitely looks like they're consolidating a bit more in the south. They will be judged. That's another thing as well. Once we've taken out all of Rapunzel's territory over here, I will peace out with her. If she lets me. I trust no man. The donut's been conquered. It's been mostly conquered. We're not quite done yet. The nation calls. Yeah, try to get there before this one does. Yep, they're on the way. These ones are pretty much in position. Cool. And we're just pumping out the armies. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of armies here. There's a couple of armies. No. Looking at El Calabad. Let's get rid of this. Actually, no, keep that. No, 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 get rid of that. Put in, uh, put in two different types of barracks. So it's worth more to sell. Because we need to get her to cancel her treaties with Thorak. It war with anyone at the moment other than Zinch? No, just Zinch. But, you know, we're not really fighting Zinch. That's, that's more of a proxy war than anything. So, Rapant. Rapant, she got a lot of territory. Quite a few armies. Quite a few allies. They all need to be removed. Then when it comes to Thorek, it probably would be a good idea to have him break his treaty with, um, with, uh, lizards, what are you doing about them? Got a whole bunch of people ready. Okay, let me just see about this. With the lizards, how do they feel about Thorek? They only have military access with him. So let me let me just see. If I asked you to cancel your military access, and I gave you Tower of the Stars, oh yeah, hmm, that's interesting. Interesting. That settlement's of no real value to me. How does Storic feel about you? Likes you a lot. A fair bit. Interesting. I could recapture that easily enough. Because, yeah, what we could do... Okay, look, just get rid of this, put in a barracks there, and we will see. We will see about that. I might even be able to switch the settlements. Oh, it's worth a fair bit. I don't think you want to trade that. Okay, and then El Calabad, we want to get in a barracks. And a... Yep. Yes. Now, Plain of Tuskers. I could give that over to Ostermark. See how much it's worth, actually. To give that back. 157,000 for a ruin. <laughs> it's a pretty good pretty good price for me. Yes, However, sir. it might be good for me to build it up and use it as a settlement to trade with Rapants. Cuz we still got a few turns to go. The empire. I will marshal the men to strengthen the empire. <laughs> Base camp for now. Hey, why are you worried about Crocker? I'm not worried about Crocker. It's just going to be a nuisance dealing with him. That's all. So I was just thinking it might be good to get 
Thorak Ironbrow just to eliminate him as soon as Zinch is dealt with by making him betray Thorak. My axe thirsts for war. Ooh. Ooh. If I borrow this army here, I could definitely capture Occam's Forever Maze. Especially if I also grab this one. But if there's any friggin' armies down there, there isn't any armies. He's out. Because if I grab this settlement, it could be worth something to to negotiate with them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. What's the point of having these alliances if we don't use them? Summon me if you dare. Yeah, if I use both of these armies, I can go and capture that. And that finally knocks Zinch out of this area. Then... Yeah, okay, that's fine. That'd be my first battle against Zinch as well. Okay. Still getting our guys to move around. So yeah, with these guys here, it may be best for me to not keep them on the borders anywhere, but actually put them out in the water. Hopefully Mad Melanson doesn't have anything bad to say about that. In his name. I'm just quickly backing up the save file because this looks like bullshit. What's the sea encounter bug? There's a C point of interest crash. Uh -huh. Yeah, it crashed. Uh, Zara Gula did a 10 euro super chat. I wish you all the best for your growing family. It's not much, but enough for a cuddly toy. All right, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. That's okay. Enough for a cuddly toy is not nothing. Yeah, it crashed. Alpa2210 subscribed at tier one for six months in advance. Damn, that's generous, dude. Really appreciate that. Well, shit, I wasn't aware of that one. Um, hopefully it didn't ruin my game. Chance of the safe I might be corrupted? No, I think I got to it before it was corrupted because the amount of kilobytes on it is pretty normal. Wait, were there two super chats? Oh, you did two super chats of the exact same thing. What? Why did it show up t twice? That's weird. Oh no, I just realized that we have to go start the beginning of the turn again. There's a slow of loading. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta start the freaking turn again. Alright, well, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Yes, my lord. Moving yeah, on. don't get that point of interest. That's Champion a great idea. How about we don't do that this time? My orders are to move. That would be a great idea. 
My journey begins. I will marshal the bed. Oh, we're gonna lose a little bit of progress for that. But yeah, let's let's not get um the sea encounters then. Now we also need to do this because that cancelled that one for on us. Hang on, I've also got to sit here. This. Praise be to Fucking see. mad mulletson. I guess I could go and fight him. I serve the Helden Hammer to battle. Maraud is all. Get rid of this freaking idiot. To battle. A step too far. I just don't want him getting a bloody surprise on me later down the track. As long as one pirate faction remains, then that's fine. Anyway, that just saved the game. <laughs> As well. Onwards by Sigma. Why don't makes halberdiers and great source a better auto resolve? Um, I don't know. It's, but what happens if I have to fight the battle manually? Then I'm gonna want halberdiers. It'll be fine. We'll just um, we'll just get more halberdiers. It'll be fine. Like we didn't have any problem with it in the uh, the other war that we fought against Protonio. That went just fine. True servant of Sigma. So should be fine. Okay. So another faction destroyed, but obviously not one of the ones we're really focusing on. I All right, here no come man. the witch hunters. They're arriving. I trust no man. Seek out the heretics. They will be judged. Tools of judgment ready. My order. All right, and most of the doomstacks have arrived in position now. Yes. And it really comes down to trying to figure out a way. Shall we? Hang on, what's going on down here? Are they, are they actually going to send armies down there? Because that'd be great. <laughs> they empty their core territories. To go and fight Zinch. Oh yeah, we need to do this again as well. For war, That's great. The High King commands. Do you know the other great thing about this is when I'm done, I'm totally going to disband... Oh no, they're low level, it's fine. Is the Changeling truly dead? Yes, I killed the Changeling in like episode 6 or something. Is it time? We, we got the notification, he's wiped out. Okay, I might also recruit a Sartosa so that I can sail down to like these islands. We'll just have like, this huge blockade going on. Did I ever finish building the non -li Yeah, I did. Okay. And then we got fucking Toddy here. Get on with it, Toddy. Fucking Toddy. Champion of the faith. I live to serve the Emperor. Protector of the weak. I serve the Heldenhammer. My journey. Yep, you'll be ready when the time comes. I'm confident of that. Yep. Yeah, oh yeah, you'll be fine. Uh, Destination Zanarkand did a $10 image. I don't know why it showed up twice, but if we're contributing to the Legend Junior Front, I'm all for it. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to rip people off though. Um, who wants to see Legend play Pharaoh? Upcoming sea people. Oh, pff. yeah. Here's his Total War Pharaoh, the better version of it. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Tools of judgment ready. I don't know. I might one day play Pharaoh. Maybe one day. We'll see. Ne never say never. But I don't know. Thrones of Britannia, as an example was such a waste of time for me to cover. I just wish I never even bought the game. And I'd probably feel the same way about Pharaoh. Alright, I think that's all I need to do. Let's just check this stuff here. Also check this to see if there's no one hidden. Yep, all good. And let's move on to the next turn. Time to confederate Ostermark. Not yet. Not yet. Soon. Probably Hunt's Marshall Expedition before Ostermark.
April 1st stream. I don't really like doing April 1st stuff. I feel like it's lame. So Thrones was already in your nose CA freebie era. Oof. Okay, so there is like periods of no free CA era. So the first time I got anything for free from CA was the DLC um, for Total War Attila. The, the last Roman campaign, so the one with Belisarius. That was the first time I was in the partner program. So I didn't get a free copy of Total War Attila itself. That, that was the first time for DLC. And then the last time I got... Then that ended, free DLC for that, was... I think the Tomb Kings was the last thing I got. Because right after Tomb Kings came Thrones of Britannia, and they they gave me early access to a like temporary build, but they didn't give me a free copy of the actual game. So I had to, I had to buy Thrones of Britannia out of my own money, and it was not worth it. Um, then there was a period of about 18 months of no free CA stuff. And then I got free stuff again for the first time with Shadow and Blade for Warhammer 2. And then the last time I got DLC was... Uh, Shadows of Change, although I didn't get, I didn't get, uh, Forge of the Chaos Dwarfs from them. Because I was in this weird sort of, not really working with them. But then I was like, okay, you guys did a good job with, with, uh, Forge of the Chaos Dwarfs, I'll come back. And then of course, Shadows of Change came back, uh, was the next one. I was like, ah, fuck this. I'm done with these guys. But yeah, I didn't get, uh, Total War Pharaoh. Nor would I have, I don't know. I don't know what I would have done if they had given me Pharaoh for free. I, d what? I don't even know if that I would have even activated the key. By the comet. It is time. I saw that game for the disaster it would be straight away. Yes, and I told them to. Oh well, don't listen to me. What do I know? Praise Nothing apparently. I will go. True servant of Sigma. Yes, my lord. So, these areas out here don't seem to be a big issue. What? Protector of the weak. Is the tiller worth buying for multiplayer co-op? Well, that's up to you. If you can find another person that wants to play with you, then yeah, yeah maybe, maybe. I mean, you can get it pretty cheap now. It's still not optimized, but I, I don't, I don't have the dislike of Total War Attila that I once did. But I also don't really feel that fond about about it either. So, Carl Franz, he should not be going after walled settlements. Virus. That's that's where you're going. Yes, to unite the provinces. Champion of the faith, my journey begins. I go where I am needed. Praise be to Sigma. It is okay, time. that seems pretty good. I don't think this war with Rapunz is going to be that difficult. All right, let's break the military alliance now. I don't think we need it. Oh, hang on, hang on. We got this to do. Oh, what the fuck happened to this army? Oh man, that was a hell of an assault. <laughs> Shit. Oh, it was Echo ulti, of course. I Good thing I brought extra shoot. units. Oh shit, I didn't even need them. How'd you increase the global recruiting like that? Uh, if you build forges, that increases your global recruit slots by one. So just build loads of forges, the blacksmith building everywhere. What? I thought he was playing as the Empire. Uh, 
All right, I'm going to use this settlement here for leverage. Yeah, you know what? Fuck your heroes. Go away. Get, get the fuck to the front line and I don't want to even look at you anymore. <laughs> Go away. Alright, now in this area here, it's red territory, so we don't want to hold on to it for too long, but we've got a really good buffer. And if we have a look at him, he hasn't even built another army yet. Because, yeah, if the AI did, they might not have even won that. I don't know. So Echold is level 50. We we need this guy to die. Holy crap, that's that's very dangerous. Uh, don't need this. They will be judged. So, yeah, I'll use this settlement because it's sandwiched between both of these guys here. I'll use it to gain leverage on someone for something. As long as he actually holds on to it. But i got to actually build this stuff here. Um, for the wisdom of Valaya. Also, the sooner I give this army back, the better his economy is going to be. Uh, yeah, I'll give it back to him now. There you go. Thanks, Storek. Do you get those heroes if you simply disband them? No, they're dead. They're dead now. Alright, I think that's us done for the turn. Yep. No other enemies. Got to check this stuff over here. Yep, all good. There are now only three pirates left. Now, ready. Tools of judgment ready. So, pick up the pace now. Show me the accused. There's also a Black Pyramid of Nagash. We definitely want to go and snatch that. Straight away. Oh, gee, I didn't realize. Hang on. No. We don't have time. Oh, I also said we were going to cancel my treaties with Rapance this turn, didn't I? That which basically gives us a cooldown to 10 turns to the wall, because we're pretty much in position. So what we want is Rapance to close off the alliance. So can I trade her El Calabad? So he needs to get it back. And if you could break your def... Hang on, let me just check a second there. Is it finished? Oh, we got to wait one more turn. Okay, that's fine. Is the purple on the map Ostermark? Yeah, Ostermark is right there. Oh, and oil, all of this over here. Okay, that's it for this turn. Moving on. Are you going to count the pirates as a victory condition? No, because if we wipe out the pirates, then you won't be able to load up the save file. Out the heretics. What? Who calls? The Empire. Play Women Through with your daughter on your lap stream? Oh, we're a few years away from that. Maybe one day. But we are a few years away from that. Protector of the weak. All right. Transferring El Calabad over to Daughters and sons her. Of Sigma. We will hear your pleas. All right, and I need her to break her alliances with Ironbrow Expedition. That's the most. I give her a little bit of money to wet the whistle. That's the most important one. Because the others will just get over me breaking my alliance with her. They don't, I'm not going to care. Uh, if I told her to break the last to... Yeah, that'll work. Hmm. 
Because I can't give her two settlements. She considers me her main threat. Um, I think we should do that. Yeah, because this will cause her to raise more armies. But that just means I'll have more armies. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, damn. Um, Bionic Phoenix gifted t 10 tier 1 subs to the Digital World community. Thanks, dude. That's super generous of you. We're at 962 subscribers on Twitch. How about that? Definitely a new record. Hmm. All right. Bretonia commands me. Okay, now, if we have a look... Thorak should be pretty bloody angry at Rapunz for that. Not as angry as I would like him to be. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Let me see if I can give her Plane of Tuskers. Plane of Tuskers and break your trade agreement with him. Let me see what other settlements. Agril Midgal. That'll work. That's not an important settlement. And I can get my money back, and then some. And if I can get you to break your defensive alliance with the last defenders. Nope. What about Hans Marshall Expedition? No, she's not going to do it with anyone else. Alright. So that way I can get nearly 40 grand off her. That'll probably. I actually don't know if it's going to bankrupt her, but this should piss off Thorek enough. And that, like I said, that settlement doesn't matter. For the lady. Talk if you must. It won't Gift given to fate. her. <laughs> so he hates me more than Rapunz, I think. But we'll turn that around. True it's okay. Servant of Sigma. Okay, he does not like her now. Okay, now we can break. I have time. We can break the military but alliance. You be swift with passion. And the trade agreement. I will at once. And this. Because. That fixed it. Uh, sort of. It, it, it sort of fixed it. Yeah, but it fixed it. <laughs> okay. So now I just have to make sure that she continues to like me. But when I declare war on her, we don't have to worry about um, about that other one. What's his face? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Now, the reason why we have to do it in that order is so that when I break the treaty with um, Rapunz, Thorak Ironbrow doesn't lose his absolute shit with me, which he's not happy. But I could just give him a gift to tide him over a little bit. Already done. And that shouldn't piss off Rapunz because Rapunz actually still likes him, I think. You are well yeah, see, they actually improved relation with her. Because he's not the one that broke the treaty. She is. All right. All of her armies are over here. What do we got? In his name. We need probably Moving another hero out. stack here. As You're in position ready to strike there. Uh, let's get the another provinces. warrior priest army. Bring him in. Let us move. Okay, so ten turns. Let's start getting the count down. Reckon you finish the campaign today? I think it's going to be a long one today. Like, maybe even 12 hours, but yes, I do think I can finish today. Because after we're done with Rapunz, it's getting easier and easier to finagle around. Let me just have a look at this. The expedition will hear you. Yeah, look, there's armies coming down this way. That's why I can't confederate him right now. Not yet. 
I really want to, but just not yet. Protector of the weak. I will go. Uh, no, 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 not right now. Don't, who cares? It's just money. Who cares? The nation. Kind of calls. ridiculous amounts. We still got. Blessings of Sigmar upon you. Step to it. Who calls? Arch Lecter. My journey begins. To battle. <laughs> so we have some of our armies just like. Okay, hang on. Yes, my lord. Awaiting orders. Following Sigmar's path. You don't have to go for every single settlement of hers straight away. But the more that we take away from her, the better. Greetings. What do you require of Karakazol? Yeah, he'll probably just break that treaty anyway. I bid you welcome and invite you to say your piece. Does reliability even matter at this point? It still does. Not for much longer, but it still does. I, I promise you, at the end of the, today, we will probably be on low lo reliability. Very low reliability, I mean. It matters for a little bit longer. Basically, when we've only got one ally left, yes. not including the... Oh, you know what? It's going to matter for the Confederations as well, I think. So, I trust See, I'm not sure about that. The Empire. And we've still got this here, which... We want to basically use it as a bargaining chip with one of them to do something. Probably with the last offenders, I'll sell it to them so that he goes to war with Thorek. Basically, I'll make them hate each other by having them break all their treaties. I don't think they've got a lot of treaties. Because, yeah, Zinch is just about beaten, I think. Unless they fuck around, which they might. These three armies here should be fine to, to land and smash this. Champion of the faith. We need more armies coming in from Sartosa. True servant of Sigma. Okay. And any new enemies? Nope. Oh, okay, moving on. So nine turns remain. Tools of judgment ready. The nation calls. Show me the accused. Seek out the heretics. Does Rapunz have territory in Lustria? She confederated Alberic. No, she doesn't actually have any territory. So that happened a long time ago. What happened was she did have territory in Lustria. It was the Star Island, these ones here. And then Yuan Bo took it. And then I killed Yuan Bo. So I own her now. <laughs> so yeah, she was effectively kicked out of Lustria. Good, Rapunz is bringing all of her armies out this way. That's good. With her sending this many forces down this way, Zinch's days are numbered. So let me just see. If I was to give you Occam's Forever Maze, could I actually get... Or less or a few. I could. That'd be good. Because that'd save me having to go over there later. I don't care about this shit. Secure that province. Although the whole reason I did this, because that actually wouldn't be that difficult, is that I want you to break your treaty with Ironbrow Expedition, which you won't do. He's a little bit mad at me because of broken treaties with Rapance. Oh, and Toralas, if I said no to that. Okay, then he'll do it. In exchange for also a lot of money. Okay, well, save that for later, and we'll just see how we go. I might be able to get more off him with it. 
Alright, these two here. I, I need to get some witch hunters down this way. The nation calls. Ready? Who calls? It shall be done. Sigmarite Arch Lecture. Warrior of Sigmarite. So what we want these armies to be hitting is not necessarily armies. Sorry, not necessarily cities, but armies. So with this army here, three of ours should be able to handle it. It doesn't matter if there's cities that we don't capture straight away. The main thing here, take out all of the armies. I am ready. Are you? What? Very well. I will do this. I serve the Heldenhammer. Uh, yep, just wait and see how that goes. It looks like she's starting to send more forces down to... Move! Now, praise be to Sigma. Uh, it seems like she's sending more armies down to the south. The Southlands. Getting close to bankrupt again, but that's okay. Oh, not bankrupt, but you know, in the negative economy. That's okay. We'll get through the rest of the campaign with what we got. Also, if I really want money, all I gotta do is sell some shit territory up in the north to Ostermark, because they got millions of gold that they're not using. Yep, we're good to go there. Pretty much good to go here now as well. Just about. I mean, more armies will definitely help. What does the Emperor bid? Alright, I think we can recruit an army here. And don't worry about global recruitment. We can just do it locally, just to speed up the process. Yeah, I can recruit them here. Uh, maybe just get the cannons from here. Cool, so that'll be ready but by the time we need it. And we'll go for Numas. Yeah, but we'll also need a hero over there. I don't think I've got any available. Just send a battle wizard, doesn't matter. Just need it. Just need intel. Alright. Alright. And then as we capture territories, we can give them to Ostermark. Yeah. Okay, good. Alright, any new enemies? Nope. Let me check this. Just to be sure. Oh, good. And checking down here. We need to make sure the Zinch armies don't pop out of nowhere and attack us. Because, yeah, that'd suck. We've got no garrison there. We also need to make sure... Oh, hang on, hang on. Relation with him is still deteriorating. Maybe... Hmm. Why did that change? You interrupt my work. Your first mistake. Up. It's only money. I we can't have him angry with us. For Karakazol. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck you, man. The road anyway, he'll just waste this money work. fighting Zinch. Yes. Smite ya. Whatever. And how are things going with Rapunz? Yep, here. that's fine. What? Oh, do you know another thing? If we trespass on her territory, it should actually make Thorak happy. But it'll piss off the lizards. So that's not good. Okay, moving on. Yep. They will be you should be working on Ostermark's fealty. Uh, no, why? I will why do you think I should be working I'll on that? Trust no man. By the comet. Yes. Who calls? That'll take me, what, ten turns to get back up? Who cares? Ready? Do you know how quickly I can cheese fealty? 
very, very quickly. But as soon as I want to confederate Ostermark, I promise you it'll get done. Very quick. How can you confederate Ostermark with only five tokens? Well, watch and find out. It'll probably be close to the end of the episode when I do it. Show me the accused. Grave time. Okay. So, yeah, if you go for Zandri, that's fine. You can do that on your own. I command here. Honestly, you should probably go for the world settlement. Even though you're bad at this, I reckon you'll be able to order resolve it. Here to serve. No. Oh, God. <laughs> Avoid that one, but you know we don't want. All right. The Empire. The Empire. Moving off. So yeah, they are sending a fair few armies down south to deal with Zinch. Okay, that's all fine. Check in with him again, and yeah, that's times. fine. That's fine. You'll get over those little problems. Bring the corpses. Okay, we're recruiting another army. What? They keep shifting their armies around. Alberic, that army is relatively trashy, but there's just a lot of them, so we need we need more force here. Lurk. Ready. That's it. I want full intel targets. on everything that's going on out here. Chosen uh, <sighs> Swing around this way. Forth. Sigmarite Arch Lector. I live to serve the Emperor. This is not important to attack a settlement that doesn't have any armies there. Like, good concentration of them there, that's important. Alright, I think that's all we need to do this turn. I haven't been updating the Rapance counter, have I? To the Empire. Eight turns the remaining. Is listening. Well, it'll be seven turns in just a moment. Check this one last time. Yep. So all looks good. Okay, moving on. Where's my boy Carl? I think that's him right there. Very cool campaign so far. What software does Legend use to stream Total War? OBS. OBS 30.0.2. Probably could use an update. Oh, that's not Carl. There he is. He's here. Alright, this one's taking attrition here. Oh, great. Ever vigilant. To the provinces. Sigma compels us. So Carl Franz isn't taking attrition because he must be immune to storm attrition because he fought Loki of Felhart. Let's go back there for now. The storm won't last forever. Sigmarite Arch Lector. Now we still got our oh, seven turns now, don't we? Here to serve. We keep shifting their armies around. I will do anything for Sigma. True servant of Sigma.
champion of the faith. Yes? The nation calls. Protector of the weak. Okay, that all seems good. I'm looking at this. Is Zinch still got like no forces left? Oh no, he's got an army. Looks like he just lost the demon's gate. That's interesting. So looking at them. Yeah, that's still deteriorating. That's good. They still have military access. Let me see if I can get you to cancel that. Still won't do it. If it goes too much in the negative, he'll just do it on his own. How does he feel about me? What brings you to Still my okay. Mind? Another gift. Can wet the whistle if we absolutely need to. So onwards. Show me the accused. Right, we got pretty good intel in this area now. As you say. Okay. Praise be to Sigma. Yeah, if we've got heroes over here, we could land them there pretty easily. Are we glo Yeah, we're globally recruiting enough this turn. And the warders out here, yeah, they're still not good, so just wait. Storms don't last that long. Okay, let's move on. Pretty uneventful turn, but that's okay. Mostly just waiting for it to expire now, and then we can go and do it. Anything going on here? Nope. All good. All good. Not seeing any issues. Okay. You know what? Actually, I might be able to get Thoric Ironbrow to go to war with Rapunz to get him to clean out the Southern Chaos Wastes. Or maybe she'll clear him out of the Southern Chaos Wastes. That actually might be better. Well, we'll see when the time comes. We will see. Okay, moving on. Just making sure there's no other surprises. No, okay, moving on. Yeah, it should be six turns now. Tools of judgment ready. What? The nation calls. Okay, we've got good intel in her core territory. We just need to make sure we've got armies ready to really hit her hard when the time comes. Okay, so some of their armies moved over here. Champion of the faith. It might even be better for us to just spot them evil. and just stay just near them as they they seem to be traveling down south to go fight. Oh yeah, we don't have lines to, to show where they are anymore. We can't see the armies that are out here. Can't see what's going on down here anymore. Unless I land there, which, yeah, okay. You cannot manipulate me. All right, give it a little bit longer. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ready Still attrition out there. I am prince and emperor. Okay, it's no longer as dangerous here. Maybe don't recruit another army there. So hang on, let me just check this again. Is it five turns or six turns? Six turns remaining, okay. Do you plan to finish current campaign today? Yeah, I think so. I think so. All right, let's get an army in position to recapture Agril Midgal. Or Qatar. Hmm. That's all good. Wait, this one here will need a second army, won't it? Probably. Yes. So? Is it time? I trust no man. Alright, that looks all good. 
Why aren't you landed here? No, nope, don't do that yet. Alright, we also need to check on Thorak, make sure he's not about to... Can you see I'm busy? The runes wait for no one. Hmm. Seems like I need to regularly give him gifts. Or, or, since he hates Rapants now, right? What might work is... Yeah, he doesn't like Rapants. Rapance is okay with me, so rather than giving him a gift, it might be better just to do something seemingly very silly, but could make a big difference. Just trespass on our territory a little bit. The reason for this is that it should be worth a little bit of relation with him. Yeah, it was worth a little bit. Because he doesn't hate her that much. Okay. And it hurts things a little bit with her, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Okay, the water's still not clean. Alright, moving on. Wait, Henry turns left. And we need to check the zinch stuff. The zinch stuff is... Yep, it's fine. So if I gave you Occam's Forever Maze, it's now worth more. You give me Tora Lassor, and could you break your military access with him? Now all I have to do is give you a little bit of money. Because then what I could do... Yeah, soon, soon, soon. When I'm declaring war on Rapance, I might also declare war on the last defenders at the same time and drag Thorek into that war. I think that could work. Just get Thorek to take out the lizards. I think that could work. And I'll also get Tora Lassor away from them. Seek out the heretics. Okay, that could work. So we're actually going to double team both Rapance and the lizards at the same time. Wait, hang on. That's not going to work because I've still got a defensive alliance with them. Yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, all in due time. We'll, we'll figure out something with the lizards. Um, Speak honestly and swiftly. Oh my god, I haven't pressed the turn yet. Come on. we got to get through this a bit quicker. Five turns remaining until the next war. Um, et check. Et check check. HQ10. Oh my god. <laughs> Subscribe with Prime. You can't possibly expect me to pronounce that, but thanks for the. Thanks for it, anyway. Hmm. Where is it happening? Celestial Monastery? No. But legend, they only have four fealty now. Celestial Monastery is up here. And yeah, they managed it, but that's fine. Okay, here. Alright, let's start increasing fealty. Thing is, I don't want to do it just yet because I don't want the the Confederation offer straight away. But let's get started. So what we need is Nagenhof. Actually, yeah, Nagen, Nagenhof. Yeah. All right. And what we want to do at Nagenhof is recruit a lord. And this lord will stay right there, and we are going to abandon the settlement. Why, Legend? Why? What's he doing? <laughs> You'll see. We did this before with Wissenland. Serve Sigma. True servant of Sigma. So that'll go to Qatar. I'm not sure if you'll win that on your own. I need another one for here as well. Moving out. I live to serve the Emperor. I will do anything for Sigma. Uh, where did those armies go? Is that Elberic? Yeah, okay, so they went back over there. Like I said, we need to spot them. They keep running around all over the place. See, that was what the good thing was when dealing with, um, Belagai. He stayed put. Didn't do anything. Just stayed still. Okay, good. The storm is over. Get back into position over here. Onwards. Ever vigilant. Forward. 
in his name. Awaiting orders. Your word is my command. Right, your I job is to hit Phyrus. Phyrus. I live to serve yep, the your job is to hit Here to serve. these locations. Don't worry about the areas where there isn't any military force. Okay, and let's recruit another army here. I'm choosing the lords that have already got their skill points put in, because honestly, I can't be bothered specking them. Okay. So, this one, when it's finished, will come around to this location and, you know, just hit them. Alright. Anything else we gotta do? Nope. Double checking. Nope. Okay, checking down here, making sure things aren't going to complete shit. That's okay. And don't forget to check Iron Brow's expedition. Oh god, I don't want to give you any more gifts. He's only got one military ally left, which is uh, Ostermark. What brings you here, manling? I can't have him cancelling the treaties just yet. Get Luminarx and Sartosa? Why? Has no value to what we're trying to do here. Cool unit. Don't need him. Alright, that's all good. Moving on to the next one. Four turns remain. With Zero Defeats campaign coming to an end, are we going to get another Zero Victories campaign next? How can the Empire no. Aid you in such <laughs> no. <laughs> that would never work for Warhammer 3. It'd be too tedious. I did that with Medieval 2 once. It's possible with that game. But doing that here, no. Nah. No, forget it. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. That was possibly one of the Champion most annoying campaigns I've ever done. Faith. Actually, you come around over here, sorry. This one, this one does seem to be recruiting, though. So, Zinch has two settlements left. Yeah, I want that to be as high value as possible when the time comes. I'm not sure if that's going to be finished. Do you know who I Where am? are you fucking going? Bloody clowns. Alright, get them. My Sigma. Uh, Ever onward. Yeah, get them landed over here. Going for. No. Protector of the weak. Moving out. Hmm, an army at Martech. Army's over here. What is your behest? The nation calls. What does the Emperor bid? Onwards! Okay, sir, just gotta keep spotting Tons them. Of judgment uh, another army here. Can I assist? Arch Lecter. Well, we were at minus 150,000 when we were dealing with Belagar. This will probably be a little bit longer of a war, just because her, her territory is not in one nice, clean area, and she's not moving around all over the place. I've got 30 armies now. It's good to know a lot of her armies are down here. I'm not going to have to worry about them. So we should be able to strike there, there, and oof, probably need another one here, actually. This one is just local recruit. Actually, global recruit the artillery, and then local recruit some of this. But that should be done in time, because yeah, otherwise I won't be able to auto that. Or fight it manually with shit army like this. Okay, that all seems fine. I have no idea where Albrecht's going, but wherever he's going, we just got to keep an eye on it. 
So looking at her, she she's not going to declare war on us yet. And let me just, actually, let me check that again. Four turns remaining. That's right. All right. All of my elect account troops should be available again. Let me just see. Okay, it, it's um. They got two turns until they're available, but all the regiments right now are, are, are back. So in two turns, if Vashnar Conquest shows up again, that's fine. In two turns. So we're not going to hit this area here quite as hard, but that's okay. Because this area here will be um, bordering uh, uh, Ostermark, so it's not that big of a deal. Okay, and let's move on. Three turns remain. Oh crap, forgot about that. Would a redo of Scar Snake, this is a Total War campaign, be very different now? Uh, yeah, entirely different. Oh look, he's coming into Ruin Dweller. Gotta hu hurry up or else I miss my opportunity. Um, yeah, that's fine, whatever, thousand dollars, nothing. So here's how we, so I abandoned the settlement, right? And then I give it back, return to Elector, gain fealty, then I want it back. Come then, only Sigma's god Ulrich can judge it worthy or no. Uh, it's called Nagenhof. Uh, in, 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 in. Wait, what? There it is. It's not worth much. All I have to do is give him a trade for something like... Tusker Settlement? Plain of Tuskers. And I'll get 300 thousand on back. Cool. Fine. <laughs> then, then, what's that? We abandoned it again. <laughs> so we can do it every turn. That's how you cheese fealty. I mean, it costs you a settlement, but when you're ready to confederate, you just get the settlement back anyway. All right. What orders? Where did Rapunz go? There she is. Wait, that's not her. Now, the Empire. To the provinces. Brace Sigma. Moving off. I go where I am needed. I go where I'm I think needed. this is enough armies for now. Alright, so let's go the two armies here. Faith. Oh damn it, Falkmar. Ever onward. I will do two armies here. For Sigma. Two armies Sigma looking at this. And we'll just see how things play out, because, yeah, they keep shifting their armies around. Ready to serve. And I've still got more money. I mean, I could. I just don't... See, getting them around over here is going to be a bit of a problem. Show me the accused. Step to it. But we should be able to hit them very hard, very fast. Some of these armies I won't be able to hit, like this one here. Well, actually, on the turn that I'm going to strike them, maybe I'll get some armies. Yes. So what are we at? We're at three turns remaining. Is that right? I have time, but I ask that you be. Okay. Like that army is dog shit. I could maybe put Carl Franz over here. Uh, Freaking desert settlement. I can put Carl Franz here with one turn remaining so that he can strike that. They will be judged. When the time comes. What are they doing? I trust no man. Hunt them out! Okay, moving on to the next turn, but we gotta check this. Yep, yeah, no sign of Zinch. 
think Zinch lost his army again. Yep, looks like it. Seek out the heretics. Yeah, they've brought down a lot of their armies here. And this is why we can't confederate Marcus Wolfheart, because otherwise they'll attack us from there. This actually is a big vulnerability, but I can't I cannot Ooh, sell this settlement. Ready. When we declare war, it might be a good idea to put in some troops here just to defend, just in case they come in over this way, in case I, you know, miss them so. coming in. Because there may not be much warning. Might be a good idea to do that now, actually. And all we need is a deterrence, so just a whole heap of halberdiers will do it. That should be fine. Just needs to be a deterrence. Okay, here we go. Change your name to Legend of Total Blitzkrieg. Yeah, that's I'm sure. Uh, yeah, I'm sure that's gonna go down well. <laughs> Fucking hell! Why don't I just call myself Legend of Total Adolf Hitler? Yeah. Oh yeah. Do you watch that guy, Legend of Total Adolf Hitler? Yeah, that sounds like, that sounds like a great channel. <laughs> True servant of Sigma. Why can't you sell those settlements? Because it's an island. Yeah, it has to be connected by a border. That's why we can't get the territory uh, owned by by them. I can't give it to them. They've got to border the region, even even if we're allied. Doesn't make any difference. Okay, moving on to the next uh, return. All right, moving on to next two. Yeah, I'm sure that'll be just a great career move, doing something like that. Okay, we abandon Ostermark again, uh, Nagenhof, and then, and then... What orders? Oh, what's that? What's that? And what you know what? You don't Ostermark. lose. You don't lose any Imperial authority for doing this. Because you're not at war with them. See, you couldn't do this in Warhammer 2 because you couldn't trade settlements. All right, let's sell you another one. It is good to see so I want Nagenhof, please. And I'll give you Novchozzi, because I don't need it. Thank you. Of course. Man, I'm making a bank here. It's building my economy back up. And then, oh, what's that? Abandon Nagenhof again. <laughs> And that is how you cheese authority. Uh, I'm not authority. Cheese fealty. Of course, you need enough settlements in order to do it, so it's not really something you can do on like turn one. All right, Alberic is staying there. That's fine. Ready. Keep an eye on her. We've actually got too many armies here. We got two turns. This is wise. Hey, don't trespass. Sigma has shown us the path. How much unrest does this cause? None. You don't get any um, unrest from abandoning settlements anymore. Look. See? No issues. Look at that. Totally fine. Praise be to Sigma. Alright, there's a lot more force coming in over Shmion. In his name. Praise be to Sigma. And then another one here, just to really make sure that they don't come here. Because it doesn't matter about the money anymore. It just doesn't matter. Yeah, just just go hell, but is. So what's next? Next uh, two turns? Is that rem right? Yeah, two turns Ladies remaining. Listening. How are things going with Thoric? Oh, he likes us now. Will be Good. In Clinkaroon. And the lizards are happy. Not for long, but they'll soon be. Yes, for now. Forward. All right, moving on. Yep, let me just check down Shmior. Good, now we haven't discovered. Checking this. Make sure this one doesn't get attacked. Oh, 
Oh, look at this. Kairos has one settlement left. Just one. Tools of oh, I really want to see what goes on over here. <laughs> They've still got a little bit to do with this. Alright. One turn remaining until this will be... The thing is with this war is that it won't be a conclusive one because I'm just going to take her territory from the south, uh, southern continent, not the southern chaos waste, and then I'm going to peace out with her. Right, another thing that we need to be doing, and I should have done this before. Oh, fuck. I need to make sure that they're on. Good, there's no more army there anymore. Yeah. Alright. The abominations, where are they? Fucking bloody hell. Why is this always happening right before I need to fight something? Good thing I got regiments around for this. Alright, you wanna play it that way. Come on, let's let's get Shout to it. Get to it. Moving out. Ever onward. Just a waste of my friggin' time, really. Arch Lector. My Sigma's right. The nation calls. Orders heeded. That should be enough. All right, eight units versus eleven. Hunt and forage. One, two, three. Eleven units versus eleven. Yes. Make it one more. Why nook to build a camp for remaining races in Chaos Waste? Build a camp. What do you mean build a camp? Huntsman General. I'm not sure what you mean, dude. Alright. Cool. Just gotta stay vi vigilant with this kind of stuff. Alright, one turn remaining. Are Demigif not any good? They're okay, I just don't prefer to use them. Protector of the weak. Greetings, son of Sigma. Okay. We are ready to go with this. I'm not seeing any real issues. We'll have to give her a couple of territories to get her to cancel the remainder of her treaties. Also, we can't forget about this. How will you get the fealty up? How? Uh, Plesk? Alright, let's see about Plesk. I don't need it. It's red territory. Plesk for... Nagenhof. Uh, I'd rather get money. So why don't we try Temple of Heimkull? Yep, done deal. Indeed. Who owns those other settlements in Ulthwan? Rapance. So this war here is going to give us all of Ulthwan. That's another thing. Gellion's graveyard. You know what I should do here? I should abandon it. And then just leave it as a ruin. That way there's no garrison there. Because you never know if someone's going to bloody sail over there and just attack it. So Nagenhof abandoned again. And yeah, we got it to seven. Now, by the way, I'm not ready to confederate him just yet. But we're just getting the fealty up. I just wanted to show you what we do. Warrior of Sigma. Is Rapunzel North one? 
Uh, there's no armies in Orth 1, because they're not going to send it to somewhere where they don't believe it's a threat. They're sending their armies to deal with Zinch. Moving off. And yeah, Zinch just, he just captured the settlement here. And this is all that's left of Zinch, so he's almost finished. That's not going to get done time. Next turn's the war. Okay, here we go. And it all just depends on where all these armies move around from. Hopefully we can eliminate all of these armies on this coastline here. In, in this little continent. There may be some armies that are like sailing down this way. Just can't really do much about that. The Empire. Every settlement that we capture over here will be given to Ostermark. In exchange for, you know, for Nagenhof. All right. We appear to have made our preparations as best we can. Next turn is the war. Okay, let's get on with it. Don't forget to abandon it. Um, I did, didn't I? What's my most expensive unit right now with the supply line? Probably steam tanks. Yeah. Yeah, he's dead. Oh my god! Another one? Let us converse in a Fuck me, man. Like, we're going back home. Hell no, you're not. Damn, this is the turn I was supposed to declare war. I don't want to have to use the electric count troops. I mean, these are not exactly good troops. Oh, oh, okay. I probably won't need to. But I'll just have to. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, you come to here. I will do anything for Sigma. I live to serve the Emperor. Ah, crap, what happened with that? Received. We hunt our enemies. I will marshal the many people that actually has mounts. By Sigma's right. Quicken your stride. To the provinces. All right, there we go. Let us converse in a civil. Praise be to Sigma. This will bolster the nation. I cannot extend a welcome to the likes of you. Misguided. The Empire. Ah! 
Good. That gets rid of them. I didn't need to use any of my emergency units. However, it did stop me from attacking Rapaz with this army, but that's not that big of a deal. Yes. You'll just have to do that next turn instead. Alright, is it time? Let's have a look. A lot of concentration of armies there. No concentration there. Concentration small, small, small. And this one here would not be able to counterattack us, but it is something that we have to deal with. She's not super high level. We could maybe block her. Now, Thorek. Yep, he's happy. Okay. And before we declare war, we obviously need to get rid of all of our alliances, which we could... Let's see where we could do that. Um, Gorgazan, that might be worth. Probably not. Sunken Kurnach, probably not. That shouldn't be there anyway. Floating Village, no, I don't know if I'll. Well, maybe they bought it. Let's have a look. Floating Village. Yep, okay, that works. How much is that worth? Floating Village, yeah, that'll definitely be worth enough. Okay, we need a Lord there. Floating village, and I want you to break your defensive alliances with all these three factions. Nope, won't do it with all of them. What about... Okay, cool. And we can get a bit of money out of it for it. Still need to get rid of the other ones, but this is a start. Certainly. Good. Do rogue armies stand and fight because they don't have a settlement? Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. I don't know what causes it. Okay, then... What's the next settlement to give away? Springs of Eternal Life. Numas. Yeah, okay. Put a lord there. What business have you with me? Numas. Yep, that should work. Break defensive alliance with Ostermark, because you don't want to go to war with them. What if you could break your trade agreement with the last defenders? No, that's too much. And that's all we really need to do. And this time, when I declare war, everybody's going. I'm dragging everyone in. Because if we have a look... Yeah, Thorek hates her. The last defenders don't like her anymore. He doesn't like her anymore. And I can't call him in anyway. All right. Time to begin hostilities. We're calling them all in. And they all joined in. Good stuff. Now what that's going to do is ensure that Thorak and Rapant fight each other for the Southern Chaos Waste and not focus that much on me. But it is now time to gain territory. Do rogue armies stand and fight because... Oh, I already read that out. Why is the game so laggy? Oh, okay, so it's, it's probably because it's late game, that's why. There's a lot of lag in late game, not sure why. It's always been the case. Okay, that is one settlement down. Vigilant. Protector of the weak. What was the other settlement I did? It was like Numas. That's it. Here to serve. True servant of Sigma. You want to do something with Krokka? That's right, that's right. Yeah, what we want to do with Krokgar is trade Occam's Forever Maze for Tora Lassor and then have him break his military access pact with Ironbrow Expedition. And I'll have to give him some money for it. It's not a big deal. I just don't want them being friends anymore. Cool, that secures that province for me. Cool. 
All right, all right, all right. Well, we're certainly not done yet. Now, show me the accused. Ha! Who calls? I think Albrecht disbanded some units recently. Bombs. Attack! I thought I would need a bit more for that, but these are proving to be pretty good in order resolve as well. Not as good as the great swords, because Britannia is not good in order resolve Your typically. How many times have you painted the map in Immortal Empires? Only once. Playing as Malice Darkblade, that's the only time I've ever done it. So this will be the second time. Were you going to kill Albrecht twice? He got confederated. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Spirits speak. To battle. By Sigma. Arch Lecter. Also has Kairos. No, that was not Immortal Empires, that was um, Realm of Chaos. Yeah, I, I thought I completed Realm of Chaos with Kairos. You did it with Corn as well, didn't you? Nope. Gotta try to gobble up the territory before Thorek. He'll, he'll probably send an army and grab um, part of the jungle. What orders? For the Emperor! Awaiting orders. There were talks? No, I didn't. Champion of the faith. Yeah, these are definitely better in order resolve. If I had used the um the halberd is, it wouldn't be enough. I need the other army. I serve Sigma. That's finally getting done. Oh yeah, we also need to ruin dwell this over here. Praise be to Sigma. Good, so that's at eight. <laughs> Two more. Need to trade for that settlement back, but it's fine. We'll get to that in a minute. Servant of the faith. Okay, that's all good. I serve Sigma. And just leave that as a ruin so that there's no garrison there, just in case. Sigmarite Arch Lecter, purge the heretics. Cast evil out. I will do anything for Sigma. My journey begins. Question, auto resolve defeats because of misclick don't count, right? Well, I haven't done that yet, but I imagine people would probably consider that counting. Ready to serve. 
Praise Sigma. Into battle. To war. Yes, my lord. I need to do this Move. right. To war. There you go. <laughs> Just want them to land. Ever vigilant. Guided by Sigma, the Empire. There you go. Protector of the weak. Elden Hammer. Thank you. Servant of the faith. Noise. <laughs> <laughs> One of their armies still remains, but that's okay. Is I had a backup time? plan for something like that. What orders here to serve? Warrior of Sigma. Yeah, if I attack you, you'll probably run away, won't you? Attack! Yeah, figured as much. The Empire. Bro, oh, damn it. Okay. You don't have lightning strike, do you? Oh shit, you actually might have lightning strike. What does the oh, Emperor bid? Oh, dear. They will okay. be judged. I mean, if she attacks any of these armies here, it it's fine because they've oh, all got a life wizard, Sigma. they'll heal. Unless they get assassinated. I serve she can't make it to Phyrus. Blocking her is probably unlikely, but let's try it. Try again. Oh, 22%. Forget it. Try it. It's a little bit better chance. Oh, we succeeded on 20%. Cool. Alright, so she can't get that far. It wasn't amazing, that, um, that one there. Be very careful about bringing the shit armies up this way. By Sigma, your word is my command. Cast evil out. I will marshal the men. Yes, a sound plan. By Sigma. So, G. Callanan says, I work in a pub which is usually quiet during the days. Today, I've served four customers. One of them came out of the toilet covered in shit at 2 p.m. <laughs> oh, well, you know, you that tell, makes it for a good story, I guess. Awaiting orders. I live to serve the Emperor. Moving off. Is that where heretics lurk? Champion of the faith. Did you have to clean the toilets? That'd be a shit job. Use a trick with Carl to get her in range. No, I don't know if that'll work. The Empire. Servant of the Faith. Alright, All right. so how much territory does she have left? Can't be that much. So she had 29 or something to begin with. So I've taken 10 already. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 out here. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 19. Okay, well, don't have to worry about them so much. Does she want peace? 
You have no right. right. I can give her peace with a settlement. I don't know if I want to do that. Praise be to Sigma. Ready. Champion of the faith. Yeah, so we've got another army here. But we've got to be very careful with this Ready one because it's got lightning strike. Very careful with it. The nation calls. Carl Franz would whoop the living shit out of her. So yeah, you go over there, and she'll probably run away. She'll probably force March to Lashiek. I would have attacked Martek, but given that she's got lightning strike, I think we just need to chill out here. I will do anything for Sigma. Yeah, just chill. I got these ones here. Which can we block this one? We can try. Seek out the heretics. It is time. Speak. Good. Okay, that stops her from moving. Awesome. All right. Get into the desert. You probably take a little bit of attrition, but that's okay. Just get in there. Ready to serve, Arch Lecter. Or maybe not. Cool. To the provinces. Yes. Onwards. <coughs> Excuse me. Of oblivion. All right. All right. True now we will sell Tlaqua over to Protector of the Weak. Over to them. It is good to see fellow sons of the Empire this day. In exchange for Naganhof. I will. Okay, so they're at eight. I just want to get them to nine, and then I'll stop doing it because I don't. I don't want the Confederation offer just yet. Not until we're finished with Thorek. Which there's a mission and a half. We have to take out all the bloody halberdiers. Replace them with great swords. Keep them because they need to go down south. Merge and global recruit. Could a local recruit though. Okay, all good there. We scored the Black Pyramid of Vagash and we scored this one as well, so that's good. Yeah, long after Marathi's dead. Okay, what we want here is to get rid of this corruption. Not sure how we're gonna go about that without witch hunters permanently stationed there. Which I guess we could do. What? Ready. I trust no man. And isn't there a follower I can put on you for extra? Oh my god, I got so many now. Nope, not vagabond. It's got a bit faster. Smuggler? Servant? Nope. Black color jackalite, that's it. So that then sees it going down. That's good. Let's get another one going. The nation calls. Why do you disband the entire army when you're gonna bring the cannons back? It'll save me some money for a short amount of time. What's the big deal? I got like 30 local uh, global recruit slots. <laughs> He's not going to see it coming. Okay, and then the Light College Acolyte as well. Yep. Alright, that should keep this comic. down for the most part. Okay. Now, the biggest problem here is all the unknown armies that may be hanging around here. So... Like the silver hammer, yes. Pick up the pace. Show me the accused. Just check Forward. in this area here. Okay, we should be fine. We should be fine. 
Alright. No other enemies. Yes, my lord. I'm not gonna disband all these armies right now, because I just don't know what's gonna happen over the next turn or so. Who calls? All seems pretty safe. Alright, now check to see how much people like us. So, Thorek likes us a lot, that's good. And you like us a lot as well, that's good. And how do you like them? Yeah, you, oh, you like them despite the fact, hang on, what? For the wisdom of the layer. Oh, I didn't cancel the military access. Bugged. Yeah, if you ask the AI to cancel military access in a treaty, it doesn't work. Oh well, I still got this settlement of it. Oh, that does shit. Oh well, I will have to just figure something out about that later. Moving on. Guess what I could do? Is just cancel the defensive alliance now. No, sorry, the military alliance. He doesn't have any other allies. And just declare war on him in 10 turns. And drag Thorak into it. Because he'll probably do it because he doesn't have an alliance. How much money is this worth? It's worth a bit. The other alternative is have him help us up against Thorak, which he actually might do. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's do it that way. We'll help. We'll have his help against Doric. I think that makes a lot of sense. All right, moving on to the next turn. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yep. Just double checking some stuff. Okay, moving on. God, it would suck if there was, like, some army that could attack one of our weakened stuff and lightning strike it. How come your income is now negative? So what I do is I build up a war chest, then I make a shitload of armies, which puts me into the negative, but I'm basically using up money that I've saved up from previous, um, turns of being frugal. And I, when we're at war, I'm super aggressive, like what we're seeing here. Good, I'm glad to see Rapunz is still focusing on this. Good, she didn't move at all. She didn't I move far. Can we potentially catch you? Nope. Ready. So, what have you to say? Good. She's not going anywhere. Your word is my command. This will make us, if we keep the landmark should make us immune to desert attrition. Not that that's a huge issue. Warrior of yeah, immune to desert attrition, and then this one here generates money. There's no downside to this one, so that's fine. Summon the elector counts. <laughs> Seek out the heretics. On march! The nation calls. Just need to make sure there's no surprises yes, out this way. Good. Yeah, because not owning the port settlement out here, I don't have any line of sight on the waters. Sigma. But if I got Deadhead Monolith, then I would. To strengthen the Empire. I serve the Helden Hammer. There's no need Why to rush fight? this right now. Ah, oh, he's gonna get there before me. Unless he sacks it, that's a possibility. He might sack it. I live to serve the Emperor. Yes, of course. Okay, this settlement got ruined. Awaiting orders. Yep, return that to Elector Count. See, I told you it's quick. Um I am France. They will obey. 
You should be fighting dudes on the run because they're all quite tired. Good, easy for him. You don't have an alliance with Ostermark? It's not possible to get an alliance with an elect account unless you're the AI. I mean, playing as Raikon, that is. Legend, you can hit Orion straight before Thorak? Really? Oh shit, you're right! Ever vigilant. Oh my god. Guided by Sigma. Huh. Thanks, dude. I was let him have it. For the Emperor! Yeah, I would have completely missed that. I didn't think I could reach. True servant of Sigma. I will do anything for so Sigma. Thorak, how does he feel about us? Yep, loves us, that's what we want to see. Sigma is with us! Good job, chat. Well done. Hi. Spirit Master. Okay. Looking good there. Be to Sigma going forward. Alright, this guy needs to recruit more to replace what was destroyed, but no big deal there. Alright. Right. Champion of the faith. That will work. By the comet. My lady yeah, will Gelt will be able to handle that. Especially Ever these guys onward. coming in to help. My knowledge is yours. I see Sigmar's hand in this. All right, I don't think I need I these armies here. Men. We can we can get rid of them. What orders? Awaiting orders. I command here. Yes, my lord. All right. Honored. Let's make sure we check this area here. All seems fine. I don't think I need this army anymore. Nope. You can go. Did you not trade Floating Village? Should you not get it back? Floating Village. Uh, no, I got it back. Of Sigma, I will obey. Your word Don't think we need this army heart. either. They're just not going to be able to help. I will Got two damage now. We should be going up. Yeah, pretty well. Pretty well. Who want to see this come to a conclusion? Because if we have a look here, zero defeats, 735 victories. No saves coming. No Kolek defeat repeats like we did in Warhammer 2. And Emperor, by the comet. Kolek's gone. Indeed. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. By the comet. By Sigma. No. To the provinces. By Sigma. Praise be to Sigma. Your word is my command. Okay, one more settlement in Ulth one, and then the whole donut is ours. Here to serve. Skaven Enjoyer, yes, yes, did a five dollar super chat. I donated already via Twitch, but I'm not sure if you have notifications enabled. Anyway, just want to say thank you for the excellent campaign. Thanks, dude. I appreciate that. I don't have notifications enabled. I do appreciate every donation that happens. 
Um, but the reason why I don't have it enabled is because with this many viewers, what tends to happen is you get a lot of really small donations, like $1 ones, which I still appreciate, but they flood the fucking thing with, like, notifications. Like, notifications just pop up everywhere, and people are like, oh, I'm so fucking sick of seeing all these notifications everywhere. So I do appreciate them, but I'd rather not get the donation than have people be, um, like, annoyed by me getting donations, if that makes sense. No, it might seem counterintuitive, but... I've had I've literally had streams before where it was like ten minutes non-stop of just like one dollar uh, donations, which there's not not, not this and that, but you know donations went up and viewers went down, and I don't think that's a good way to run the channel, so I turned them off. That's why we used to um, do renames for a dollar or whatever on stuff, but then it, they just I spent like half an hour one time just doing renames, and then I said okay, no more. It's just too much time spent renaming Silence things that just nobody cared about. What? But yeah, I definitely Arch do appreciate Nectar. it. Alright, you guys can stay there for now. We're Sigma back in the green again. So, in terms of territory we still need to take, we've got... 1, 2, 3, 4... 5, 6, 7... 8... And the stuff down here doesn't matter. Okay, all looking good. Yes. Mhm. Mm Could have prepared a little bit more down this way. That's fine. Wasn't it ten dollars? I think it was like a dollar for a unit, but ten dollars for a character. And so. People did like loads of, they just wanted loads of units renamed and it, it just really disrupted the stream. People would get sick of it. Like, I didn't come here to watch you just rename shit, I want you to fight battles. <laughs> so I, I turned it off. Okay. This all seems fine, I'm not seeing any issues. Is she ready for peace? No. She is angry. She's chill. The nation calls. I had seen a guy whose donation notification was a warhorn, and it began dooting for hours non-stop to the point it just faded into the background for everyone. Yeah. Are you going to confederate Marcus soon? Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. The problem is if I confederate Marcus, it puts me dangerously close to the Southern Chaos Wastes. Okay, it's good that we had intel over here, seeing her come in. So, so this army over here, semi-dangerous, just semi-dangerous. Karl Franz can beat it. Summon the Elector Counts. I will go to battle. Can you beat this on your own? It's 19 units, and these are not great order resolve stacks. Okay, cool. Probably asked a million and two times, but do you like men at work? Um, I'm indifferent. Typically no. speaking, I'm mostly indifferent to music in general. Pick up the pace. Like, if it's a good beat, whatever. I just, I just don't care. Serve. Like, I just don't care about music that much. Awaiting orders. Praise be to Sigma. Never been much of a passion of mine. Protector of the weak. I'll tell you what my favorite band of all time though is. Following Korn. <laughs> Following Sigma's path. I like to listen to corn while playing corn while eating corn. While fingering my corns. <laughs> Ah, oh, gross! Okay. Is it a race to get to the Sea Sundry Glades? Show me the accused. Protector of the weak. So he gets there first, you or me. It's a race to there, Thorek. It 
it is for the best. Okay, Deadhead Monolith, I will sell to them. And this army will be removed. What? What orders? I serve the held. Okay, so we go Deadhead Monolith for Naganhoff, I believe. Hopefully, I can By accept Sigma's it. will, come in peace. Shit. Okay. Um. Well, I'll just sell it to him because I don't want it. So be it. I still need to get Nagan. Well, actually, I don't necessarily need Naganhoff back. I can do it with any of these other ones. So, just leave him with it. We'll sort out the rest of that when I actually do want to confederate him. Which is definitely not right this very second. What you ask is impossible. Now, true servant of Sigma. Oh shit! I mean, I could win that, but I'm gonna fight a battle manually. We've already fought one today. That's enough. Do not waste my potential, champion of the faith. Lecter moving out. I think we should sell off Great Desert of Araby as well. Will. Oh no, we're in the desert. Yeah, I should really think not about that. Oh, what? I, think I don't care. Holy crap. It's all good. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Blessings of Sigma. Did she get blocked? What you ask is impossible. Seek out the heretics. 24%. They will be judged. That guy's out of movement. Alright, I need you. But he doesn't have any points put into him, so I gotta go in there and just put the one that's going to actually make a difference. All right, I need you to succeed. Report disagree with that. I think he failed. Yeah, he failed. I trust no man. Okay. Uh, does that one have lightning strike? Uh, it doesn't look like it because it looks like it's put about five points into the blue line. Doesn't look like that'd be lightning strike. Oh, Geld can actually reach Wizard Kali's palace. Protector of the weak. This army is not badly damaged. I live to serve the Emperor. Yeah, all right, fuck it, let's go. In his name. Praise be to Sigma. So Oh, we'll be fine. We have life magic. What are you gonna do about it? Anyway, that might entice her to strike at this army here. It's her funeral if she does that. Who calls? No peace, just war. The righteous hammer of Sigma. I go in his name. Yeah, you stay back though. My lady will not allow it. Yeah, what it, what that is, it's called taking a risk. And uh, that that is a risk. But this is uh, I don't I'm not really that concerned. Not really. By the comet, true servant of Sigma. I reckon she sees all these armies coming down at her, and she'll just walk away. Does the Emperor for the most part. Sigma compels us. Alright, so there's only one more settlement in the Araby area. 
We got two more settlements there, and then hopefully she'll want peace. Mm, she doesn't want peace. Because, yeah, I'm not invading the Chaos Wastes. Oh, I got an idea. I got an idea. Yeah, we take this settlement. And then I give her Orion's camp back. In exchange for tr uh, peace. And I don't take the Sun Tree Glades. Because Thorak is just going to do it. That might work. Ready. Step to it. All right, I don't need this army here. Champion of the faith. Ready to serve. How strong is she? I will hear your plea only because she got some strength ranking. Iron Brows is the next strongest to me. What about all phone? Oh, you're right. Yeah. I serve Sigma. Yeah, we can't forget about Ulfone. Alright, Ulfwine is completely under our control now, which means we don't need this army. And we should probably have our witch hunters to stay out in the water here. Just in case we see anyone coming. Also, any sign of any rogue armies? Nope. Nope. Okay. Alright, that's great. We are making progress. Let's check how much our remaining allies like us. So, Ostermark's fine, you're fine, Ironbrow's fine, also fine. Yeah, of course he hates us. I wonder if I could get her to offer to break alliance with Ironbrow. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I did peace for Orion's so camp. Speak, then be gone. Maybe next turn she'll accept it because the barracks will be there. Maybe. Be interesting to see what she does here. I don't think she's got lightning strike, but if she did attack Wizard Kali's palace and lightning strikes, this army is not great at defending cities. It's definitely not impossible to be able to repel this though. This world or the other. Maybe what I should do instead is put him outside of the settlement and put you in there. Because he would be much better off fighting out in the field. Much better off. It is forbidden. Alright, moving on. So yeah, I, I reckon this army will run away. That's what I think. Am I going to kill the rogue pirate factions? If I do that, you won't be able to load the save file up when I send it to you. So, no. If we wipe out every single faction, including the pirates, then the save file will actually corrupt. Tools of judgment ready. Show me the accused by the comet. Okay, I'm kind of rooting for Rapants to win against Zinch. Kind of. I mean, we definitely don't want Rapunz to survive indefinitely. But she actually might end up being... The What's she doing? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Typical AI. I didn't think they had the balls. Uh, Wari321, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Oh, here we go again. Uh, definitely don't. Where's Floating Mountain? Doesn't look like he lost any ser uh, territory, so... Fine. Lost a little bit of fields here, but that's okay. Like I said, we get back easily enough. Bye, Sigma. I might not actually be able to win that in order resolve. We're very badly damaged there. All right, let's see if we can make this trade. To come before the ladies' justice. What is your purpose? Wow. Okay. 
Uh, could you just give me statues of the gods? Nope, you won't be able to. Can we get regiments of renown from here? Nope. Uh, we're just going to have to see how this works. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Oh shit, okay, never mind. <laughs> Bretonians are even worse in order resolved and now oh, damage shit. Now it's fuck army. Trespasser is on your territory. Ah, oh, fuck me, man. Thanks. Oh, I had an army there up until recently and disbanded it. See, legend, you should have a full stack in every single settlement. Alright, I'll, I'll deal with that. I don't think the regiments are renowned. Are... Back, let me just check. To the provinces. Six turns. They're here. I don't need much. To battle! The Empire. To strengthen the Empire. Pick up the pace! Yes, a sound plan. That should be enough. Attack. Whichever woeful deity protects you, it ends here. No. Praise Sigma. Ah, crap. Need another one, it seems. The nation calls. Ready. Fuck. Yes, my lord. Right, yes. Give me two more then. Could probably win that manually. Yeah, I think that's a reference to one of the um, the Twitch streamers, Burke Black, who has there's a pretty good relationship with Creative Assembly. There's quite a few references in the game to YouTubers, but not to me. <laughs> to the Waited four years for a reference, never got one. Bleh. Fate shields us. The Empire! I will not obey. Honored to serve. Alright. So, Rapance only has one settlement left in non Chaos Way stuff, which. It's going to be taken away any moment now. I suspect ill intent behind your honey. So, words. what about Statue so of the God settlement? Them. Yeah, she'll do that one. Arian's camp is worth less to me and worth more to her, and I can get 46,000 from it. Because, yeah, I can't sell it to her if I take this settlement here. So I'm going to have to let Thorak take it. And that's fine. This will allow me to just not have to worry about Rapants anymore. All right, done deal. For the lady. Okay. We are done with Rapants. For now. For now. Guess who's next? Next war is... Thorak. This is the big one for today. Praise be to Sigma. So we just need to 
sort of consolidate a little bit and prepare. This is where we really need Ostermark. Every region that is bordering Thorek needs to be handed over to Ostermark. Yeah. I think the Skaven race is a reference to your playstyle. Mm, no, it isn't. Okay, so statues of the gods. Let's transfer that. Come then. Only Sigma's god, Ulrich, can judge Statues of the gods. In exchange for Nagenhof, please. Oh, cool. There we go. Got it back. Empire's blessing. Yes. Okay. So, so yeah. This is where we needed um, Ostermark for him. Why I didn't confederate them. We need to... Or everywhere that borders Thorek. And then we feed territory to Ostermark. Now, once we have gotten to that point there... We won't need uh, Ostermark anymore. We can confederate them at that point. Kassabar. No, we can keep Kassabar. That's not that close to the border. I need to get him to Karak Orad, though. So. Springs of Eternal Life. We'll need to sell that. Approach us, friend, and make your offer. Very well. He'll need to cut through my territory here. Then he'll need probably either Numas or Qatar. Ah, oh, this should work. By Sigma's will, come in peace. Okay, hang on, let me try Numas. Yeah, okay, that'll work. Sigma's will. And then Karakorod. It doesn't have to be done right now. Because we can recruit from Karak Orod. Uh, we also need to do the Misty Mountains. Actually, no, no. From the Misty Mountains, that's where I will invade from. Alright. Alright, we're at war with no one but Zinch again. And that's fine. So these armies will have to be re-recruited. It'll just be easier for me to manage them that way. And it's time for the main war of today. I trust no man. And once again, go great swords and cannons. Which have so far proven to be really effective. I actually could have reached her. But, you know, she'll... She's got way too much to worry about. Maybe you just wait until she sails away before we actually move out. And she shouldn't backstab us. Or betray the agreement, but still, we should... Just keep an eye on it. And look, we're back up to 1 point... No, oh, sorry, 19 million. Alright, keep them there. You never know when... Well, I mean, Thoric shouldn't, but... Let's just keep it there for now. How is Thoric feeling about us after that? What brings yeah, he definitely doesn't here, like that we... Um, peaced out with her, but he overall likes us still. And when it comes to Thorek, we should probably fight against the Lizards at the same time. Unless... Yeah, yeah, at the Lizards at the same time. We'll probably need an army over here. Mm, I don't know. Alright, any other... Any other... Oh. Oh, shit. They're back as well. Oh, thank fuck. There was two friggin... Rogue armies that showed up this turn. Alright, well at least I don't have to, um... Like, in, in desperation recruit something. I'll definitely need to recruit something. Holy crap, that could have been a problem. Alright, so they usually have a lot of monsters, so we'll go with the standard... Let's just go with the auto resolve stack. I'll get two of these armies up here. On the hunt. Can't Rapunz take territory from the Hunts Marshal now she's at war with him? Greetings, friend. Yes, actually. Yes. And, uh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> uh, I think she's got her hands full, but yes, you're right. Uh, let's just take it back. How much is she really going to be able to take, given how much we just fucked her up? She's fighting Zinch and Thorak Ironbrow, how much is she really going to be able to do?
Maybe they kill Marcus. They won't be able to attack Marcus. It's not possible. They won't do it. I can't believe they're back so soon. I killed them like 10 turns ago. I feel like a lot of rogue armies have shown up over the past few turns. And we've got to wait six more turns until we've got access to our um, regiments of renown again. So this is one of the primary reasons why I don't want to confederate this territory out here. Because the more territory you have, it seems like the more often these fucking rogue armies show up. It's so annoying. Alright, that's all I need to do for now. Let's just see how things play out over the next few turns. Maybe I should turn off some of these notifications. Don't tell me about building upgrade available or hero not moved or outpost available or lord not moved, unassigned skill point. Yeah, don't tell me about any of that. There's no penalty for peace within 10 turns after the clear war. Nope, not in Warhammer 3. Yeah. They will be judged. Why not give Marcus money for more armies? He, I gave him half a million gold, not about 50 not turns ago. 40 turns ago, maybe. He didn't recruit any more armies. He's got half a million gold Friends sitting in his bank, not to mention all the money that he makes from all that territory. He, he just refuses to recruit anything. Marcus is completely bugged out. What is going on there? Is Qatar at risk of an underway attack from Thoric? Yes, but if he does that, I'll just give the settlement straight to... Ostermark, so don't worry about it. Since it takes two turns to make an underway attack, it's fine. Is Japan's dead? She's not dead, but the war is over for now. Yeah, and she's gonna lose this settlement. Good. Anyway, I found that the AI doesn't really focus too much on Marcus. Oh my god, this guy's recruiting so quick. True servant of Sigma. Praise be to Sigma. In his name. Okay, so yeah, then we'll march up over here, kill them. Okay, because yeah, if we have a look here, we can see that there's no regiments of renown available, and the elect account state troops, we only have a handful of them left. So if, for example, Vashnar's conquest shows up somewhere really soon, I'm in serious fucking trouble. Basically, if Vashnar's conquest shows up, what I'll need to do is immediately sell territory around him. Unless he shows up in Ulthwan, in which case, there is nothing I can do about it. But I think we've only got a couple of turns left until the Regiments of Renown come back. That being said, Vashnar's Conquest is very fucking strong. The chances of him showing up again are pretty low. It can happen. Can you use that rogue army to activate Marcus? I don't know. I don't know I don't know any way of how to activate Marcus. It's completely beyond my knowledge with this. What? For Sigma. Alright. So that one there may be going to go and fight against Thoric. That's fine. Ready to serve. Alright, our armies here need to go and prepare for war against Thoric. You summon me. Very well, I'll move. I go where I am needed. Who calls? By Sigma right. What orders? Guided by Sigma. Oh yeah, that's another thing, is that I maybe this war with Thoric, I don't have to cancel the treaties. Onwards. I'll just fucking kill him. I'll just, I'll just attack him outright. 
I will do anything for Sigma. Because, yeah, this last war here, what does it matter about reliability? It doesn't. So I'm not going to cancel my treaties with them. I'm going to have armies standing ready to go. Same thing with them, I think. And I'm just going to get ready to fuck them. Fuck them all. Maybe we take every single settlement. Because I got shitloads of money. We just go... This is the biggest, like, Thanos snap, basically. This is where we drop our reliability. Because I'm not going to need it after this. We should still be able to confederate Marcus Wolfhart. Or maybe what I do is confederate Marcus Wolfhart the moment I do this. Before we, um... I'm not, I don't think I need these armies. Gonna need to save up cash for this because I'm probably gonna spend several million on this one. Several million. Yeah. This one's gonna be expensive. Can Wolfhart become too big? He won't confederate. No. No. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about Marcus Wolfhart. All right. Any other enemies? Nothing. Okay. So we just got to get through a few turns, but yeah, I am not going to break my treaties with him. I am just going to straight up stab him in the fucking back. Show me the accused. Same thing with the lizards. Like I said, they're just not going to see this coming. I think I'll have armies even prepared in the Southern Chaos Wastes. We'll just we'll just delete the lizards in one stroke. But what I would like to see is Zinch gone before then. Yes. Have a couple standing armies in North One. Well, that's a huge expense for what is a very big maybe. And they, how many standing armies would I need to have complete coverage in North One? Quite a few. The other alternative, and this is actually cheaper, is just abandon yeah, literally he's... every settlement well, in Ulth one No. And turn them into ruins. That's actually cheaper than having a standing army in Ulth one The next war. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, these guys have recruited. Time to get over there. Guided by Sigma. Because, yeah, we can confederate him now. That's not a problem. If I confederate Ostermark, it'll give me the ability to summon the elect accounts. And it will give me long campaign victory condition. I still feel like I may need them, so I'm just going to keep them for now. You know what's funny? Today I've only fought one manual battle. Just one. So these are all my doom stacks. We'll position them around in key locations where we we'll probably need to fight manually. I don't agree with that. Cause yeah, these ones, they don't lose very easily. Yeah, definitely want to keep an eye on her. So looking at things with Rapance. Military actions against them should go down fairly quickly. Oh, but all the other things will probably not. Do you know what we might also be able to do? Is borrow one of um, Thorak's armies. Not to use against Thorak, though. That's not going to work. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay. This, this will probably take an hour or so to get into position. But when the time does come, big hit. Order agrees. Really big. I'm not even sure if I'm going to need the Witch Hunters. 
Just bring him over there just in case. No downside to that. So yeah, how many settlements does Thoric have? He's got 27. So if I had 27 armies, excuse me, each on one of his settlements, we could afford that. Make sure these settlements are properly defended. Yeah, we should be able to defend that. And then there's the lizards. I'm really hoping Rapunz is going to finish this off real soon. Okay. What orders? Do you think it's the last stream? Yeah, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna finish it today because I'm willing to go up to 12 hours, and I don't think it's going to take me another six to finish this. I think we're. I think we're in the end game. I trust no man. I think. I think we're either going to suffer a defeat in this last. Big push, this no gigantic backstab, or I'm going to win. It's one of the other. Oh, yeah, it's one of the two. Shade Slinger did too. Super chat. Let the war of rock and stone start. Joining late. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate super chat. So yeah, if we've got eleven armies. So does that mean I got eleven doom stacks? Let me go through my armies. Do, do, or do I have like armies that are sitting around somewhere that I'm not aware of? Hang on. No, hang on, hang on. Just count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11. Okay. So I got 9 Doom stacks. The axe thirsts for war. Okay. Alright, time to start recruiting. To Sigma. Because, yeah, this is proven to be really effective against dwarfs. Really, really effective. Okay. And like I said, I am not going to give them any warning. It's just going to come for them. Main thing here is go for his armies. I want to make sure that when I hit Thorek, I, at the, if I can't take all of his territory, I want to make sure I at least take out all of his armies. I don't really care that much about the lizards. Because their economy is shit. And they're not they are not a faction that can use the underway, so they're not particularly special. Um, if I take out this settlement here, uh, not that one, this one here, he won't be able to recruit any more good units anyway. Except for maybe a right of primeval glory army every now and again, but it should be fine. But we'll see how we go. Uh, hopefully as well, they'll be too busy fighting against Rapants. You your... Yeah, she doesn't seem to be focused on, on this at all. Order to serve. Okay. Check if there's more. Nope. Okay, let's move on. Show me the accused. Ready? Greetings from Sigma. No. Rapunz might actually kick them out of the uh, the Chaos Wastes. Just one settlement to go there, Rapunz. Come on, you can do it. I'm rooting for you. I wonder if I should just send an army over here to go do it myself. Because not that far away, I could send just... I would only need Volkmar. And just be done with it. Hmm, I could do that. Volkmar would have no trouble dealing with Zinch's bullshit. Hmm, 
Because Zinja's got a lot of anti-large, not so much anti-infantry, and um, spell spam is not that good. I'd so much prefer it if she sorted that out. Let's just um, let's just keep an eye on things. Yes. I, I think I will still let the AI try to deal with <laughs> with Zinch. Champion of the faith. Now you know what I have decided that I will send Volkmar to Volkmar. to deal with Zinch. I have decided. Sigma has heard my prayers. Okay, so you need to sail over to here. Sigma guides my steps. Show me the yeah. Volkmar is going to finish this off once and for all, but we need to make sure that there's no Lord in here when we do it. Because the AI is just not focusing on him. Alright, everybody else, just get into the positions. I live to serve the Emperor. So I think there's about 40 settlements left to conquer, roughly, in, the name of Magnus. in total. Hey, Legend. Has Legend addressed the new change thing AI changes this stream? No, I, I just don't think it's that important to even talk about it. I just don't care that much. Forward in his name. Hmm. Uh, should we continue recruiting or should I save up a little bit more money? I guess if I need money, I'll just sell territory to Ostermark. How are we going with their fealty? They're at nine. <coughs> um, how's this going over here? Warrior of Sigma, awaiting orders. The Emperor would need to hurry up and get over here before they start pumping out loads of armies, which does happen. All right, moving on. Yep, moving on. You still afraid of Zinch? Yep, absolutely. You should be afraid of Zinch. Zinch is the biggest bullshit faction in the game. Time for rockets and great swords for dwarves, eh? Uh, cannons will do. We don't need rockets. Cannons will do just fine. The Empire. The Empire. Yeah, so basically this would be a good opportunity to attack it when that happens. If I stay out on the water, he can't teleport stance me, so we attack the moment it's it's time to go for it. You know, it's safe to do it. I do not think that Rapance is going to defeat Thorek. If they could, if they could hurt each other, I'm, I'm down for that. By Sigma, going forth. I guess that's the downside of not confederating Marcus, is that my time to, like, get organized there is a lot slower. So? By the Helden setting forth. Yeah, I'm very confident that Vol Volkmar, I think, is actually my strongest army. What does the Emperor bid? We march. Do not waste my potential. Champion of the faith. It is impossible. And we just position these armies around, get ready to launch the attacks. Because, yeah, we're only going to get one shot at this. After we lose our reliability this march, nobody is going to trust us. <laughs> 
We have to. We also have to confederate Marcus Wolfhart the moment that we do this. Well, sorry, the turn before we do this. The turn of doing it, right before we do the action. <laughs> so we're about to confederate Marcus Wolfhart, is what I'm trying to say. And that'll give us enough funds to... Well, we'll see. Because, yeah, Marcus should have a shitload of money. What I'll do is, before I confederate him... If I... If I what if I took... What if I give him Chamber of Visions, right? For 643,000. That might seem like, why bother, right? point of this is that I'm probably going to bleed my economy to the absolute limit. This settlement, it does have a good landmark, but it's fine. Actually, why don't we try this? I got an idea. Why don't we try... Swap... No, 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 just, just do it for money. All right. And then let's see if he still wants to confederate. Okay, he doesn't want to confederate. There's a seven turn cooldown on that now. That's fine. I was just curious. That is fine. I didn't need that landmark right now since I'm not using the hero actions. And I'll just get it back when I confederate him. But yeah, it gave me, got me up to 20 million. Alright, we've got a lot of armies we need to recruit, so we might as well get started. But this order resolve stack seems to work really well, so yeah, just keep it up. Okay, making sure that there's no other enemies that are going to surprise us. Okay. Marcus has a lot of money. Well, that, what's, that's what happens when you have that much territory and you have no armies. <laughs> he has no armies. He just refuses to recruit anything. No, show me the accused. They will be judged. So yeah, we build up a nice big fat war chest, 20 million, and then we go probably 200,000 into deficit per turn. That means you get about 100 turns of finance for your armies, which is not what we need. We only need a handful. Uh, Rapance is not concentrating on the big... Picture. I sh maybe I shouldn't have dragged Thorak into this. Well, oh, that's why I'm sending Volkmar to finish the job. Sigma be praised. Now, for the wisdom of Valea. Iron will. Hey, look, it's um, Thorak's brother, brother uh, Durak Ironbrow. Also, we need to find out how many armies what he's got. So, let's have a look. How many does he have? This will give us an idea of how many I need to have. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, that's that actually has less, uh, fewer armies than what uh, Clan Angrind had. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Ever onward. Protector of the weak. Can you confederate Marcus? Uh, I can't at the moment. I have to wait, I think, six more turns. But I will be able to when the time comes. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. I will go. Champion of the faith. Main thing here is to try to get them before they pop out another army. I don't think I need to do anything else. Just check for any more. Oh yeah, let me just check. Are the regiments of renown back yet? No. Are these? How many do we have? Fuck. I hope nothing shows up. Kind of point. 
this, but whatever. Get some cash. Where are we going? Arch Lecter! Awaiting orders. Yes. Yes. I serve the Helden Hammer. The nation. Imagine calls. getting bugged like Wolfheart after confederating him. I'll, I'll be able to fix that up because all I have to do is hit the uh, respect them, and then they'll they'll. Yeah, I'll be able to fix that up. It's the AI that doesn't know what to do in that situation. Oh shit! Ostermark is at war with them as well. Okay. That's not good. Your word is my command. Protector of the weak. True servant of Sigma. Champion of the faith. Alright, all good. Ready to serve. Is there a limit to global global recruits? Oh my god. Is there a limit to global recruit slots? Yes, it's 30. <laughs> that was just me basically gargling words there. I don't know if these guys here can ambush attack. I don't want to risk it. Protector of the weak. My journey begins. Champion of the faith. Dark, Should move in and camp stands next time. Arch Lecter. Servant of the Faith. Onwards. Soul Stealer. The nation calls. Yep, and Volkmar. It'll be good when we're when we're finally done with Zinch. That's for sure. All right. Are there any other abominations or anything? Let's have a look. No, we're in the clear there. Um. Yeah, okay, moving on. I command here. I'll send Schwartz Helm in my stead. Ready? Not in my name. I refuse. Friends of the Empire. Come. Use commandment to help rogue kill armies. Kill, kill rogue armies. Uh, how? We're not at war with them yet. I can't give commandments. And anyway, Marcus Wolfheart won't move. Oh, oh shit. They saw me coming. They, they wanted to get the jump on it. Nope. Alright, so it looks like they sacked that settlement, and they're trying to make a run for it. I don't know if these guys here can ambush attack. Should probably actually put some levels in this guy here. Might help a little bit. They can't attack him there. Yeah, we want alert. I don't think they can ambush attack, but I just don't know. Uh, Nick Coop did a fifth, uh, 14 pound super chat. Just bought a handyman from Manscaped. 
and this is the money I saved with your code. My 11 year old son asked me why you are called the Legend of Turtle War. I told him it's because you are Australian. <laughs> yep. Yep, fair enough. Thanks for the super chat, dude. Appreciate it. I serve the Heldenhammer. Praise be to Sigma. Why does this guy only have 19 rage, uh, units? I live to serve the Emperor. Must have um deselected one. Most likely can't because they consider a completely separate race. Yeah, I just don't want to risk it. You, you're probably right. You're probably right. Alright, for lizards. Yeah, just use like a couple of these sort of armies for that. They don't see it coming. Instrument of Sigmar's will. See, it kind of looks like he wants to go and attack uh, Marcus Wolfhart here, but he can't. He just can't do it. Look at that. Look at how much experience he's got on these on these recruits that have never seen combat. Wouldn't it be amazing if it somehow could unblock Marcus? That'd just be great. Because they took a lot of damage just taking out that garrison there. Look at that, he's refusing to build anything here. Man, this last stretch is going to be real bloody iffy. Who calls? Yes, no other How strong is Rapant now? I will listen Pretty weak. Okay. Just wish Thorek would actually take wars down here seriously. He just really, truly fucks around. Alright. Alright, no other enemies? I don't think so. When do those regiments of renown come back? They, they must be back now, then. Because, yeah, regiments of renown are sort of like my lifeline. Yeah, okay, they're all back. Except for the Sunmaker. Okay, cool. If they're all back, that means that basically the uh, Vashnar's Conquest can show up in my territory and I don't have to completely shit my pants. Get him down here and we'll, we'll figure out what to do with them shortly, but yeah. Basically, what we want to do, just like, you would do with, uh, just like what we did with Clan Angrind, is spot all of his 11 armies, make sure that they're all pinned down, ready to be fucking killed in one turn, and then he just isn't going to recover them very quickly, and then we'll just put a bunch of armies in the other settlements. Same sort of thing with Krokgar there. Praise Sigma. Step to it! No. Okay. Moving on. I am Prince Let him attack Marcus and see if it frees Marcus up. I don't think he can attack Marcus. I just don't think it's possible. Because I tried to do it. I couldn't do it. Champion of the faith. Speak your mortal words. Greetings, fellow heirs of Sigma. College of Pyrotechnic spawns instead? Oh, uh, that's fine. They're not that difficult to deal with, with Regiments of Renown. I know how to handle them. Blessings of Sigmar upon you. 
Okay, good. We play the great game, not you. Hmm, yeah, if they put armies out in the water like that, why is that? Okay, you're going to Libaris. Okay. Alright, so there's a bunch of armies up this way. Bunch of armies, so... I kind of feel like we should be efficient with that one and send a bunch of warrior priests to sort that out. Two full stacks of warrior priests there will save us a lot of money. I'll have to fight it manually, but that's okay. Gotta fight some battles manually. Now, where's my other warrior priest stack? Not that one. True servant of Sigma. This one here. I will go. Yeah, two armies of warrior priests. I'll need to get a witch hunter here because we'll need a yes, someone to block yes, the action. um uh, uh what's it called? Uh, break down the walls. My God, words are becoming so hard. What's going on? Are you getting brain cancer or something? I will do anything for Sigma. I will not. Protector of the weak. Just keep them coming. Keep them coming. Okay, we've currently got 17 armies, which is more than what Thorak has. The righteous Arch Lecter. Guided by Sigma. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Honestly, when it comes to like someone like Gelt, I think I'll give him something easy to do. Same thing with uh, Karl Franz. Just easy stuff to do for him. Bring me to my men. I will marshal the men. So Karak Zorn. I reckon use this army and a. Actually, I reckon I could go to Lost Plateau with that, and that wouldn't need any more. Because, like, what are what are these gyro bombers gonna do? What are these flame cannons gonna do? Nothing. <laughs> this, oh, that's Thoric though. Do you know what he's gonna do? He's gonna fuck me up. Oh no, his stats aren't that good. We'll fuck him up. Praise Sigma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I got loads of magic, and we'll get some more. I'll I'll, I'll fix that up. They'll be fine. Who calls? As you say, sir. Now. Champion of the faith. Okay, that's fine. And how do we go over here? So they're just uh, trying to build back up again. I feel like running after them. The fact that they declared war on me is a real bother. I don't have any witch hunters around here to block him, do I? Shit, hang on. We've got some in Ulthwan. I can maybe bring them in to help. It is time. The Empire. Seek out the heretics. Seek out the heretics. Damn it, where's all my level 40 ones when I needed them? Okay, there we go, there we go. Yeah, bring him in so we can block him. Alright, and in the meantime, just keep pursuing him. Champion of the faith. I just gotta make sure he can't um, lightning strike me or anything. Uh, I mean ambush attack, I just don't know about them, that's all. Yep, so we position our armies around until we're satisfied to make the huge backstab. Okay, anyone else that... The reason why I'm checking this, just in case there is like an unknown faction that shows up. Which has happened before. After seeing close to a giant screen this long, how is your eyesight so okay? Assuming they're okay. Uh, yeah, I don't see why... Like, I don't have glasses, I can still see what I'm doing. What orders? 
Just is what it is. I got, I got good eyesight. My dad said that his eyesight started going at around 40, which I'm getting close to. So maybe, maybe when I turn 40, that's when my eyesight will go. Because it was turn 30. That's not turn 30. It's 30 when my hair started to go. Yeah, that's it. Interested in Godzilla x Kong, the new empire? Ugh, not really. No, oh, they're moving their armies around. Warrior of Sigma. I live Wait, to serve where's my other warrior priest army? Where did I put what it? does the emperor bid? Sigmarite Arch Lector. Ever oh, there he is. Um, I go where I am needed. Okay. I think he's trying. <gasps> Did you know that if we fight this battle here right now and lose, Hans Marshall, like Marcus Wolfhart, will be pushed out of the settlement? Obviously, that would be the end of the campaign. But... I go where I am needed. Mm, this guy's moving much slower pace than the other guy. Lightens my steps. True servant of Sigma. Not possible. Guided by Sigma. The funny thing here is that if I don't if I can't fight that in order resolve, I can't win that manually because we're bringing a lot of Anti-infantry against anti-large. All right, I'm gonna need to bring another army there. I think these fucking abominations. And I got that is that is seriously bloody strong. Do you know what I could also do? I can peace out with them and just follow them around. And then wait out for the peace treaty, and then attack them. I think that's what I'll do. I'll just follow them around. They'll likely just sit here trying to attack Marcus Wolfhart in the meantime. Alright, I'm gonna recruit another army from here to go deal with that. That is such an annoying fucking army. Holy crap. And you just, Indeed. like, somewhere down here where you can yes, sort of have a, a bit of a holiday. Praise be to Sigma. Ever vigilant. For the wisdom of Valea. Servant of the faith. By Sigma. Champion of the faith. Okay, all good. Just got to figure out what we're doing here. Moving off. It is for the best. Protector. Yeah, just got to figure out what we're doing. Okay, there's no new ones, right? Yeah, and we should have all of our regiments of renown and stuff back now. So if another rogue army shows up, should be able to manage it. Okay, we also need to move Volkmar. Can't forget about his mission. Sigma. Pretty important mission. His mission is to kill Zinch. What? Is it time? Okay. I think that's all we need to do. Let's move on. Champion of the faith. 
Warrior of Sigma. Warrior of Sigma. Yeah, Kairos, you keep sending small armies out to get killed by Rapunz. That sounds great to me. You're totally close to 40, but from which side? I'm not sure what you mean. You might be able to unstuck Marcus if you pull him into battle with the rogue army and let him die. Um, no, no, he has to actually lose the battle for that to happen. Protector of the weak. True servant of Sigma. Yeah, I'm just gonna here to serve. Wait for these guys to catch up. As you say, show me the accused. Cause yeah, that is that is pretty friggin' serious. And great swords, yeah, they'll kill the Forsaken easily enough. But look at all this stuff; they'll do nothing against that. If we don't win an order resolve, we're in big trouble. So that's why I brought the halberds as well. Because we only get one shot at it. This will bolster the nation. So this army yes. here should be fine to take out Thora, because this is just—I just don't think it's a problem. Are these on horseback? No, good. I don't want them on horseback. Oh, you're on the Griffin. Uh... We'll, we'll see about that. Alright, you can move over here. Still got a lot more armies we need to recruit. The great thing about this is that Thorak just doesn't suspect a thing. So he's not going to make any preparations for it. And when we're, everyone's in position, just fucking kill him. Just not gonna expect True it. Servant of Sigma. All right, My where are where's Toddy? Sigmarite Arch Lector. There's Toddy. Ready to serve. I serve the Helden Hammer. Honored to serve. Statecraft is the folly of the doomed. That fucker can come back. By Sigma, protector of the weak. Now, hell to the fuck, no! <laughs> hell, hell, no! No, 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 no. Yeah. Fuck off. Get the fuck out of here. Oh my god. Hell to the no. You are not coming back. The Empire. As is my right by Sigma's crown. <laughs> Wow, talk about some bullshit. That fucker could come back. I will cast out all evil. I go in his name. Alright, I it just need to see. The nation calls. Okay, there's Kairos. You ruffle feathers. Holy crap. Yeah, deceivers, no. No, 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 you can't come back. No, not allowed. Yeah, you need to move a bit faster. I will do anything for Sigma. Shouldn't be any pirates around I here. Trust no man. Yeah, no, I know where all the pirates are. That's fine. Yeah, those are down south. Oh, there, that's fine. Yeah, I really wish Marcus Wolfheart would do something about this. 
Alright, I have done everything that I can this turn. We are recruiting. Yep. Awaiting yep, 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 yep. Uh, it may be a good idea to start preparing our armies down here as well. What are we going to do about that? Well, let's just let's just see how we go first. All right, we got loads of money. We don't have to panic. Just keep keep on recruiting, because I'll be able to free up some funds once I get rid of this idiot here. That that throws a real spanner in the works. If I make the attack on them within the next nine turns, which I, I will, I'll just attack them as well. But yeah, we need to be careful. I just I'm not confident about this situation here with them. Yeah, I'm not confident about it. Servant of the faith. Is there defense in Port Ellisor? Yes, I put defenses in those areas. Yes. Because he found out the change thing and come back. Yeah, well look, at least he came back in a position where I could attack him. So that's that's fine. Protector of the weak. Arch Lector! Cause yeah, there's there's been an increasing number of rogue armies and horde factions coming back over the past few turns. Ah crap. I mean what's he gonna do? Teleport stance on me with that? That's not gonna work. Sigma. Oh, fuck. With that much winds of magic, he could literally just use... Orders. Yeah. Shit. I'm not in the right time. Go back over here. I gotta wait for the right time to strike. It has to be when Kairos is, isn't there. I need to buy a bit more time before doing that. Yeah, now is not the time. Show me the accused. It's too much of a risk. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. I will do uh, yeah, you guys should be fine to fight Lamia. I kind of wish they had more units there. More armies. Alright, did anybody else come back? Nope. That's good. How's things going with the pants? You have no right to Slowly improving. She's getting over all the bullshit that we did. She hasn't made any ground back over here. Praise be to Sigma. I go where I'm needed. <laughs> Awaiting orders. Seek out the heretics. So this guy here, he'll have 83% chance of blocking. Hunt them out. That's what we need. So floating pyramid's got a fair bit of defenses. He he might actually win against um the abominations there. And that that'll be good if he can manage that. Okay. So, follow me. Ready. Arch Lecter. So I think we'll need two of these armies. The axe first is the deal war. With that, maybe. Not sure. Huh? Get another army. Champion of the faith. Legend of Total Chicken. Well, Legend of Total has done 14 episodes of this and doesn't want to lose on the last final stretch. <laughs> you know, we're so close to finishing. And it's the last unknowns that's going to get us. There's no room for recklessness. We have so much resources at our disposal. Be patient, wait for the right time. We've got plenty of time today. Making more money might help. <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, yeah. 
Right, it doesn't seem like there's any other enemies. If you get Marcus into a battle and let him get some of his units wiped out, he might be Im might embed. Oh, uh, yeah, but how am I going to do that though? That's the problem. I see. I see where you're coming from, but how? Like, yes, that would work, but how would we actually make that happen? That's the problem, because I would need to lure an enemy specifically to Marcus, and how? Just how are we going to do that? So I think we need to wait one more turn, let him go out that way, before I do that. Because if he sees that I'm threatening his last settlement, he goes straight back over there. Like I said, I need to attack that settlement when they, they don't have fucking unlimited Winds of Magic spellcasters in there. Alright, good stuff. Marcus sorted it out without me. Good I stuff. Serve Sigma. True servant of Sigma. A lot of money spent for nothing, Sigmarite and Archie. everything worked out. All good. Hammer, yes. All good. Thank fuck for the Marcus there. Aren't you glad we didn't confederate him? No, legend, we want you to lose. <laughs> Alright, so what are you doing? Protector of the weak. Praise be to Sigma. Following Sigma's path. All right, we got two armies for this. We got forty-five grand we can spend. What? What? Set forth. Protector of the weak. All right, so where do we want to keep recruiting armies from? What about over here? Yeah, see, I got defenses over here. And we've got, you know, we can see what's going on. But yeah, I'm still trying to get armies into position to attack Thoric. So let's get another one from over here. True servant of Sigma. You should borrow a Thoric army, go into battle, and make sure everyone is killed so Thoric becomes weaker. No. Interesting idea. We'll borrow an army soon. I'll be able to borrow one fairly soon. And what I'll do is I'll just sit on it, and it should bleed his economy out a little bit. If I sell him a region for all of his... his rem Actually, let me see if he's got like a huge Our treasury. will be inscribed in Klinkaroon. He's got a lot of treasury, so it would take a while to bleed out his economy completely. So it may not work. Right, so never yield. Doesn't matter if we take attrition getting here, but just let Kairos go out this way another turn or so. Yeah, we just really need to have him keep moving out. Imagine if that's all the military he can actually afford now. Just keep on pumping out these armies, position them in places that's going to hurt Thorak the most. Okay, so this one here and where's Toddy? It is time. Your word is my command. Awaiting orders. Sigma lightens my steps. So I want the two Empire Captain Sigma armies to stick Arch together. Vector. Praise be to Sigma. Keep sending more armies down south because that's where we're. Protector it takes us the longest to get to. Cool. All right, all right. Okay. Any more factions to deal with? It would be good if we could get a bit of a reprieve from that for a few turns, because they've been stressing me the fuck out. Have I seen the Bullet Train starring Brad Pitt? I don't think I've seen that movie. I look old, Sag. Yeah, I know. 
It's the beard. If I shave the beard, I look like I'm 20. Sort of. <laughs> 20 but balling. Seek out the heretics. Tools of judgment ready. Okay. Doesn't matter if he's taking a minor settlement. What if you aren't? Come. Nope. White armored Kossars with Kislev warriors around. Sorry, white armored Kossars now with Kislev warriors around. I don't know. If you want to get them, you can get them. There are they are better units. They're just more expensive, and it's up to you. Champion of the faith. I barely ever recruit them, so I don't know. Don't don't look to me for an excuse to get them, because I won't give you one. True servant of Sigma. I live to serve the Emperor. Praise be to Sigma. Champion of the faith. Okay. You ruffle feathers. So if we look at this, seek out the heretics. If we look at this. Now, if I start making my way here, Kairos will be able to get back before I can launch the attack on the goddess crater. God, I keep on the goddess crater. So I need him. Just one more turn. Go in this direction. You go in this direction one more turn, and you won't be able to get back in time to stop me. Defender of the faith. Moving out. Just one more turn. In that direction. Here to serve. Praise be to Sigma. So probably need like three armies in order to resolve there. So that should do it. Although... Yeah. <laughs> no, you're not keeping those. <laughs> you're not keeping those. You fuck. Alright, I need you to generate some wins while we're waiting. What orders? By Sigma. Your word is my command. Okay, that's fine. Check for new enemies. All good. All good. Alright, so hopefully he keeps going in this direction. Greetings from Sigma. No. Probably could go back to war with um, with Rapants now. It should be fine. What happened there? Oh, the Green Knight's back. That's weird. I saw him up in the other area pretty recently. I didn't see where Zinch moved. Maybe he didn't move at all. Shit, he didn't. You Legend just sail in ambush towns. What? Alright, anyone else good? Every turn that someone doesn't show up, I feel happy. Ordered to serve. Ever onward. Ready to serve. Alright, let's put two armies in Mahrak. And keep going. The answer to attend Elizabeth said, Hey Legend, got to go back to work, but I love the streams. I'll watch the rest on the VOD. Good luck, you got this. Alright, thanks dude, appreciate that. Good luck with work as well. Alright, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. 
this one. Okay, yep. Okay. I will marshal the bed. Protector of the weak. I live to serve the Emperor. Even though we don't have spell castings in this army, I think that Winds of Magic still matters a little bit. Servant of the Faith. Guided by Sigma. I will go. I will go. Actually, you come back over here. You can handle that. Guilt, you're going to get something easy. I command here. What? I guess the problem here is that he doesn't see much incentive to go over to here at the moment. I will hear your plea only Rapunz is I'm getting wrecked by Thorak. My knowledge is yours. Because uh. yeah, I'd get to here, and then he would get to here. And then I would get to here, and then he'd get back. Because the problem here is that he has fucking unlimited winds of magic, and he'll just keep using the, the the Zinch attack, and I have no flying unit, so I won't be able to take him out of the sky. So he has to spend one turn going in this direction. If he doesn't do that, I can't attack him. Praise be to Sigma. Alright, did we recruit another Yeah, we recruit another army. Money's going down, but that's okay. We got 20,700,000. That's going to keep us going for a real long time. Okay, no new enemies. Just double check things. Okay. How many armies do I have active? 21. That means we've got 20 dealing with Thorax army. But there's plenty of their armies that just are not spotted yet. So we've still got more work to do there. We need to make sure all of his armies have somebody. At least all of his armies in the southern continent of Southern Chaos Waste. You need to make sure all of his armies have one of our guys ready to hit. Then pretty hard. And we're going to hit the dinosaurs as well. Yeah, there's still a lot of armies we need to make. Keep, keep going. Like like I said, if we were making minus 200,000, it would take 200, sorry, 100 turns to run out of money. Another thing that we could do Welcome, oldest friend is of the stab Empire. him in the back and then maybe peace out. Yeah, I don't think he'll do that. Oh wait, he just moved in the right direction, didn't he? He just moved in this direction, didn't he? Mine, 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 mine. Okay. Now, here we go. Because now he'll take one turn to get back here. Then I'll be here. And I'll turn to get back here. Then I attack him. Order resolve, hopefully. And then. Well, no, no, no. I just take the godless crater. And blow it up or something. I don't know. Here's our chance. Hopefully he's on his way here, and he doesn't double back over this way. Hopefully. Who calls? Bring me to my men. Let us begin. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. All right, cast the bar. Let's start doing some more recruiting down here. You can conquer the Southern Chaos Waste with one army. That's very risky, though. Ever onward. 
I will do anything for Sigma. Yeah, what I'd be able to do here is attack it with this army, and then this one could reinforce here with whatever's left of it. So I can use it in two battles. But then again, there's still more armies over here that need to be um, Arch Lector. just need to get to. I serve Sigma. His will be done. Ready? And it just takes time. We're we'll probably be in the red uh, as of the next turn or so. The but like I said, it'll take us forever to run out of money. And if I need buffers, I could just confederate Marcus Wolfheart would give us a lot of money. We'll see. It gives a lot of income, I mean. Is he ready to confederate again? Yeah, he's ready to go. But like I said, we do this the moment it's time to make the attack. Because that way at least we'll have Volkmar protecting this area. Because I'll immediately recruit an army here. I'll have Volkmar protecting this. And hopefully what will happen now is that Zinch just gets killed by well, Kairos. I mean, gets killed out here and then just can't recruit another army. Because this is nothing left. That's what I'm hoping. Do not waste okay, moving on. Potential. So what's Kairos doing? If we don't see him, that means he, does, he isn't running back. He didn't run back, which means we're home free to take that settlement off him. Yeah, he went and captured another settlement from Rapance, I think. Save a little bit of money on the recruits. Okay, whatever. Oh, they must have... Alright, they've peaced out, that's fine. So yeah, Kairos is currently over here with a relatively small oh, army. I want to see what's going on here. You And you got no hope of getting back here in time. No hope. All right, that's that's really good. What we'll do here is we'll blow it up and then occupy it so that it's a ruin. That way, if anyone occupies it, pfft, no battle. The nation calls. Yes, to unite the provinces. What do you want? It's good if they want to bring armies in a closer concentration. That works for me. Champion of the faith. Sigma compels us. Yeah, we still need loads more armies over here. This is going to put us in the red. So now we're basically on the clock. Where? <coughs> excuse me. I can't dilly dally too much. You know, a bit. You know, about a hundred turns. We're going to be in the red next turn. That's okay. That's okay. Got plenty of resources, plenty of time. Yeah, make sure... Make sure, like, these armies are in position to strike at the enemy armies. I am ready. Are you? I serve the Helden Hammer. I am in ascent. Ever vigilant. Mm-hmm. Okay, most of their armies are spotted now. We just need a little bit more. Like, there's no one over here. Someone needs to go deal with that. My axe thirsts for war. Thorax seems to be really chilling out at the moment. And that is fine by me. Okay, here we go. So we're finally going to have a battle against Zinch. Who among all the enemies you have faced has possessed in general the strongest armies to fight against? Kislev? Definitely Kislev. That was... That was... The closest I've ever come to a defeat, I think, was that battle yesterday. With Karl Franz. That was a very tough fight. Like, I... 
I did my absolute best in that battle. Are you going to make a joke about executing Order 66? We've already made plenty of jokes of that throughout this campaign. Oh wow, that's a big concentration of armies there. And as I've said before, I kind of want these guys here. Oh, that's fine. Wait, what was that? Oh shit, I've only got 19. Did anyone see where Kairos went? By the comet. Onwards. If I had to guess, I'd they say he kept going out this way. No. Is that where heretics lurk? This has all or did he get wounded? That can't be right. Well, he's not here. Anyway, we're a little bit damaged. We're probably gonna have to fight this manually, but it's gotta be done. Oh, shit! Okay, shit, I thought I'd have to oh, manually resolve it. So that way, that way, there is no battle that can be had, so I don't have to worry about that so much. He is, he's got, he's got nothing left now. We'll send Volkmar across through here and just ruin dwell and just keep blowing up settlements and ruin dwelling it. Uh, there's still another warrior priest. I didn't think I could auto resolve that, especially considering we're taking some attrition, but hey, good stuff. So... Frickin' Eckhold is over here, just assassinating whenever he feels like it. Oh, actually it wasn't him, it was this one, wasn't it? No yeah, other. level 50, what am I supposed to do? So, I want Carl Francis to kind of chase this dude here. Onwards. Yes. Move. Oh, that's a big concentration of armies. Yeah, that's, that's a big concentration of us. Alright, so these ones here, I want them to deal with Granite Massive. And we'll send like two great sword armies for this. Alright, we're in the red. Like I said, we got about a hundred turns. A hundred turns is a long time for, until we're like truly bankrupt. Because I'm willing to go down to negative 200,000. After that point, we make the attack, basically. <laughs> Losing 200,000 gold per turn. That's insane. The instrument of Sigmar's will. Alright. Check for more bullshit. I'm not seeing any. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Okay, no bullshit. Yeah, and I just, I don't know. What happened to Kairos? Maybe, sometimes I find that they go around the other way. The thing is, I'm so much more powerful than him. It, it might not even register on the, um, the balance of power scale. It might just be the tiniest little sliver. Or, he did actually get wounded. In which case, we need to hurry up and get rid of him. Don't bother taxing it, obviously. Recruit a unit to replace the priest for auto resolve power. Nah. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Ah, oh, maybe. Maybe we'll see. Thing is, I'm recruiting elsewhere. So, they, yeah, the only way they can bloody stop me is with agent actions. Which of the Warriors of Chaos can't be brought back? Festus and... Uh, Festus and... Um, Village. What does the Emperor bid? Protector of the oh, weak. Alright, um... Yes, a sound plan. I now have enough... Allegiance points to borrow one of his armies. 
Looks like we're gonna need a big concentration over here. Now, Where did Thorit go? For the wisdom of Valea. Okay. Come down here. Praise be to Sigma. I go where I'm needed. It's kind of good that they're pulling all their armies in one location. Well, in several smaller locations. Praise be to Sigma. Oh crap! This guy's actually down here. Archlector. Archlector. Are you still going to do Warhammer 3 Disaster Battles after the stream, or are you taking a break? Are there still be videos? Yeah, there'll be videos returning probably as of tomorrow. Probably. Possibly. We'll see how we go. Alright. Alright. So what are you doing? Bye, Sigma. I think you should go back up north. Following Most of his armies are up here. Ready to serve. I think you should be up there where their armies are as well. Okay. Yes. Moving. We'll definitely need to try to move in and camp stance a little bit. Because I wasn't going to make it to here anyway. So, step to it. I will turn my gaze on you. My order agrees. Forward. Hmm. No sign of him. Yes. Step to it. Moving off. So that's probably easy win. That one there, not an easy what? win, but definitely doable. Um, these guys here should be able to take that on, no problem. They should be able to take that on. Uh, you need to be spotting an army, so come over here. True servant of Sigma. Sigmarite Arch Honestly, things are looking pretty good. I think we're, I mean, we've got 25 armies now. I mean, we could use a few more. But it's coming along. Alright, any new enemies? Double check. No, okay, keep going. Tomorrow last episode? No, man, today is the last episode. It's going to be a long one today. I reckon we've got about maybe three more hours until we're finished. Good, Echo of Hellbrass failed. Please don't assassinate, please don't assassinate anymore. Because as long as they don't wound my friggin' Um Greetings from Sigma. Oh, called? Life Wizard. Should be fine. Check allied mission. Hmm, let's have a look. There's um I've got no missions from anyone. By the Heldenhammer. You know what, this settlement here, I can always just come back and get that. It's way more important that we keep Bobby fucking uh Kairos Sigma. up. Way more important. Some backup life wizards. Praise no, we're fine. If he look, if he lost his life wizard, I just pull him away from combat and wait for it to re recover. Um, what we could also do is maybe put some bodyguards on him so that he's got um, reduced enemy agent success chance on him. So he's got yeah, look, he's got we got ten percent there. Let me just see what else there is. Okay, I got so many. Thug. No. It's 
Smuggler? You can have that. Don't think there's another one. This is called Bodyguard or something. Let me just see if I got a B. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, okay. Grab that. Bone picker. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so we've reduced their chances of uh, of potentially wounding him. And he's level 50, so it it shouldn't happen. But you know, I'm sure it's not zero percent chance of being wounded. All right. You summon me. Valiant Lord. Ready to serve. I've also just realized that I don't have to declare war on Crocar just yet. Because I, he's not allied with them. He'll he should side with me. Even if I lose reliability. I don't have to kill him just yet. I can just, it just means I can do this a little bit sooner if I can free up a little bit more resources. Like these three armies. What, what are you doing? Protector of the weak. That's right. I live to serve the Emperor. Your word is my command. Champion of Like, he'll the probably the cancel his treaties Sigmar. with me. But well, that'll take a few turns to so? take into effect. Okay, this one Servant goes up here, faith. and Protector of the weak. this, where are you? This one comes down here. All right, two armies dealing with essentially four is a bit risky, what? so we should probably have a backup one there as well, just in case they get worn out. Order to serve. And like I said, we still got heaps of money. There's no reason we have to start this war just yet. So Kairos is on his absolute last leg. We ca we captured the Sin Hall monolith. It's that's it. He's over. Tools of judgment ready. I serve the lady. All right. Any more dickheads show up? Nope. Good. It's been a nice long time since any of them have shown up. So all of our regiments of renown and other units should be back. Oh yeah, I said I would consider Defender doing this. Let me just check here. Good, they're all back. So yeah, if Vashnar's conquest shows up, we can do something about it. All right, what would yeah, just for order resolve power, fine, no problem. All right, moving on. Champion. Limited global recruits really hurts the high elves. Yeah, but they have fast global recruit time. But yeah, I I, I hear what you're saying. Another reason why you shouldn't go down the bloodline of an Aryan. It limits the amount of number of um you miss out on two global recruit slots. Bloodline of an Aryan is truly an awful choice. Yeah, damage building is fine. I mean the settlement is a ruin anyway, so that's pointless. Are you gonna occupy? Are we done with Zinch? Ah oh, Zinch is fucking gone! Zinch is finally gone. Oh my god, he's finally gone. Oracles, that means there's no disorder factions left. Alright, well, I'm not looking to pick a fight with Rapance, so let's just ruin dwell this. I mean, I'm not looking to pick a fight with her just yet. Oh, that is so much relief. I can't believe how long it took. <laughs> to finally took it, take him out. He's, oh my god, he's finally gone. 
Alright. I do have a lot of magic. Arch Lector! I will go. Ever vigilant. So how many armies do you reckon we need for this? Do you think f yeah, four should be fine because what we'll do is besiege the settlement Sigmar. and attack that other army. I live to serve the Emperor. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay, do you know what we're gonna do now? We're gonna borrow an army from Thorak. Yeah, this one here, I'm gonna borrow this. Summon me if you And we're just gonna we're just gonna wait here fire. for a moment. Oh uh, yeah, and um I'm also going to borrow your army as well. Okay, the reason for this is that it should fuck up his economy. But also... Now, does he have any treaties with the lizards? Uh, Seismon Mikolajek uh, became a member for one month. Appreciate that, dude. Um, hello and good luck. Most noob-friendly Skaven or Vampire Coast? Noob-friendly? Those are both not noob-friendly factions, so... I am not sure. Sorry. But I appreciate the membership. The nation called yeah, both of those factions are not noob-friendly. Okay, noob-friendly. Okay, maybe go uh, Noctilus for noob-friendly for uh, Vampire Coast. Alright, let's get another army over here. So Thoric is just focused now on Rapance, I think. Yeah, they still. Do you know who I am? Yeah, they still hate each other. Oh shit! You're supposed to keep an eye on that dude over there. Is it time? I see no other option. So looking at things as they are at the moment. That one, dead. Dead. Pretty sure it's dead. 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 Okay. Actually, let's send some of these guys around to just occupy minor settlements. Because we definitely want to wreck him his territory as much as possible, as quick as- like, we, there's a fair few territories down here where we don't have any armies. What orders? Ah, yeah, you go back over this way. Moving out. Knowledge is power. Alright, that looks good. Alright, any new factions? Oh, cool, I don't even have to scroll there anymore. That is awesome, but we should still check this way. There are only a hand... Oh yeah, that's right, right. As soon as we do this... We should probably declare war on Rapance again as well. Of the realm. Yeah, it's not urgent. Okay, I think we're going to do this in the next few turns. For the wisdom of Valea. Right. It's pretty funny what we're going to do to this guy. Basically, going to isolate him and then kill him. <laughs> it's, it's going to be pretty funny. Oh, here we go. We're, we're in the last few turns here before the big backstab. Friends of the Empire, come. Don't forget to confederate Marcus first. Yep, you're absolutely right. I will do that. Actually, maybe we should confederate. No, no, no. Just wait. Okay, this one here. Just, just chill. Come down south. Just chill for a little bit. Here to serve. Protector of the weak. Almost ready. Your word is my command. Forward. In his name. 
Going for. How do the lizards feel about me? I don't want to give them any money. Warrior of Sigma. Moving out. I think that's enough to handle the situation here. Summon the Elector Counts. Leave Crocker for a last. He's the last Dinos defender after all. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we'll see. Ready. I think with these settlements down here, we should just. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing with that actually. Because yeah, as soon as we declare war, this army's gonna come up this way pretty bloody quick. He's gonna be very angry. But we're almost ready to go. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Krokar is starting to disband units, including a, uh, a great cannon that he had. Praise be to Sigma. We're on the last stretch here, guys. All right, where are we, re where are we recruiting? One more army. All right. Good, this guy came back. Okay, get to mount. That's all. You get to here. Oh, that's right. You get rid of this. Orders. It will be done. Sigma heals us. DC did a five pound super chat. Hi, Legend. Has this slog of a campaign given you any new or surprising insight as to which factions are particularly strong or weak on the battlefield? Yeah, pretty much Kislev. Kislev's super strong. Thanks, super chat. Appreciate it. All right. I don't even think we need any more armies. I think we have enough. Everyone's in position. We're ready to go. Next turn, that is. Maybe one more army here, just because I'm a little bit iffy about that. Just a little bit. Sigma. Okay, next turn. Next turn, it's time. We confederate Marcus Wolfhart, and we fucking backstab the world. This is it. So, if we have a look at things, there are three What's factions up? that we need to eliminate. Just three. Oh, actually... You know what? We could probably use a defensive army over here. I reckon Halberds would be the way to go. To repel Halberds and guns. To repel possible Lizardmen invasions. Like, we'll try to block them or whatever, but that'll be the place where they will strike first. If they betray us, which could happen. But yeah, this is it. Turn 388. Here we go. This is it. This is what you guys have been waiting for. The biggest backstab. Yes. Alright. This is it. Do you have oversight on Rapace's armies? No, it doesn't matter though. She's weak. I cannot. Like, these settlements have been fought over so much, it's all just going to be tier 1 stuff. And her strength ranking is obliterated. She's also still at war with, um... With Thorek. So, she's totally fucked. Alright, here we go. Alright, the first thing, Confederation. What? What? Relative faction strength. What? Oh, we have to get the confederation first. It'll happen. It'll happen. We just gotta wait until it actually rolls it. It's just weird. I, I don't know what happened. Alright, so it's not this turn. It was freaking available last turn ish. The righteous hammer of Sigma. Yeah, her economy is absolute rubbish. Oh, I tell you what we do, we get a trade agreement with her. And stuff. That'll piss off Thorak though. Yeah, do it later. We have to wait for the Confederation. 
overflow. <laughs> Maybe I've got too many armies. Servant of the faith, honored to serve. Going forth. Forward, in his name. Yes. Alright, well, we have to wait another turn. You might need an enemy. Approach and state your affairs. Reparts, then. He's not at war with Reparts. And I can declare war on her again. There is much to discuss, I assume. I think you might be right. What are the proposals? Alright, well, let's get Volkmar into position so that he can strike at the monolith place. What? Following Sigmar's path. We shouldn't have any trouble dealing with this. The instrument of Sigmar's will. Yes, All right. for now. I think you're right, he has no enemies. That's the problem. Alright, where are we gonna recruit another army? I am Prince and Emperor. In the name of Magnus. Is that a big old bloody loop? I actually don't need any more armies. True servant of Sigma. Yeah, I actually don't need any more armies. Alright. Yeah, I think you're right about that report stuff. Make Marcus go to war with Thoric first and then try to confed. To Sigma. Well, we'll, well, I tell you what we'll do. We'll we'll see if it'll work against Rapance first. We'll declare war on Rapance. He should go to war with her. See if that changes things. What matters do you? All right, think? we have to go to war with Rapance. We're not going to take a reliability hit from this because it's been a few turns. We can reach this as my dude back. Yeah, but he's not going to catch up. All right. Declare war and repants. Drag everyone into it. I cannot. Okay, then let's check with Marcus Wolfhart. You were right. Um, Matey did a $5 super chat. Reichland, fuck yeah, coming again to save the motherfucking day, yeah. Pretty much. Thanks for the, the, the super chat, dude. It's loading. Oh, do you know what I should have done? I should have sold a region to him. Oh no, but then he wouldn't have confederated. It's happening, guys. It's happening. Okay, so if we have a look over... Oh, look, Marcus got pushed out of the way. Is all. And there's his heroes, which... Marcus Wolfhart. Yeah, they can't move. So what we have to do here is just... Just with one of them, maybe even both... Do this. So that she basically can recover in the right location. My deeds are legend. Okay, he can come in. Right, Marcus. Marcus. Oh, look at that. The finances aren't too bad now. To Wouldn't it be funny if this was a turn when a friggin' thing shows up? It isn't. This is wise. Yeah, I thought that would be the case. I'm really not worried. They don't have... Oh, they've got a couple strong characters here. But they don't have life magic. So I will fight this. We'll do this now. Yep. Watch Nakai sport somewhere and he said declare war. Okay, so on that regard, 
when a faction respawns, they respawn at the beginning of your turn, so they haven't had their diplomatic chance to do that. This is why it's so important to destroy them the turn they spawn. Okay, we just want to preserve your balance of power. I don't want you actually getting involved. From a twin tailed comet. Let the woods awaken. How do I fight battles again? I feel like it's been years. <laughs> yeah, they've got a few strong characters. But I, I don't think. Uh, when we're popping down this shit, I don't think they're going to stand much of a chance. And the rest of their army just dwells below them. Actually, you know what? It might be a good idea to have them chase after my wizard. I know, we'll see. Oh yeah, and also we've got the Nordland Runefang here. Really good item. I always forget about that. Offering battle prayers. Volkmar the Grim. They're not shooting at my wizard because there's a better target. Interesting. Throw it! Swiftly! Throw it! Wow, this guy's fast. Lol. Yeah, who cares about that unit? Close defeat, huh? Honestly, this unit is not doing that bad against the cavalry there. Well, it's nice of the realm. They're anti-large. And these are anti-infantry. And they're not armor-piercing, and we are, so... I don't know. Maybe I got to the okay. There was no real threat. We didn't even lose this unit. Yeah, it was no threat. We have shitloads of magic as well. We could have taken on two full stacks like that. So they ended up doing yeah, not too bad. Yeah, the life wizard is MVP, obviously.
Now, it's really important that we blow up the settlement and then recolonize it so that there's just no garrison there whatsoever. Because, yeah, we might actually be able to conquer the entire Chaos Wastes with just Volkmar the Grim. But I don't want any army, like, running around him and going for a minor settlement battle. Fuck that. Don't, don't give it to them. So this will probably make us fall back a bit. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just recolonize it next turn. No big deal. Okay. Now, here's the next thing that we need to do. See, this one here. Um, yeah, no heroes for you, please. <laughs> no heroes. Okay, then I want you to be on Force March. <laughs> okay. Now, I want you to get killed by this army here. I'll probably fight it manually. But yeah, you stay... You stay right there. We <laughs> move. <laughs> okay. All right, are we ready to do this? I think I am. Greetings, son of Sigma. Oh, I can't be going to war with Ostermark. I've got to get him to stop that. Okay, so 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 here's what I need to do. I need to get him to cancel that alliance. Um, so break your military lines with Ostermark. You need 103 points. That's fine. I'll get you anywhere, any city, any city you want. Death Gorge, fine. Wow, that's huge. Give me all your money. Woo! Death Gorge, it is. Yeah, I don't care about this. Oh, that's not important anymore. You seek the favor of Iron Peak. I'm listening. Okay, break your military lines with this one. And then also... Give me all your money. Oathbound! <laughs> what brings then... you to my mighty forge? Fuck off! Bugroth! <laughs> so we bring the last defenders into it. They're probably not too happy about this. Champion of the faith. Can you confederate Ostermark? I can. Uh, soon. Heldenhammer. So All right. I may need to fight I this battle manually, right. but I put him in M. I put him in Force March stance. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, come on. Okay, we're. This this won't be a problem, but it, it's it's dwarves versus heroes. You know these have not performed well in order resolve in this campaign. It's fine. But there we go. We've tanked. It's it's happening now. It's total war time. We're actually not at war with the lizards, but we will be very soon. <laughs> Any change you do a Rome 2 stream for variety? Uh, no. No, no chance of that. Ready for war! The Empire endures! Okay, we need to be getting into the forest there because otherwise all their missile units are going to be a problem. Yeah, if they want to keep shooting at this dude, that is not a problem. Hmm. Yeah, that does a lot of damage. That way they can't see us approaching. Um, right, dudes. Get in the forest. Surprise! Wait for a bigger clump to show up. That looks good. Let's do it now. There's 
They're probably doing more damage to their own units that way. <laughs> They're bombing their own units. Fine by me. I don't care. Uh, too much damage, too much damage. The... Take the ground. Get out of there. Faster. Go. On way. My door The um, Iron Drake's Torhammer torpedoes are doing quite a lot of damage. Getting them in melee. Done. That's actually done a fair bit of damage to our guys, but I'm not worried. We can still heal plenty. And they're running out of ground troops. Right, how about I bet you go sort this out? Go for this one, go for this one. No, I didn't get it with the Tormentor Sword. What I've just done is like a hundred times worse than the Red Wedding. We were like fully mil military allies. I had this army under my control and I put it in a position that I could just kill it. Right, we need to get a bit of healing in because we are not done yet. Where are the Iron Drakes running into melee? Uh, what happens in Warhammer 3 is that if they don't have a good target, like if they don't have a good line of sight, they'll go into melee. The AI is dumb. Alright, that'll do. Oathbreaker. Oh yeah, big time. Big time. Now we don't need reliability to confederate Ostermark either. The short wedding. <laughs> Loved it when Legend said it's total wartime and total water all over the place. Yeah, that's what we're doing here.
protector of the weak. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. <laughs> Couldn't move close enough. What orders? Sigmarite Arch Lecter. This should be an order resolved to just get rid of Thoric. Good defeat trait for this stuff. Alright, how bad's the damage? Acceptable. Yep. A lot of damage, though. So yeah, I'm glad I recruited as many armies as I did. Sigma is with us. Oh wait, Thorik's there! Holy the shit! Empire. Okay. So that was Thorik. Let's see if this makes any difference. Evil out. All right. If we bring this what guy in, it be? should order resolve Elden for Hammer. us. How bad's the damage, though? Look, as long as none of the heroes die, I don't really care. Can fight this battle manually, but let's just see how we go. Crushing defeat. War calls. True servant of Sigma. True servant of Sigma. I don't think that army's coming into assist, so yeah, I would have to fight that manually, I think. Ready to serve. Bring me to my men. Uh, give Kasabar over to. It's good to see fellow sons of the Empire this day. How much do you hate me? No, you're fine. All of the settlements will be transferred. Or thanks. Sigma's will. All the settlements on the front line will be transferred over to Ostermark because we are going to just confederate them at the end here. And I don't, I don't want to have to manage any of this shit. Alright, so let's have a look at this. If I they attack this, can I just auto-resolve and delete all of that? Yep, that's fine. That's all I want the armies for. One time use only, really. Death Gorge. Yep, you are correct. Thank you. Praise be to Sigma. Puts us in the green. Champion of the faith. Champion of the faith. To war. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, I don't care if that army gets wiped. Yeah, they're all dead. Okay. One of my armies isn't even showing up. That's fine. I feel like our armies aren't doing as well in order resolve as we were doing against uh, Clan Angren. I don't know what it is about that. But it's fine. So this one here, really badly damaged, but it's fine. Protector of the weak. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. We are shedding so much blood. Praise be to Sigma. Do you know what's funny? Because of the, this episode, Great Swords is probably the most recruited unit in this entire campaign. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. 
Okay, you got all them. Stop it. That may have to be fought manually. Nope. Alright, good. Yeah, if I don't have to fight manually, why bother? We'll generate before the next fight anyway. To save 20 30 minutes. I will do anything for Sigma. Oh, look at this guy, dude. What is unthinkable? Sigmar is with us! <laughs> True servant of Sigma. There's no way that this guy can make it down. Kieran, even if he could, he couldn't do anything about it. Are there any period in history where this level of backstab actually happens? Um... Probably. Well, not to, maybe not to this friggin' degree. This is, this is definitely to an extreme. What does the Emperor bid? True maybe, maybe he'll be able to catch, maybe. Can't you just assassinate the Lord since he has no troops? You can't assassinate the characters. I can I could block him maybe. Yeah, we're almost done. We're almost done. It's gonna happen. Okay, we got him. Yeah, he's not getting away. I think that was all of his armies. I think, it, apart from the one that's in the Chaos Wastes, I think that's it. For his armies. The I trust no man. I am Prince and Emperor. Hey Anton B Gaming, how's it going, dude? How's it going, dude? The most backstabbing since Julius Caesar, yeah. If I pay, pay you $2,000, will you lose on purpose? Wow, that's a real question. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so, no. Tempted, for sure. I was tempted. No, I don't think I will. Death to the faithless. Two thousand to tank a hundred hours of gameplay. Yeah, it's been about that long, hasn't it? Champion of the faith. So that had to be fought manually, doesn't it? Unless, of course, I individually take them out and. I just fight it manually, it'd be easy. Of the weak. Oh, that's right, this one here couldn't Sigmarite quite make it, could it? Lector. I serve the Helden Hammer. Seek out the heretics. They will be judged. I didn't really put my spies in particularly good locations. True servant of Sigma. Love that Henry the Massive is in here. Protector of the weak. They will be judged. Oh wow. Look at all this. How many how much territory do I have now? Oh, that's not how we check. We got four hundred and three settlements. Alright, these armies here are literally too far away to get to the front line. 
<laughs> so just get rid of some of them, consolidate a bit. To the provinces. Not to Ragnos. There's no reason why this guy wouldn't be able to do it next turn. Warrior of Sigma. Too damaged. Still also need to attack the last offenders. If you have a look at him. Yeah, he's not that happy. You know, I mean, our reliability is pretty bad. We need a military alliance with him. This is usually frowned upon. The instrument of Sigmar's will. What do you require? Don't need this anymore. Blessings of Sigmar upon you. It shall be done. Yes. Okay, that all looks real good there. All right, Gilt, what do you want to do? You're stuck within Torsupindar. That will work. Okay, here's what we do. We'll occupy this. We'll get three witch hunters. And we'll also recruit a new army from here. Because this is, this is where we need to be sending them out from. Ready. Follow me. Ready. Who calls? The nation calls. Raise Sigma. Onwards. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Good stuff. Bye, Sigma. So this will go down south. Carl Franz will keep going down south. The nation calls. I think I've made pretty much all my moves. These guys here will. Yeah, you. Get your ass over My here to Orion's camp. Awaiting orders. Praise be to Sigma. Mm, yeah, merge. I nah, just, just don't worry about it. Don't need it. What we've got here is enough. Alright, we need to fight this manually, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Got a, you know, badly damaged. That's, that's the price of having order resolve a few battles. Full map this stream. Yes, this is going to end it. We're going to end things in this stream. We're probably about an hour away from completion. Any reason you don't recruit the ones that are level 40? Okay, so at this point here, there is extreme laziness happened. So some of the lords at level 40 don't have any points put into them, and I literally can't be bothered to recruit them and put the points where they needed to. I'd much rather recruit one at level 15, because the level of our lords doesn't really matter that much anymore. My God! So it's just, it's just pure laziness, that's all. Just we can go, we'll be fine. You'll be fine. It's only a handful of crap. You're right behind you. You'll get plenty of time to recover before the next battle.
Can you summon the elect accounts in the end? I've never seen it. Uh, yeah, I guess so. We'll summon the elect accounts. This is the very last decision that we do. Has Legend still not lost? That's correct. We have had not suffered a single defeat in this entire campaign. With no saves coming. But with extreme caution and a few close calls. Why are you keeping the lizard army in, uh, borrowed in a camp stance? That's a good question, dude. Why am I doing that? That is a really good question. Why the hell am I doing that? Alright, we don't need this army anymore. It's worn out. Alright, next turn he'll make it to Mount Arachnos. Cool. Alright, so Thorek, how much territory do you have left? 13 regions. Okay. I don't think there's anywhere else I can attack. This turn, at least. I live to serve the Emperor. Krokgar has been disbanding his fucking military <laughs> because I borrowed his other army. You just can't afford it. Alright. Krokgar, you're next on the to kill list. I know you're an endangered species, but sorry. Seek out the heretics. Soon, 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 soon. Alright, I think yeah. we're done with this turn. We should recruit an army at Citadel of Dusk, just in case someone comes up this way. Not possible. Um, let it just, yeah. Because if anyone comes over here, it'll be Rapance. I don't think she will. Alright, let's have a look at the strength ranking differences. Yeah, there's nothing left. Okay. We also need to start getting the Confederations ready with... with Ostermark, because uh, the field here has gone down, so we need to abandon the settlement and do the usual. Praise be to okay, also we need to make sure we check out... Imagine, imagine if we're on the last turn and a fucking rogue army shows up and I don't pay attention and it fucking kills me. I trust no man. Tools imagine if that happens. But if we have a look here, there's nothing here at the moment. And Thorax armies have been completely obliterated, apart from that one in the Chaos Wastes, which I just couldn't be bothered getting to. Protector of the weak. I am a man of Sigma. Mm -hmm. I will not. Tools of judgment ready. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Okay. Warrior of Sigma. Guided. Recruit Sigma. another army here to defend it while it's not able to be transferred over to the scene. Just a couple of units needed. Alright, let's move on. Yep. Alright, let's do this. But I'm still a borrowed army if you declare one croc card. Does it automatically change back? Yeah, you don't get to keep it. <laughs> oh, but you know what I should do? I should bring that army over here, so it put in force march, and then and then kill it. Put some army on the elven colonies. I already did that. Yeah, she's Ready. out for blood at the moment. Yes. Yeah, you. I've got a better idea with you. I'm gonna get you straight up killed. Champion of the faith. All right, Thoric, where did you recruit your new army? Praise 
is Beta Sigma. Eight fealty. Okay, 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 okay. Ah, oh, there they recruit another army. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Should be easy auto resolve. Cool, because the, the AI only ever recruit one Lord per turn, and so the fact that we've caught this guy here means that there isn't another army being recruited somewhere else. It's it's wasting his time. By Sigma. Show me the accused. Hunt them out. As is my right by Sigma's crown. I'm actually surprised we got the auto resolve there. This is a very strong auto resolve army. Okay, we need to be handing these settlements like Sun Tree Clades over to Ostermark as we expand down south. Yep, just a measly 500,000 gold there. Next stop for him will be Nahotno. I am ready. Are you moving off? All right, we need intel judged. at that army that's Is down that here. It'll we'll probably jump in the underway. Work. Maybe leave Dawn's Light alone just for now, because that'll be pretty vulnerable. Just keep no pumping one. out armies here. Tools of judgment ready. For Sigma. Instead, send him north. Trade for Nagenhof? Oh, yeah. You're right, I should have traded for Nagenhof. You're right. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, Densha2020, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Thanks for the support on Twitch. We're at 966 subs now on Twitch. Wouldn't it be nice if we got to 1,000? <laughs> Alright, so how are we going here? So this one... Yep, 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 yep. All right, I got an idea. I'm gonna start sending. Show me I'm actually gonna totally wreck Krokgar. Uh, we'll see. Stop. Uh, no, don't recruit them here. Awaiting orders. No, no, just go back. Going forward. We'll, we'll figure that out. Let us begin. All right. Sigmarite Archer. Okay, let me just go here. Champion of the faith. All right, run this guy down Your south past Krokgar. And we'll get a bunch of these armies here. The um, the non-hero armies. The hero armies are going to the Chaos Wastes, whereas the non-hero armies here are going to kill Krokgar. We've already got four of those, so we don't need these other ones. Uh, Brittany J.S. Uawam. 13 and X oh my god I can't pronounce it X I X Q Z Bula subscribe with Prime thanks guys appreciate that don't need any of these make sure we check for rogue armies which doesn't look like there is any all right so let's give Let's give them Orion's camp. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use this anymore. No. Because I'll never keep up with Carl Franz now. By Sigma's will, come in peace. Cool. Right. Moo Bear became a member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Alright, and we want to abandon that. Good stuff. So we just need to do that two more times, unless another event shows up. Death to the faithless! By Sigma! Why not convey it off to Mark now? No, not yet. Not yet. Not, not yet. Not until the entire southern... Entire continent is ours. Once the entire continent is ours, then yes. 
And we also need to make sure we've got enough defenses down here. For the last little push. Yes, for now. Uh, here he comes, here he comes. No Alright, now that army can force march to Taurus to Pindar, but it can't actually make it there. There's no way. To the province and one thing that we could do to really ensure that he can't make it here is actually blow up the settlement. Because then he'll use all of his movement. Unless he goes that way, which will go the long way around. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going to blow up the settlement. We'll just ruin dwell it again later. It's only minor settlement. Blow up the settlement. And that stops him from being able to use that port. Slows him down a little bit. Yes. And yeah, he's fine. Yeah, look look how much we limited their movement, but we need another army over here this turn. Okay, I'm globally recruiting something that probably don't need. And it's probably this. Pretty sure we're fine. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Because yeah, there's no sign of any armies here. So I trust no man. Do not waste my potential. Alright. Protector All right. of the weak. And Volkmar okay. Looks like we're done with this turn. Oh shit, look at those subs. So, Vict, 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 Vict just gifted 20 tier 1 subs. Call me DeViro, De subscribe with Prime. The Fluffiest Fluff, subscribe with tier 1. Thrasonic Scrub, subscribe with Prime. But yeah, Vict, 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 that is super generous of you. 20 subscriptions. Really appreciate that, dude. So that got us to 992 on Twitch, which I think is pretty insane. Okay. Uh, keep these guys nearby here just in case things go belly up. All right, I don't think we need to make another attack this turn. Yeah, he'll go and attack Zlatlan. We'll go over to Nahot. Uh -oh. Um, sell the golden tower. By Sigma's will, come in peace. So we're probably a couple of turns away from confederating. Very well. Let's try to get all their money out of their treasury anyway. <laughs> at 22 million. Oh, and I was willing to go broke on this. Servant of the faith. All right, you're not in that bad Going shape. Forth. Get down here and help us out. I serve the Heldenhammer. I will marshal the men. Praise Sigma. Ready. Okay. Seek out the heretics. So yeah, Rapunzel doesn't look like she got much. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Okay, moving on to the next turn. We have done everything I think that we can. We're in the final stretch here, guys. IXQZ Buller gifting one tier one sub to the community. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. And Athernia subscribed with Prime. Adder18 uh, gifted a tier one sub. Appreciate that. More subs and viewers. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Oh yeah, Marcus Wolfhart. Forgot about him. It freezes for seconds at a time. That's because the game is saving. The game is saving. It's on legendary difficulty. Every time we fight a battle, like right now, this was well, not fighting a battle, but when it freezes like that, the game is saving. It's got nothing to do with the stream. 
Volkmar the Grim. The wicked flee before me. Tools of judgment ready. The Empire. Onwards! A few forces over here. So what happened to that Thoric army? Where did it go? The nation calls. Now. There it went. Okay. I just need to know where it was. That's fine. Now. And we caught him again. He's recruiting an army there. King Alibaba TV is gifting five tier one subs to the Legend of the World community. That got us over a thousand subscribers now on Twitch. Appreciate that, dude. Thanks for that generous uh, gift to the community. We're at 1k subs. On Twitch. So just to put things in perspective, when I was last live streaming on Twitch back in 2019, the most I ever had was maybe 240 subs. So I really appreciate that, guys. Bring me to my men. All right. I see no Got Franzi else. boy over here. Ever vigilant. All right, Thorak is just about kicked out of the non-chaos wasty stuff. By Sigma. Awaiting orders. <laughs> So yeah, I'm bringing this one up to give it the uh, the old Thoric treatment. What I did to his army. Not likely. All right. What's he likely to do? This guy's got a lot of campaign movement range, so we got to be careful. He might get up here if we're not careful. You go stand in there. The Empire. You go into ambush stance, and we'll recruit another army. Uh, hang on. Moto Mandan, later. Also scrub, actually, later converted from a prime to a tier one sub. So upgraded the sub. And Tubby Mara, subscribed with prime. Thanks guys, appreciate that. Praise be to Sigma. All right, and then... Then this. Ready to serve. Ready to serve. Yeah, head down south. Sigma lightens my steps. I serve the South hell you go. Lava. South Move. you go. You go south, and True you're going south. Sigma. I serve Sigma. Praise be to Sigma. So we're ready to strike it. Oh, look at that! He's Sigma. taking attrition because he's broke. <laughs> he's broke. Oh my god! I'm about to stab him in the back, and he's just friggin' yeah, he's friggin' broke. That means his garrisons are decaying as well. <coughs> Shit! Let's let's get over here then. I go where I'm needed. Let's get over here and get ready to strike him. Because, yeah, if we have a look here. Yeah, all of his garrisons are decaying. Um, Orovan gifted five tier one subs to the community. Appreciate that. Yeah, generous dude. And Rav Razvan CC88 also subscribed at tier one. Appreciate that, dude. Hope I didn't miss anyone. Really appreciate all the subscriptions, guys. If I missed anyone, I'm sorry. Seek out the heretics. Show me the accused. Okay. This guy here, it south. On much. All right, any new enemies? Nope. Oh, we're almost done. So friggin' close. All right, so over here. My journey begins. Okay, we just need. Hmm. 
Hmm. What happened there? That didn't seem to give us fealty. Or was it at seven? Maybe I need to do a different, different settlement. They will be judged. It shall be done by the comet. Okay, all good, all good. And yeah, we're making I'm progress over here. Yours. All right. Let's move on to the next turn. Uh, Brax, hang on, let me just move on to the next turn. Brax Ivamov, subscribe to tier one. Appreciate that, dude. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I need to make sure that I'm paying attention to. Yeah. The nation calls. Is that? It's really important now. Uh, later, also gifted another tier one sub. Appreciate that, dude. Thank you. Why can't we load up the save file if you destroy the pirates? Uh, because if there are no factions left, the game won't load. There has to be some factions remaining. If you're the only faction remaining in the game, and you try to load the save file, you can't load it. Wolfheart? Who cares? He's too far away. Just forget about him. Nine. I guess I had a delayed reaction. I'm not. No, I'm not risking it now. <laughs> no way. Oh, look at that! They fucking lost the settlement. Great Skull Lakes. I'll just have to go over there and replace it for them. Back to being eight. Servant of the faith, going forth. Yep, there we go, back up to nine. <laughs> it just it does not want to let me do this, does it? No, don't abandon that. Uh, let me get Essen back. In a moment. Oh my god, we're so close. I can't I can't be making mistakes now. We're so friggin' close. No, 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 that way. Oh well. Misclicked. Alright, we saw there was an army that went over here. Oh, there he is. Protector of the weak. I'm a rune lord, not some okay, he can't lightning strike. What? Ready. What orders? One army may not be able to order resolve that. Show me the accused. 51% chance. We need to increase our chances of success there. That dude there could probably beat him. Yes. This is his last the army. Empire. Well, until he builds another one. I will stop them. Good. He's not going anywhere. Stop that. Well, he's not going very far, at least. I will go. I go where I'm needed. Who calls? By Sigma's right. Let us begin. I serve Sigma. Oh shit, you can easily make it. Do it next turn. That way we get the full force of support. It is my duty. I live to serve the Emperor. Okay. And then we've got this one here. Into battle. An anonymous gifter gave Robinson337 a tier 1 sub. Appreciate the anonymous subscription, dude. Appreciate that. So, march on the witches. Mm hmm. Sigma, grant me strength. To battle. Good. It's always good when he doesn't Sigma move out of the way. The righteous hammer of Sigma. No garrison. That's what we want to see. I am a lord of Bretonia. Never. 
Oh my god. I appreciate the subs, guys, but you're slowing me down. Um, DW, March, subscribe with Prime, and later gifted another 10 uh, subs, uh, tier 1 subs to Legend of Total War community. Really appreciate that. You slowed me down, dude. <laughs> you let me finish the campaign. Arch Lecter. I have no time for this. Champion of the See, if I send this one in on him, I'm pretty sure he'll stand and fight, but he'll be, have to fight it manually. Which is that really so bad? Not likely. Just, just wait. True, like he, he can't, he can't do much. We blocked him by a considerable amount. By the comet. So. I mean, where's he gonna go? I will marshal the men. To battle. Do not waste my potential. All right, let's get Carl Franz out in the water, and then sell Nahotnolo. By Sigma's will, come in peace. Okay, Nahotnolo, and then give away. So no, you want. Nagenhof back, right? What about Essen? All right, good. Of course. All right, if we give it back to them next turn, the Confederation will be offered the turn after. Now, the big question here is, do we need them anymore? No. It's time to confederate them. It's time. Ever vigilant. Oh, well, I gotta abandon it. This is the end of the road for them. We're gonna confederate Ostermark. I live to serve the Emperor. Moving out. Get another army up in here. Wait, uh, you know, no, yeah, do that. It's fine. They're not gonna have much. Champion of the faith. Tools of judgment ready. Four turns until we declare war on. Well, maybe actually three turns until we declare war on them. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, let's keep bringing our guys down here. We need these guys to go and kill this one in a few turns. Praise be to Sigma. Yes, my lord. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. To the provinces. Moving off. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, moving on. Bro, I've done, I've done the Rogami check. Check multiple times. What? By Sigma. Ready. I didn't see what happened there. They tagged out a different lord. That one's probably got lightning strike. So we, we should really try to fight him this turn. Alright. It's fine. It's just a hero. They can't Not do anything. There's no garrison. 
I got no allies left anyway, right? Oh, actually, no, I do. Yeah, there's no garrison in any of these settlements. If, if there was an army that slipped by me, what? should be fine. Onwards. This is wise. I trust no man. You dishonor me. I must keep my holy vow. No. If that's all you got, you might as well go home. You're not going to get through me. I mean, if you brought two full stacks, though, maybe. I mean, I've got lightning strike. I will do anything for Sigma. They wounded my hero here. Who calls? <sighs> okay, how many do they have there now? They move somewhere else. Should have recruited another hero here. Who calls? Onwards! Pick up the pace. Yeah, that's not a piece. No confederation. It's it's happening. It's happening. Ready to yep. serve. Yep. There we go. The offer will be made next turn for a confederation. Warrior of Sigma. God, I was so close. I feel like this is the time that the game will fuck me over. There's no rogue armies this turn. Freaking close. What orders? This will I have to send this guy down in encamp stance. Just in case any of their armies are on ambush. Which they're not, because it's there. That. True servant of Sigma. Awaiting orders. The Empire. What? I will not disgrace my ancestors. Be gone. Ever vigilant. They wounded all my bloody heroes here. Praise Sigma. Yes, a sound plan. Servant of the faith. Moving out. I am ready. Are you? Okay, so even if he lightning strikes me, we've got our good armies that can handle it. Uh, later, to get to another 10 tier 1 subs on Twitch. Appreciate that, dude. God damn. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Champion of the faith. Ready to serve. Right, we need to get... Let me look here. Seek out the heretics. I need to get some of these armies Protect down here. They will be judged. Arch Lecter. I am a penitent man. Well, only the penitent man will pass. Okay. Two armies down there. We've got a little bit of time before it expires. They may attack from the water. Yeah, I know, but I had a look at his movement. You'll do. Yes, my lord. So you can see here that his movement range is there, and this one maybe a little bit longer. Maybe this one might have lightning strike. Maybe. It's Carl France coming up this way. The thing is, if he stays in this area, he's doomed. I serve Sigma. I think what we should do with them Nine. is the stand over here Nine in ambush stance and set sail maybe next turn. The Sigma grant me strength. What have you to say? Shit, it actually works. Okay, luck is on my side today. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Don't worry about that. All right. Yeah, 
<laughs> Three turns until you're dead. I don't think we... I don't know if we're going to get a chance to use these. Praise be to Sigma. By Sigma. How much does he like me now? Going down here, but it only has to hold out for a couple more turns. Uh, Clockwork Wolf did a five dollar chat. This is when the game will screw me. Enemy army moves three times as normal amount in order to avoid being destroyed. Legend surprise Pikachu face. Yeah, yeah. I am prince and emperor. All right, I think we're done with this turn. Yep. Just check again. Yep, there's no unknowns. Oh, there's a. Let's let's count how many settlements are actually left to take. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then there's a ruin up that way. So eleven settlements to go. So let's actually put this in the thing. an ambush stance just in case he tries he tries to come over here we'll see how that goes for him all right moving on if he jumps in the underway he's doomed I think you can justify moving a little bit more I'll put you in a camp stance next turn because yeah we got to move quickly it's about to begin Seven factions left. We'll get the Confederation with Ostermark. Next turn. He's jumping in the underway. Where'd he go? Ah, oh, he went back to the Chaos Waste. He's over there. Jessimonium. Uh, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Oh, I nearly clicked on this. There we go. Accepted Confederation. just confederate the electric house when is he gonna do it long victory achieved okay and we also have the elect account position of Ostermark and we can now summon the elect accounts all elect account straight troops will be replenished and we also have this settlement over here which we need to ru ruin dwell Following Sigmar's path. Sigmarite arch left. Oh my god, look at it all. Look at it all. There's 11 cities left to go. Alright, I'm pretty sure that yes. he went into ambush stance there. Which is, yeah, and we're constantly getting assassinated. So if this keeps up, it's just going to keep weakening me that way. I'm going to fall back here, draw them in, in this direction, and we'll get them, we'll get them from the other side. Also, Thoric might just attack that. That would be good. Because Fortress of Dawn, you're doomed. Yeah, you're doomed. No peace, just war. I 
I am the Supreme Patriarch. Champion of the faith. Ulrich's will. Wanna give Marcus at least the last battle? I'm not gonna fuck around with Marcus. Just forget about him. He, he doesn't matter at all. Ten cities left. Yep. Alright, so we've got this. We have to do it next turn. The the lizard betrayal. It's happening next turn. So we'll hit sit castle of whatever. It is time. Moving up. Yeah, all these places are bloody crumbling. So you'll get some replenishment. And we'll put more armies from here. Would have been nice to figure this out a little bit earlier and get over to Occam's Forever Maze. Not that big of a deal though. Alright, so these guys here, they should be fine to take on the the Lizard Army, because it'll be in Force March. With, and we'll get rid of this as well. You know, not right this very second. All right, Toddy, you've got to sail. Yep, all the hero armies need to get out in the water immediately. Protector of the weak. Your word is my Do you know what's funny? Rapance is gonna be the final enemy. I don't think we need this guy. He's never gonna make it. So, let us move. Summon the Elector Counts. What is unthinkable? Let's go. Yep, they need some time to recover before they set sail. What does the Emperor bid? I think these guys here should just protect against this guy just jumping back over here. Maybe go into ambush stance. Ready. It is for the best. I live to Problem is there is a hero there which will probably block it from happening. Alright, any other any other thingies? Okay, all good there. There are no other factions that have returned. Chosen of Sigma. So yeah, next turn we hit the lizards and we'll take three of their settlements. And this will all will be all that's left, and they're just not gonna be able to recover in time. Oh, it's a shame that we couldn't get that extra allegiance to borrow that and bring it over this way so I can kill it. <laughs> what orders? Castle of Splendor. Yeah, it's it's gonna decay further. It should be fine. I trust no man. No, don't do that now. All right, that's all we can do. Moving on. We're almost there. Who calls? Don't forget the ruin. Uh, I got the ruin. Yeah, I thought he went foil. Trying to get rid of the last of my witch hunters. Okay, no sign of any new factions. Awesome. Alright, we have to give it back. We have to do this now. Yeah. Just in case. Doesn't work. Yep, he's in force march. Make sure that this one here disappears. 
Uh, Matthias Molvik did a 500 NOK Super Chat. Hi, Legend. Thanks for the 14-part epic. It's been entertaining and educational. 10 out of 10. Glad you're loving it. Glad you're liking it. Um, appreciate that. That's a generous Super Chat. <laughs> I'm actually Skaven! <laughs> He's like, oh no, stabbed in the back. You got order 66. Yeah. See you, Crocker. Dwell it later. Can't risk myself being caught by anything out here. This will bolster the nation. I'll occupy this one. So what's that, seven? Seven cities left. Praise Sigma. We'll come down here and capture that next turn. They will be judged. Heretics! Hmm, thought that might happen. I live to serve the Emperor. All right, I've lost a fair bit of it. Look at how many heroes they've got. Volkmar. Lost a fair number of um, my guys. I need more intel over here. The nation calls. They'll probably assassinate them, but what are you gonna do? Yes, blessed is this action. Volkmar, just come out over here and just go into a camp stance. If they gain some ground, it doesn't matter. Uh, Winwood Media did a 14 pound super chat. 14 for the 14 epic this has been. No, I appreciate that. Call the elect accounts. It doesn't do anything now. France, they will obey. Sigmarite Arch Lecture. All right, I think we'll land here. It is best to There's move. Thoric. Nine. Well, you know what I mean. You summon me. Uh, actually, they need to stay out in the I water one more here. turn. I serve the Helden Hammer. <laughs> Servant of the faith, honored to serve. Your word is my command. Protector of the weak. Ever onward. Can you stay there? That's fine. By Sigma's right. Champion of the faith. Honestly, all of these armies Arch can heal. Lecture. Just freaking get on with it. Yes. Yes. Warrior of Sigma. Get out. Goon squad's coming in. Yes, my lord. Fucking toddy, come on, hurry up. Yes, a sound plan. Protector of the weak. To the provinces. I don't need these armies. Actually, you know, I'll bring these armies over here to defend, to make sure that they don't cross over. But we don't need these armies here anymore. Ready to serve. Awaiting orders. We're demilitarizing a little bit. Alright, check to see if there's any rogue armies. I think we're done with this turn. Okay, we're good. Uh, I do need to see what you guys are up to. Okay. Pre 
Day Sigma. The nation calls. Look, there's there's nothing here. Get to the Lost Palace now. It is for the best. Let us move. Yeah, I'll recruit an army at dawn's light. I will do anything for Sigma. All right, we got three factions crammed in here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's seven if you don't include this one, because it's been blown up. I guess that still means eight. All right, moving on to the next turn. Put these guys in force march so they don't use up. So oh, that's good. Get a little bit of extra movement. Sigma compels us onward. Good, good, good. Because I want to be able to get into encamp stance at least. Okay, and let's move on. <laughs> Where does he think he's going? The nation. Need to keep an eye on this dude. What? Hopefully he's thinking about going after this. That'd be awesome if he gets killed by Rapance. Or kills Rapance. That'd be even better. There we go. Killing the rogue armies. Not the pirates, no. Because as I've said before, if I kill the pirates, you won't be able to load the save file anymore. It'll be completely corrupted. The agent spam. <laughs> Come on, we're so close. Picking up some more armies. We'll occupy that because that's safe. So I peace out with Rapance. Fine. Makes sense. What? Moving off. Take up the pace. By Sigma's right. Okay. Make sure these guys start getting their way over here. Heretics. Now, that is not my mission. I will marshal the men. Praise be to Sigma. I go where the last I defenders will be the first ones to go by the look of it. Here to serve. I serve the Heldenhammer. Yes, my lord. So. In the name of Magnus, by Sigma. All right, I want you to be the one that occupies this, because if we have to defend us. a walled settlement, this would be the best one for it. To battle. The Empire. Purge the heretics. Okay. Anyone getting wiped out? Now we're good. Here okay, decent serve. amount of replenishment there. That's good. Oh my god, look at the hero Sigma spamming here. Praised. Pick up the pace. Okay, both armies are here. That's her last settlement now. 
So that means... Hang on, how many is left now? One, two... One, two, three, four, five, six settlements left. To the provinces. Make that five in a moment. To strengthen the empire. Raise your weapons. Make that five. Okay. Show me the accused, the empire. True servant of Sigma. I want you to land here. I live to serve the Emperor. I will go. Okay. We've almost got this, guys. What? Moving off. Very Good well. amount of intel here. Yes. It's... What orders? It's coming. Okay, any rogue armies? Nope. <laughs> I'm so grateful that they decided to to let off for the for the time being with this, with the rogue armies. Never yield. All right. I am Volkmar. Yeah, you, you just stay there, Volkmar. I don't want to risk this. Wait for the, the huge amount of force that's coming. Rapance may have lightning strike. I will not blight my soul. Alberic doesn't. If Rapunzel lightning I strikes cannot. you, you don't have to worry about that. Volkmar the Grim. Okay, stand the right there. And we'll see if we can draw her over here. Champion okay. Of the faith. Yeah, if they attack us, I'll make a judgment call. I'll probably Blessing just back of off because I'll be able to outrun them. Yeah. Tools of judgment ready. Uh, Gabor Burnath did a 10,000 HUF super chat. Almost at the end. Awesome campaign. Thanks, dude. I'm glad you're enjoying it. All right. We're almost there. They will be judged. We're almost there. They will be judged. Do you take me yeah, make sure we keep guys here because they might jump in the Sigma. underway over here. What does the Emperor bid? All right. Moving on. AI Rapunz can confederate Alberic. Obviously, she can. Yep. <laughs> and they're recruiting over here pretty quickly. It's not going to make any difference. These armies are too strong. He doesn't know what to do. Okay. I might be able to strike at her actually from this distance. Ready to serve. Oh, I can actually reach them by regular stance. The hell Do matter. it. Besiege it and bring the other forces in. It's okay. I'll switch this guy out for a uh, Hammer. Emperor Captain so that we've got a siege attacker. Yes, my lord. Take up the pace. Because Toddy couldn't By make it. Sigma. Awaiting orders. Faith. Uh, Stephen Meyer did a twenty pound, sorry, twenty euro super chat. Hi, Legend. Thank you so much for this great campaign. No, worries, dude, it's been my pleasure. All right, I got to kick you out for a empire captain. This guy should do it. I mean, Empire Captain, General of the Empire, I mean. Because he's got Siege Attacker. So we should be able to auto that. 
Uh, Shade Slinger did a two dollar super chat. There we go. Really enjoyed the campaign. I wonder what race is next. Yep. Thanks, super chat, dude. Appreciate it. Okay, that is the end of them, I believe. Four cities remain. Last defenders and the lizardmen extinct. Okay, so you need to just come over here and ruin Dwelver. And I don't need these two armies anymore. Right, no new rogue armies. Nope. Jan Vejuba did a CZK100 super chat. That battle where your life wizard got... Sorry. That battle where your life wizard got me worried, but you did it. Awesome job. Now summon them. Thanks for the streams. No worries, dude. My pleasure. Thanks, super chat. Alright. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. I will not disgrace my ancestors. Protector of the Oh, are you friggin' kidding me? Come on. <laughs> no, you got all your movement. You can stay in force march. Nope. Nope. No how to get out of it. Evrods did a ten dollar super chat. Praise be to Sigma. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Why don't you confederate a listener? Your word is my command. Now we're getting some serious lag on the campaign map now. Probably because we see so much of the fog of war. Or the fog of war's been revealed. I think that's that's what causes the lag. So it's actually quite good that we kept Ostermark. Um with so much territory. My order agrees. For so long. Here to serve. Ever vigilant. I will marshal the men. All right. I see Sigmar's hand in this. Warrior of Sigmar, I will do anything All right. for Sigmar. All right, we're gonna do this. Sigmar, grant me strength for the air. Don't wait to get attacked. Be the attacker. Wolf Stormblade did a five dollar super chat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Any concern I about provinces with bad me. in? Ability, rebelling from low happiness. No, we've got loads of global bonuses. Like, have a look here. Oh, hang on. Shit. I'm glad you actually told me about that. <laughs> it wouldn't have revolted because this will be coming under control real soon. But yeah, it was really, really close. Can Gelt make it over there? I am in a sense. Yeah, he can. I go where the wind howl. And you can make it over there. Please be to Sigma. My journey begins. Tremble before me. Still gotta fight it manually. All right then. Fight it manually. It is. Don't forget the dwarf army. I haven't forgotten about it. Okay, so I think what we'll do is put Volkmar in in position to intercept Alberic as he's coming in. Yeah. Okay. We are Sigma's heir. Yep. 
think the Green Knight's in there as well. That's Green Knight's in there as well. Alright, which of these do we want to come in first? Um, I kind of want Balthazar Gelt to come in first. I'm going to put you over here. Actually, no, you know what? I don't think I want Balthazar Gelt to come in first. You stay there. Oh, I can't switch them around in this. This fucking map's annoying. Here's what it is. Just go deal with it. Uh, Neo Laden did a $10 super chat. Thanks for the entertainment the past, uh, past few days. It's been fun watching the stream at work. No worries, dude. It's been my pleasure. Thank you for the super chat, as always. What would you do if you woke up with all a dream? It's just a fucking game, man. Who cares? <laughs> It'd be a wet dream, that's what it'd be. Yes. Yeah, there's a lot of garbage in there. Brother Humaya did a th 375 SAR Super Chat. Legend with the series, I think it's been better than the Warhammer 2 days. Have some Ligma. Looking forward to seeing what campaign you do next. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate that. I think my game's gonna crash. There may be too many units on the battlefield. Yeah, it's gonna crash. I may need to not control large armies. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, I may need to not control large armies just to be able to fight the battles. There's way too much friggin' lag there. Uh, Richie did a 20 euro super chat. Just following your guidance to super chat you when you're balls deep in a battle. Okay, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate that. Yeah, we can't auto resolve it. We have to fight it manually. Unless, of course, I bring Carl Franz over. But I don't think Carl Franz will reach. He doesn't have an engineer. I think I'm going to have to not control large armies. Otherwise, it, it, the game just can't freaking handle this many units. I don't know. Barnabas Brown did a HUF 1000 Super Chat. Best campaign ever. Respect for keeping it until the end. No worries, dude. My pleasure. Lightning Strike? No, oh, that's a terrible idea. That's a terrible idea. That means two full stacks that Volkmar has to deal with on his own while exhausted. Terrible idea. It denies my reinforcements as well. Can you just attack the army outside the wall? My armies coming in as reinforcements are on forced march. They won't be able to attack. I'm at the very edge of my movement. I have to launch the attack. We're going to have to not control large armies, otherwise we just can't bloody fight the battle. I was, you guys saw, I was going to control large armies, it shouldn't have mattered. But this will be less taxing on the computer. Wait over the next turn, fight a pitch battle. What if they lightning strike? We'll just do this, we'll do this. Like I've always said, be the attacker, we're the attacker, I don't want to be the defender, I want to be the attacker.
Can you just keep them besieged? They'll probably sally out. We're just... This army here is not good in order resolve. We have to launch the attack now. We can win this. We can win this. It's not a problem. We just need to not crash, that's all. It's not like I lost the battle and I alt f fought out of it. The game fucking crashed. Alright. Let's do this. Okay, so what do I like to do with these guys on foot? Go up on the walls. Now, Balthazar or this other dude, not that one, this one here may come onto the battlefield. Not my guy's tired, but it'll be fine. Okay, Balthazar Gilt came in. That's good, because he'll just be like a Winds of Magic battery. The Empire! It shall be! I am Volkmar! Crush them! Guys are pretty strong. Let's see if I've got a helm of discord. I think I do. There we go. Offering battle prayers. Sage wizard. What happened? Just about exit the game? No, the game crashed. I didn't lose. I was quite happy to fight that battle exactly as it was, but it crashed. And the reason why I've gone with it differently is to try to prevent it from crashing. Less taxing on the computer if there's not 80 units on the battlefield, since it's just 40. So far, minimal damage. Gotten rid of s most of their most dangerous units. So, Beast Wizard is not a huge concern. Okay, looks like we're done up on the walls. Yep, the heroes are gone. Right, get them on the ground. Oh, what the hell? Where the fuck was that dude? Here we go. 
loads of Winds of Magic, so that's great. Yep, give me that Winds of Magic battery going. Okay, no problems here. We got the rune fang. Just get in a little bit closer so we actually hit more units. You know what, Volkmar might be able to do all this on his own, actually. Well, we'll see. I mean, Rapunz is going to hit pretty hard because she is anti-infantry. 800 damage per hit. Which will be able to block a fair bit of that. Okay, how about Balthus I go? You come around over here, but get you on the ground. I might be able to use Searing Doom. It's pretty good against cavalry. It's way more cost effective than using Regrowth at bloody... What, 13 Winter Magic? Yeah, yeah, because we got you on both trait. Good, that guy's gone. I do hope that Albrecht's army does come in. We don't just army loss him because otherwise he is going to attack us over the end turn with or we'll attack one of our armies, which I don't want him to do that. Well, I don't want him to do that while he's at full strength, I mean. I don't think we'll get the army losses before he's at least come in. He doesn't have lightning strike though, does he? Rapance might, but he definitely doesn't. He's only got a couple of points in the blue line. Try and take out Rapunz. Okay, she's coming into melee. That's awesome. Make sure we pop all this down. Okay, she is going down. That's what we want to see. Oh yeah, she's unbreakable as well. See if we can get up and kill these two with our two wizards, because she's not exactly a great fighter. Balthazar Gelt should be able to kill her. Did we get her? Yeah, we got her. Behold the light of 
Sigma. That's it. For Helden Hammer. I am light. Glory awaits. All right, if we get into the center of the map here, they'll lose a big stat bonus. Oh, she got a lot of spell resistance. Huh. We are Sigma Bears. Power of life. Double time. Faith is my shield. Who would have thought that we would be fighting Rapants in the Southern Chaos Wastes in the, the final battles of this campaign? Escort that one off the battlefield. That's fine. I'm sure our guys over here will be fine for the time being. Still just bringing in garrison. Good, they did it. Bring them back in. See their archers are doing friggin' nothing. Oh, oops, that's, oh, that was a stupid mistake. It's okay. It's not gonna matter. Matter because we're too strong. We, they can't beat us, and the cooldown is not that long. Last man gonna be Thorak though. That's okay, we've already beaten Thorak in melee. Well, in, in a battle, I mean. Oh shit, get him out of that. What was that? Albrecht must have just shown up. Yeah, he did. That's why we got hit so hard by, by him. Yes, General. This guy here is getting smacked by Alberic. Try to get him out of there. Wizard's on your way back. It's okay if he gets wounded. Basically, last time we need him. Ready for battle. Very well. Now. He'll be fine. Battle ready. Sigma calls. Now. At once. Why the hell did he land? Not good. Alright, Elberic. Yeah, he's he's going down, but he's he's, he's very strong. Escort him off the battlefield. Actually, no, 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 no. It would be better if he gets wounded in this battle. So keep him in here a little bit longer. He'll come back, I think.
Yep, there he is. Forward. It's learned. For the twin tailed comet! We are Sigma's heirs! Fight Sigma! At speed! By Sigma! What? Ready! Fleet! Behold the light of Sigma! The Empire endures! Curse the foe! Come on, we should almost have him. This will sort him out. Oh, how did he get out of there? Okay, run him down, run him down. How fast is he still? Still pretty quick. Oh, crap. Okay, just get back. He'll probably come back. No, no, chase after him. I'll use his final... Just use final transmutation on him again. If I put it on him, he can't escape it. All right, there we go. Alberic is gone. We'll probably never see him again. Doubt this one's gonna want to go into melee with us. Well, that was stupid of him. Ready for war. <coughs> Excuse me. War. Ready for war. I am master of Shamon. They'll never move again. Why is it full strength but no leadership? Faster, stronger enemies nearby, right? They're just scared. Good, we got rid of the damsel. Right, the rest of his army is starting to come in. I don't think there's any point trying to catch the, um, or try to get the, the capture point. It's just not going to work. We won't get there. Eh, whatever. I can always come back. Oh, hang on. Incoming. Volkmar's at his maximum heal. I guess they're really trying to kill him. Understandably so. I don't want to deal with you. So, 352 health. Final transmutation should kill that dude. Yeah, there we go. Look at this guy. Good stuff. Is this the last Rapant city? Yes, this is her last city. This is everything she's got left. Scaredy cats, holy crap. Just break them a couple more times, then they'll shatter. I don't know if there's any point in getting over to here, but I got an idea. I'm going to put all the healthiest dudes in a different control group. And I'm going to send them back over here because we're going to try to hold on to that. Whereas these guys here, control group four, this guy should be control group three. Control group four should press on to cap that point.
by Dolmaraz. By my will alone, the Empire endures. In the name of Sigma. Doesn't matter, we just know we lost them. Cool. And they didn't even bring in all their troops. Is that it? Or do they have a... No, that's it. Cool. Alright, that should be the end of Rapans. Uh, more or less. I mean, we've still... Albrecht wasn't on Force March, so... His army will survive. He's still got a thousand troops left. But the thing is, the single entities were the most dangerous part. They're finished. Generally, should you use Mentor skill on Castle Lords, given that they need more skill points? What about Melee Lords? That is something that you have to decide for yourself. There is no right or wrong answer to it. It's entirely up to you. Has the Warrior Priest stack been your MVP of this campaign? Absolutely, they have been amazing. Only a couple of times have they been like, eee, oh, we're in trouble. Um, but they've managed to pull through. They've shown themselves to be exceptionally durable, which is what I've needed. Yes, it'll be two cities to go. Just hang on, let me just do this. One of which is actually just a ruin. Do not waste my potential. So. Okay. So what we need to do here is two cities remain. Okay. So the last one is this, this one, which will probably nation. take me Rage one turn to get to. Then there's also this army over here. We still have to wipe that out. Carl Franz can't reach it. They will obey. You just stay there, Carl. Pick up the pace. I will not disgrace my ancestors. Yes, my lord. Let's wait. Reinforcements are on the way. He'll have no territory left as of next turn. Alright, I don't think there's anything else left to do. Just move on to the next turn. Which may actually be the last turn at turn 398. Maybe. Because we'll capture. This settlement here, and this one, it's just a matter of whether or not Thoric Ironbrow uh, army here decides to be within attack range, which I'm just not sure about. Powerpuff Soldier did a $5 super chat. 3,700 watches for a part 14 and incoming 500k subscribers. Happy to see things are going good. Wish you the best, Legend. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. Praise be to Sigma. Thorak's got one secret army that's been hiding out in Lustria all this time and it's going to attack a minor settlement this turn and uh, defeat me. Are you going to kill the pirates too? No, if we kill the pirates, it causes a corruption of the save file. Chinese Donkey Milk did a $5 super chat. Long time watcher, first time super chat. Uh, for some big grats on the campaign legend. No, it's my pleasure. Thank you for super chat. Okay, Thorek moved within range to get attacked. However, he's ending camp stand um in that stance, which is very bad for me to fight that manually with that army. But I might be able to just auto resolve it. Cause the game doesn't know that. Alright, what are they gonna do with this last army? Looks like they're just gonna besiege the city. Or are they gonna launch the attack? I think they'll launch the attack because he's a siege attacker. No, they didn't. Iron Ryuk, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. I think we're here, guys. I think this is the last turn. Champion of the faith. This might be it. Doric has no cities left. Oh, he positioned himself in such a way that I couldn't get at him. <laughs> Typical friggin' Thoric. Wind of Shamon, I will. 
protector of the world. My journey begins. What am I doing? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Um, X Tech Hubble did a 10 pound super chat. Thanks for the entertainment, man. Enjoy your rest. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Alright, that is the end of Rapance. Completely. Quinn Walter did a 20 dollar super chat. The beard lives another day. Major kudos on this marathon. Been watching since Medieval 2 Funny General Speeches video over a decade ago. So, so excited to see you saw past 500k and 539 not long after. Yep, thanks dude, appreciate that. Good, to, that's a really early video. You've been here like the whole time then. Champion Guess what? Arch Lector. Guess what? We have the whole map. But it's not finished yet. Oh god. God damn it, come on. We're not done yet. Gotta get rid of this army here. To the provinces. There is no settlements left to be obtained. We have all of them. And if we have a look here, 561 cities. That's all of the cities. But we have to catch this guy. I just can't get at him this turn. I will marshal the men. You don't force march. It is for the best. Oh yeah, one last thing. Bring me to my men. True servant of Sigma. Summon the elect accounts. Summon the elect accounts. What? Oh, yeah, I was going to say, where's the cooldown? And there's no rebel, there's no rogue armies. One turn short of 400 turns. UK Rocket did a ten dollar super chat. Um, I was here. Great job, Legend. Thanks for all the enjoyment over the years. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Hang on, we just got this one last thing to do. What's Iron Brow gonna do? <laughs> the last battle was Carl Franz, and it was auto resolved. That's it. It's done. We've succeeded. We did it. <laughs> There's no one left, except for the pirates. But like I said, if I wipe out the pirates, uh, the game can't um, can't be saved. So, the save file, I'm now going to put that in a, um, I'm now going to put that in a, a Google Drive link. I'm going to put that in the description, and you can download it yourself, and claim that you did it. Also, hang on, let's have a look at this. Current turn, 399. We captured 561 settlements. That's every single settlement in the game. Total income was 71 million, I think. Battles, 791 battles fought. No defeats of any kind. No save scumming this time. Finally succeeded. No save scumming. No repeating battles. You know, except for the crashed ones, but that doesn't count, obviously. I can't, I can't help crashes. Alright, so hang on. Just give me a second here while I set up the Google Drive link. Where is that Google Drive? There it is. And the save file is here. Hang on. 
There's a save file. It's 10 megabytes. Okay, I need new folder, please. Zero defeats. I right, just I'm just setting up the the thing I need to hang on. And then upload it. Oh shit, all the super chats. I pre oh, hi oh my god, so many super chats. Alex Beimer did a $5 super chat. You taught me everything I know about this game, and I've made the last five years of my life easy with your content. Love Legend, you're the best. Thanks for super chat, dude. There's a $100 super chat from Clockwork Wolf. Thanks for the dedication for the two playthrough. No worries, dude. My pleasure. Thank you for the super chat. That's really generous of you. Now I've got Ligma. Um, Oro did a £10 super chat. GG, well played, Legend. Red Regnier575 did two pounds. We check your last no defeat was Franz and Wormer 2. Well, okay, so the the no defeat campaign that I did for Franz and no and Wormer 2 was not technically successful because there was there was a battle in the Chaos Waste against Kolex Sanida that I had to repeat four or five times because I lost it the first time. Now, so basically, I save scummed to win that one. Um, still got through it all. I, like I won the battle eventually. But it wasn't a true no defeat campaign. This one is a true no defeat campaign. Obviously, I used che uh, cheese. Didn't use, didn't use all the exploits I can do. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Uh, but this is a true no defeat campaign, in my opinion. But you know, there'll be people that'll uh, discredit it. Whatever. Ao did a try twenty two super chat. Congrats. Thanks for super chat. Also, I want to point out that I've never actually successfully done a no defeat campaign without any save scumming at all. Leo C of NY did a five dollar super chat. Why does Legend move a slightly longer than Max move range? Oh, uh, it's just it's just weird because of their because of their increased movement range and due to the heroes, it's just weird. Just don't, don't worry about it. Thanks to chat. Robert did a five dollar super chat. Appreciate it. Okay, hang on. Okay, now I'm going to share this file. It's just finished uploading. Um, how do I share it? Share, copy the link. There we go. And then place it. Okay, so if you're on Twitch, you'll need to go to the YouTube VOD in order to get this save file. It's going to be in the description. The save file should now be available for you guys to download it as of right now. Miss 50 gifted subs here. Dude, I'm trying. <laughs> I appreciate Oh my god. Uh, later gifted 10 tier 1 subs. Oh my god, I can't keep track of it all. Hang on. Uh, Menace368 gifted 50 tier 1 subs to Legend of Total War Community. That's, that's ins absolutely nuts. 50 of them. Really appreciate that, dude. That's that's like several hundred dollars worth. Absolutely insane. Okay. But it's time to wrap things up. We're nearly at a 10-hour live stream. This is the first successful, as far as I'm concerned, no defeat run. We failed the high off one, which by the way is easier to do, but we did it with the Empire. But that's the thing is because I failed that one, I put a hundred percent of effort into this. You know, I didn't let any instance of uh, of possible uh, defeat occur. You know, there was not that many situations where we were truly at risk of defeating a battle. It was entirely won on the strategic map because I made sure I had armies that just couldn't be beaten. Made sure I was never ambushed. Made sure I always got rid of rogue armies and you know fed territory to alliances, which really helps. All right, let's go chuck a host over to someone. Let's have a look who's live streaming. So, let's see who's live streaming. Who's going to get the, a big host today? 
All right, looks like Profitero is going to get it because he requested it. Yep, he started streaming 64 minutes ago. Okay, so once again, super generous support from you guys. I need to go get some sleep. <laughs> There'll be regular videos on the channel now for a little while while I uh, while I recover from this uh, absolute binge. Because I've been doing 10-hour live streams for like five live streams in a row. I need to take a break. Anyway, let's chuck the host over to Profitero. Go show him some support. Go sub if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Then I haven't forgotten about you guys on Twitch as well. I'll get to you in just a moment. Okay, so Twitch guys. Oh, hang on. Uh, 